Okay, I'm so upset I don't have a cat cam today because Ginger is being so cute. But guys, thank you for your patience. Let me just start by saying Commander Shepard definitely pulls this eyebrow thing off way better, but welcome back in. I took it like a second longer because I'm prepping for October and I just wanted to get the scar wax out again and it was not working with me and I got it all over my fingies. And so I was trying to get it off of it and it just was a mess and my controller's a mess now. But welcome back in, happy good Sunday, Sunday, yeah. Happy good Sunday. Let me scroll all the way to the top, not the fingies, I know. Simba. Also, why does it sound so quiet right now? Simba, thank you so much for the five gifted subs to the channel and community and welcome back in. Thank you, thank you. And Anon sniping left and right. Anon, thank you so much as well. Dude, just, and Bear, the fact that that's not already a sub, I just, uh, Bear with the gifted sub to jetpacking. I honestly thought I had escaped your trolling yesterday. I really did. And Coop with the resub for nine months in a row. Coop, it's only been nine months. I feel like you've been here so much longer. Smithy, welcome back in. Frostwolf, hi. I see Doug. Oh no, are you serious? Doug, thank you so much for 49 months of continual support. How do you feel? Sorry if you've already said no, I haven't yet. Well, Gart, welcome back in. No, I actually feel completely better. So yesterday after I hopped off stream, I really just rested for the majority of the day. And I don't have like that feeling in the back of my throat or anything that I was having towards the end of yesterday's stream. So I think we've kicked this cold. I think we're I think we're feeling better. I hope that I've overcome it. Um, I'm still going to try to get a lot of sleep tonight and just make sure that it's gone because I know that it, it definitely grabbed hold of Anna a lot worse than it did for me. Ben shot. I see Daniel. Hi guys. Seriously. Welcome back in. No, I know. I know the WD 40. You know, what's funny is I even thought about it today. I was like, I should go downstairs and do it. I should just pull the trigger, get it done. And I still didn't. I still didn't. There's no escaping. I wasn't here yesterday. <laughs> It's a temporary escape. Also, Samurai, thank you so much for the thousand bits as well. And Doug, just again, thank you so much for 49 months of continual support. Derek with the two gifted subs to the channel and community. Sonic, there's no slip. <laughs> Ain't no rest for the wicked bear. Candidate, welcome back into Dead and Gone. Wait, what? Dead and Buried. Uh, candidate. I saw Jamaican, welcome back in. Hobart, welcome back in. Tab, imagine not being here for the first Mass Effect stream. You're doing your fellow trolls dirty. Honestly. Simba, again, thank you so much. Everything's ruined. Hi. I see London, Curious Corduroy. And oh, did I see a Coding Padawan? Coding Padawan, welcome back in. Uh, Avery, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Venom with the tier one sub. Wait, first time? No, reset for nine months in a row. I was like, Venom? Venom, thank you so much for nine months of continual support. Stoic with the thousand bits as well. You guys, yesterday was far too much. Please, not again. I already started yesterday's stream by crying. And Jargon, welcome back in. Who started the fire? Chat will never agree that they started the fire. Man versus machine. Hi, I see Limpy. Male nurse, welcome back in. Are you guys ready for some mass effect? Money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> Bear, thank you for the gift. It's up to money doesn't grow on trees, but does it grow on F-150s? That's what I need to know. Sonic, I saw a checkered van. Thank you so much for the race up for 14 months in a row as well. And Faniel. Daniel with the five gifted subs to the channel and community. We're the ones that are trying to put it out. Y'all are trying to put the fire out. <laughs> the fake scar. Look, I this year is going to probably be my most difficult year getting everything ready for October. And my biggest challenge is always, always scar wax. Bear's like, I might have not been here yesterday, but I'm starting the fire today. Mistral with the 100 bits as well. Anon with the gifted subs, sniping left and right. Anybody that's gotten gifted a sub, guys, I hope y'all enjoy the emotes, the channel, the ad-free viewing, and just the most bees knees community out there. Pikachu, I see Pikachu, welcome back in, Kuma. 
and just anybody that's gotten a gifted sub from anybody welcome back in and i hope you enjoy how was your day today? It was actually really good. Um, I usually use Sundays as kind of like a reset day. So I'll do additional meal prepping. I'll kind of make like my snacks and things and just kind of do a little bit quieter of a morning. But I got a little bit of recording done this morning as well. So it's been really productive and I'm excited for the Mass Effect fun, fun times. Reliant, thank you so much for the follow as well. Did you say bear found one of the trees? <laughs> sponge thank you for the thousand bits as well why is there a level seven hype train you guys you can't strangle anymore we weren't playing star wars so now i just have to <laughs> crack seriously welcome back in dj how has y'all sunday been has anybody done anything fun koga thank you for the follow as well and by the way um I also saw that Natty, uh, Nats, she's doing Mass Effect as well. So I'm going to try to raid her at some point, but I think she does stream a little bit earlier than us. Um, and London, London, giraffe, saucy giraffes here. Rain Man, welcome back in. Are you done with the DLC? I actually was recording something different this morning. I am not done with the DLC yet. No, if you saw the episode that dropped yesterday, look, my hunger for Condor can't be quenched, despite being bad at it. Like, my hunger can't be quenched. Koalas are, are bears, even they're qualified. They failed verification. <laughs> Jargon. And Brucalizer. Bruce, it was lovely to meet you last week. Bruce, it was an absolute pleasure to meet you. I had so much fun. Dude, I was talking about that yesterday. I just was a blast getting to meet people and just hang out. And I definitely socialized more in the course of like five days than I have in probably the last three years, but I welcome it and I loved it. And Sarah with stars, welcome back in. Anon, thank you for more snipes. Yes, it's been raining here as well. It's actually been a super rainy day and I'm putting together, so I actually have two not house projects I have two art projects so I'm piecing together it's like this I, I don't know how to describe it I'll have to throw the picture of it in the discord but it's something for my bookshelf and then I also am painting bd1 but I need y'all's help I'm going to be so I got the paints and everything I just need y'all's help deciding what color scheme to paint bd1 basically do you guys think I should do the classic BD1 skin color or should I go with that kind of like olive green tone? I don't know. I'm just trying to kind of mix it up, but I feel like BD1 looks so good with the red and the white. It just is fabulous. And Alucard, what's up? Welcome back in again, Koga. Thank you for the follow. And I don't want to, I don't want to graze over this. London, thank you so much for 16 months and just so much more and just always being a positive influence in this community and and for, at tier three as well for 16 months nice brow scar i had to match my character i had to go a little darker with the makeup and everything i feel like it's only fair i i haven't done like a look not that this is really a look at all this is like what my alter ego probably looks like um we talked about it yesterday i am going full like renegade not really but my choices i uh, in trying to be myself in Mass Effect, I somehow am going renegade, which makes me question uh, who, like me. I don't know. I just accidentally go evil sometimes. I don't know what's wrong with me. Also, Marcin, thank you so much for the resub as well for four months in a row. Anon with the gifted sub to Magnesium. Damon, thank you for the bits. So good to see you back. Hope you had a great vacation. I did. It was fantastic it just from start to finish it flew by and I, i'm glad like there were a lot of pictures taken i talked about it i still haven't made my reel yet um I get like sentimental every time I look back at it. But if you do want to see a little bit of what it was like, please check out Anna's Instagram. She has some fabulous reels. She did two, like one for the actual thing and then one about our our friendship and just getting to meet each other. And it was it was just so special. So Lionheart, hi. Eyebrows on point today. <laughs> Can't stay, but spoilers. No worries, no worries. Get out of here. Lionheart, thank you so much for stopping by. And I do want to like throw down Casty. I, Casty, what the hell? What the heck? Hey Maggie, keep up the great work. Your content is awesome and genuine. Casta bitties, Casta hype, Casta hype, Casta hype. Casty, thank you so much for the kind words more than anything, and I just appreciate it so much. And cyanide with the Risa for 16 months in a row. Casty, I hope you've been doing well. Thank you for the donation. Who is your video game crush? <laughs> 
anybody with a mask i don't know um jack of blades no i don't i honestly don't know anymore if you guys saw the video yesterday i met a character in final fantasy 7 that i kind of liked i also am a big fan of rugged garen from league of legends it's the scruff it's the scruff Geralt, Geralt does have the stubble. Something about the stubble really has been doing it lately for me. Erdie. Actually, oh no, it was never Cal. Cal was never like a crush. Erdie, thank you for the five gifted subs to the channel and community as well. Thank you so much. I think her new crush is Nihilus. <laughs> Nihilus is gone. That's like the worst part about all of it is you guys set this up like he was gonna be this awesome character and he's gone. Arthur Morgan, Arthur Morgan feels more like a father to me than a crush to me. I don't know, something about, I yeah, which I, yeah, mm, I'm trying to think Booker. No, something about him just screams like, he would help me crush a, like a home renovation project, but he's not. Yeah, there's something about it. Hey there. Hey there. I think you like Clive, the new character in FF16. I think I've seen like sketches of him, but I yeah, I don't know. It, it always varies depending on the game. The video game crush has to be Micah. No, 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 absolutely not. Because I don't know if anybody else is like this, but I mean, we're talking about video game crushes here, but personality, it has to be somebody funny. They've got to be funny. And honestly, I was so annoyed by Micah. I hated him. I hated everything about him. Damon, again, thank you so much. And Tootie, thank you. So is it Toodle? I think it's Toodle. Thank you so much for the prime sub and welcome in. And I'm glad to see you're already enjoying the channel and community. And I see Cash. Cash, thank you for the follow. And you guys with a hype train. Scam tram right off the rip. Thank you so much. Micah is funny. Micah is like, Micah is like the perfect definition of probably the kid that's throwing erasers at the back of your head in elementary school saying that they like you, but then they're like trying to smack you. They're like hitting you and they're like, no, but I actually just liked you. You know, it's, it's not... Great. What the hell? Cat gem on a jetpack. What in the world? Great. Take it back. Jack, welcome back in. Great, you were so you what? What? <laughs> Classy, welcome back in. DC Sneaky Crate, what are you doing? Crate, thank you so much, but please, it's far too much. What the yeah, hippie griffs here. Mickle, welcome back in. The, I, the fact that you took the opportunity to slip a jetpack in there too. Just really. This is this is almost as bad as Ertie doing the donation yesterday and saying, oh, first stream of Mass Effect, Ertie goes, so what about, was it Metal Gear's a solid? Was it Metal Gear? I wanted to hear like, okay, now on to the next game. Great, thank you so much. Just thank you. WD-40, I have no excuse not to WD-40 now. I have no excuse. Legend herself, welcome back in. And the $2. <laughs> hey, that is two orders of cinnamon twist right there, okay? Sir Jag, welcome back in. Babyface, welcome back in. Andy, I see. We should start every stream with a set of curls so Maggie can win her next arm wrestling. I've got to get something. Yeah, I've... <laughs> Look at how small, like it's so, it's a noodle. It is honestly a noodle. So the jetpack is real. Guys, I don't think you can legitimately get a jetpack. And at this rate, I know you guys are trying, but I would, what, it is so. Erty. Hey, Crate. Jetpack for the win. Guys. What? <gasps> Why? Like. <laughs> Yuzu, joyful second, welcome back in. Please refund it, you guys. I don't know why y'all are doing this. Friend, London, I am not hydrated. Sorry, I annoyed you with my friendship. <laughs> it's 
Misty Way, welcome back in. I'm broken. Yesterday already broke me enough. You guys, I have nothing left in my tank. Cash, welcome back in. Yuzu, Erdy, Crate, you guys. Thank you so much. Do you say it's a money laundering scheme? Liam, Voodoo, thank you so much for the prime sub. Steven. What are y'all doing to me? Steven, with the five gifted subs to the channel and community as well. There's no excuse not to get the jetpack now. I'm getting punked right now. Did you guys say jetpack? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what are you guys? Are you guys serious? Wayward, Faniels, Goso with the 200 bits. Erdy with the gifted sub to cash. Cash something, cash something. Something. Iguana, thank you so much for the prime sub. Bear. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Let's compare jetpacks. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? Clout! Ridiculous! <laughs> I am broken today. I can't. Clout. Dropsticks. Thank you for the five gifted subs to the channel and community. I did it. My makeup. I did everything. And you guys don't do this. Holy cow. Guys. I. 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 Clout, thank you so much. Matt, thank you for the reset for two months in a row and welcome back in. Great. Bear, Erdy, all of you guys. I can't, I can't even do an intro anymore. Like, I can't. I've wanted so badly to say hi to everybody and Sir Jag, Matrix, Frost, Eisen with the reset for four months in a row. Matt, thank you so much. Coney. Hypo, welcome, welcome to my life. Guys, thank you so much. I just don't even, yeah, I did, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. It's really quiet and awkward. Okay, I, let's get started on Mass Effect before you guys go even more crazy. Mebbers, welcome back in. Cash, oh, Erdy, I thought you were gifting like a funny sub. I didn't realize it was a real like gifted sub to somebody. Destined, welcome back in. Witcher as well. And just anybody that followed during that old man, thank you for the 200 bits. Iguana with the prime sub. I can't, I, I have like, I've not hydrated enough to even, like tears are not coming. I, my nose is the only thing that's running right now. I come into stream and cast is almost crying what happened. Just troll biscuits everywhere as far as the eyes can see. Guys, anybody that's gotten a gifted sub today, I hope you guys enjoy the sub and the emotes and the channel and I just thank you. Seamus, Seamus, welcome back in. 13, welcome back in. Always gift to real people. I can't believe you would make that mistake. <laughs> that's not true. That is not true at all. Hawk, welcome back in. 
Yoda, welcome back in. Shadow, if I missed you guys, please say hi again. I'm sorry, I've been so bad at catching up with intro lately. Um, I'm gonna try even harder. I'm gonna start saying hi to you guys in the middle of this song. London. Casta really cries, she's a tough lady. Rarely, sci-fi Bradley. Sci-fi. Jetpack I tissues. <laughs> Sci-fi, I have not seen you in so long. I hope you're doing well and just London, get out of here. You guys, thank you from the bottom of my small little heart, but I really appreciate it. I will look up a jetpack. Didn't you guys tell me how much a jetpack was? I think you guys already told me this. Briel, what's up? Welcome back in. <laughs> Let her play the game. We're not even 30 minutes into the intro. It's 24 minutes. Also, B-dubs. Beatups with the three gifted subs to the channel and community as well. Brio, welcome back in. I see Locke. Locke, welcome back in. DJ, Stuway, Hatless. Never, never, ever say that again. It's never. not $500, but I appreciate you. Y'all, I say it at the end of every stream for a reason. The time is the most precious thing in this world and you guys give me it in abundance and 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 then some and so thank you and thank you so much atlas <laughs> great it's not even that that gets me it's when you guys say just really nice things and it just it's just it just reminds me how blessed i am to mood dc dj parties welcome back in guys i hope y'all enjoy this sub and the emotes and we gotta get the going the world is the greatest source <laughs> of excitement the second being maggie in her natural habitat crying attention we need a new one that says her natural habitat crying because chat did something sharpie gravel gravel welcome back in cradle cradle with a thousand bits as well Angelo, hi, Gravel. Two times finest, continuing their sub from Anon. Two times, thank you so much. I'm behind on all of this, and if I miss saying thanks to anybody, just thank you. El Angelo with the reset for five months in a row. Mass Effect run is a meme, no more. Yeah, until Ernie decided to troll me with another meme, and then I'll always have Halo on the back burner. There will always be a meme of what game I still need to play, you know? Jay, thank you for the follow. B-dubs, thank you so much. Mini Thor, hi. Welcome back in. Kratos with the thousand bits. Our lady Ginger is doing great. She's actually... Okay, hold on. Hold up. She's doing great. Okay. okay. She's doing great. Look at her. Okay, wait. Let me get out of the way. Let me get it. Stop. Look at her. She's doing so well. Yeah. You can live a perfectly happy life never playing Halo. <laughs> Umbral Omar, guys, thank you for the follows. Mini Thor, thank you so much again for eight months of continual support. Will do uh, okay. What is your bid, Lord Ginger? <laughs> you look really upset right now. Are you okay? Are you okay? London with the three gifted subs to the channel and community. Look how void her eyes look. She's just staring off into the distance. <laughs> There's a cat egg chair. I've had this for like five years. I think she's had this chair longer than anything else. Yeah. It's her cat egg. I got it from like a TJ Maxx or something like the best 40. It's the only thing she stays in. It's like the best 40 bucks I've ever spent. London, thank you. And Hatless Daffodil, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. Thank you. And also Darth Alex, Drinking Monkey, guys, thank you for the follows and anybody else that I missed. All right, are you guys ready? Chat, can I, can I start the game? Let me ask. Also, just for the record, I know, yeah, the cat cam isn't set up. Although I could set it up. I could set it up, but I... I feel like for Mass Effect, you guys don't actually want... Do you want the cat cam set up? It's going to take up more space on the screen when I'm playing Mass Effect. That's the only thing. Um, okay, hold on. This is annoying me. Malvin, welcome in. Yeah, that's what I see about that. 
no hour and a half intro today. No, it was only an hour and a half intro because I hadn't seen you guys for 10 days. Come on. She's upset because you're crying. They feel it. Ginger does know when I'm crying and she will like come up and try to hang out with me. You know, Ginger's just sitting there like, yeah, I'm adorable AF. What are you going to do about it? Um... It was really sweet. Cat, you guys know Cataclysm. She had messaged and was like, hey, like ha she had just gotten a kitten. If you guys haven't seen, um, so cute. And she was asking me about like tips on like how Ginger's lived such a very healthy, happy 17 years. I was like, I don't know. Like she grew up, she was like born into just the annoyance of three kids. Like, and sometimes I think that pets that are surrounded by kids just live longer because of all the laughs. And, but at the same time, like my brothers would like fight over her. Like she would be fought over. And I don't know. I just, I am so amazed that she's lived this long as well. I mean, there's a lot of cats that live to be in their 20s. So, yeah, my boy Rupert's 18 and we love him. We, Jamie, welcome back. And by the way, I can't believe I didn't see you. I was looking for you. I didn't know what I was looking for, but I was looking for your name. <laughs> Sue Run, again, welcome back in. There is no justice for Jawas. You know there never will be. Um... I don't know how you are with long form YouTube videos, but after you complete the series, a YouTuber called Sal Salt Factory does amazing analysis on Mass Effect and other games. Yeah, so I haven't done a whole lot of, I, I know you guys always recommend these great YouTube videos for me. And at the end of the day, when I'm done streaming or recording, I so rarely like dive into them. I have used to, like I used to watch a lot of like Vadi video. I'll watch a lot of Dead by Daylight YouTubers, but I would love to, get some more clarification on games and I should start doing that more for for a lot of different games that I've played I still need to watch making a Kratos which I know is not like somebody else's analysis I know that's like an actual documentary kind of thing but I need to get better at looking at those and London thank you so spurious spurious it was so great to meet you as well and Ernie with the gifted nope Nope, your kitty's 19. Dion, what's up? Welcome in, by the way. And I see Matt never starting the game. It's been 30 minutes. I got to start. I got to get going. I'm almost on time for once. Maggie in space. Daryl, hello. Lufa, welcome back in. Jarash, I saw. Classy, I know you guys are. I asked you if we're ready, and then I continue to talk for like 10 more minutes. Um, I'm so sad I didn't get to go to TwitchCon. Was meant to go. Oh, okay. So you just didn't end up going. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Got it. Okay. Yeah, it was so cool to meet all of them. Zodi, Fonfano. I actually, that group came up the same time that I got to meet Crate as well. And Moon's hi, no name. Wait, Maggie can see us too? You never know. Uh, Cat Cam for three hour intro is good for the beginning. We are not doing an hour intro, guys. We're about to get started. I don't know what you're talking about. As soon as I catch up, mark my words, London, again, thank you. And Spurious, I hope you enjoy the sub. You truly deserve it. And Bear. All right, we're going. Frickin, I can't believe I was trying to be nice about saying that we missed you yesterday. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Ginger's like the old lady who eats nothing but bacon and drinks Coke and lives to be 100. Yes, that is the best way to put it. It's always, always... Ridiculous. <laughs> you are being ridiculous. Crate with 25 more gifted subs to the channel and community. What are you doing? What are you doing? Guys, all right, we have to get started because that's the only way that it can stop. The madness will only stop when it goes away and there's no alerts and everything already gifted like 25 to 25 different metal gear solid accounts wait when wait legend when did already do this hold on i only saw one i saw metal gear solid 5 has already been sniping them when i have been offline and crimson thank you so much for the reset for five months in a row as well panda with the tier one sub ginger's on the move what's she doing bubby Panda, thank you so much. Yes, if you guys are tuning in, this is day two of Mass Effect, but have no fear. I really didn't do a whole lot yesterday. Are you headed out? Oh, 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 <laughs> she's struggling. Her back legs are her weakest, you know. Um, I can't believe nine months ago happened so fast. I love the nine months of being here. Wait, is that a resub shadow? No, okay, yeah. I can't believe you found it in October. All right, what you doing, girl? What you doing? She's having an existential crisis right now. If you give a mouth, oh, 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 big stretchies. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> All right, big stretchies. That means let's start. We do it. <laughs> Come on, Ginger. Let's go. You want treats? She said, treats? Look at how, like, she's chonky. She's like a thick girl. Her sides be thick. Good base. Thank you for the follow. Sharpie with the stretch. Erdy with the gifted sub, too. Oh, I loved that book as a kid. I loved that book. I know. I know. All right. She's going to be fine. Oh, 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 oh. And we're out. I'm out. Okay. Uh, She'll probably lay around... No, she's asking to go. Okay, let me let her out and then we'll get started, you guys. Spectre, heart rolls, guys. Thank you for the follows. Sharpie, thank you for the stretch. Um, Zodi and just anybody. I know I have not done a good job today. Honestly, today more than any day. I saying hi to all of you guys, but thank you so much for being here and taking time out of your busy Sundays. And I hope you guys enjoy part two of Mass Effect. Let me let her out. Okay, this just got stuck in my ear. This is awkward. Hold on. <laughs> Bulky. It's been a year. Okay, it's been a whole year. What? Falky, thank you so much for an entire year of continual support. Jack and Ginger are up there. It sounds like Jack and Jane, but Jack and Jane, Jack and Jane, they're up there, so I can't pull them out. But thank you so much just again for the pictures and just being a part of this community. That's so crazy. Yeah, so Jules found the community right before you then because she just resubbed out a year as well. Yeah, yeah, she's out of the room. When do we rate the thigh gap and the cakes? Why is Sir caked up like that? <laughs> we're about to. Except I don't I don't know. I don't think that we're gonna run into um I don't know if we'll run into thigh gaps. We'll see what happens. Bubs, Bubs, welcome back in Sway Candidate. What do you mean I beg your pardon? AG, AG, welcome back in as well. All right, we're gonna throw this up. Jules and Zurich all joined around the same time. The troll Trisket Biscuit. All right. I hope this works. Please work. Sharpie, ask a question. I'm surprised that you spam that. Would you rather never watch your most favorite movie for the rest of your most fa Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Would you rather never watch your most favorite movie for the rest of your most favorite TV series? Can we reframe that question? Can we circle back and reframe that, Sharpie? Oh. <laughs> For the rest of your life. Also, Mac, thanks for the follow. Welcome in as well. Gotham, welcome back in. It's nice to see you again and returning for another stream. Uh oh wait, I just hit start and I should have hit resume. Hold on. Naughty Peach, Naughty Peach, hi. A leg hi. I know some of you guys have been here for a while. I'm just saying I well, there's some handsome game characters to replace Sonon. Was it obvious that I had a thing for Sonon? Was that apparent? I didn't think it was that obvious. I thought I was hiding it pretty well. I might have to... Okay, no, no, I can resume. Okay, nice. We also have one death on the table if you guys have not seen the clip of it. It is shameful to say the least. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it at all. Dude, I'm Jason. Thank you for the follow as well. Welcome in. Possum hi, Wookie hi. I don't I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. The resub. It was a resub by Shadow. I feel like I missed it. I can't believe nine months ago have been that fast. I can't wait to hit the five-year badge. Shadow, thank you so much for being a part of this community and just thank you for everything. And I love that you found the stream during October. October, if you couldn't tell, is my all-time favorite month. Absolutely drink drink what's up welcome in and also clue guys thank you for the follows all right am i going full renegade or paragon i have no idea i'm just doing the choices best suited to how i would respond to it in real life bv hi constellation legend herself okay are you saying would i rather never be able to see my favorite tv series or never see my favorite movie is that what is that the summary of the question sharpie prime hi dark star so renegade then matt why do you guys think I'm so evil? I'm like the nicest person until I'm not. Belly, Belly, <laughs> welcome back in. The Witcher, okay. Uh, oh gosh, my favorite movie or my favorite TV series? I guess I would lose my favorite TV series because I don't need to waste that much time of day, you know? It's just, if I never get to see my favorite movie, I'm missing, what, two hours? If I never get to miss or never get to see my favorite TV show again, I'm saving like hours and hours of time. 
Renegade Maggie is loose again. I'm a mess. I'm a mess around. What if I just permanently shaved my eyebrow for this playthrough, like for the whole entirety of Mass Effect? <laughs> just do it. No name, you punched out the colonist? Of course I punched out the colonist. Are you kidding me? What do you mean? Uh, Pret, Pretola, what's up? Welcome back in. Raisin Tosier and Anna. One death already. Wonder how it happened. I definitely wasn't sent the clip. In my defense, nothing on it said explosive. I just want to say, also Anna. Hello. I was one colonist. It was like the Jawa. It was one Jawa. Deval, welcome back in. Um, all right, so real quick, if you guys are new to the channel, have no fear. Your caster recaps here. We are starting out on day two of Mass Effect. Great. There's not even any alerts. There's nothing on. Great with 25 more gifted subs to the channel and community. What are we doing? Every time I try to get somewhere with this intro, it just gets derailed by some one of you troll biscuits. I don't know exactly who. <sighs> Great, thank you so much. And just to reiterate one more time, guys, please give a big thank you to anybody that you got a gifted sub from today or ever. And I hope you guys enjoy the community. It Nothing said explosive, Raj. Let's not play. Don't fool ourselves here. Destined, you smacked the one dude with the receding hairline yesterday. I believe that I verbally abused him. I don't think I physically abused him. I only merely pointed out his receding hairline. Oh, no. He was the colonist. Oh, no. He was the colonist. Oh, you're right. Okay. Well, basically, if you guys did miss yesterday, um, I'm starting to make a little bit of renegade choices. Not not on purpose. I genuinely am just trying to answer to the best of my ability and how I guess I would respond in the situation. So far, I am, what is my class? We'll find out. Let me pull up what my class is. We're really at the start of the, we're, we really didn't get far when we were playing yesterday. I just want to say. Uh, protein, what's up? Welcome in. Cash, I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. Black Alicious with the resub for 13 months. Hi. And also, I see Zuku. Is it Zuku with the prime sub? Guys, thank you so much for all the. There's been a bunch of new follows and faces and like first time subs. Guys, thank you for all the support. She's an infiltrator. No, I'm not actually. We are. Bear with me. Hold up. Squad. I'm Vanguard. Yeah, I went Vanguard. Um, I have a colonist background. My parents were brutally murdered. Um, and I'm ruthless, which kind of makes sense. So Chiba, what's up? Welcome in. Saint Dreamer, hi. And Naughty Peach with the gifted sub to protein. Naughty Peach, thank you so much. Thank you, Howie. So that's pretty much it. Well, we see cast as bias against guys with uneven bicep to forearm ratio. It was really disturbing and bothersome. It's completely normal. Also, we were checking out thigh gaps. Okay. With that, let me just show you guys where we're officially at with, hold on. Hmm? Whoa, there's our map. I didn't discover the map yesterday. This is day two. I always talk about this if you guys are new here. It takes me a little bit because I do try to like grasp as much of the game as it's giving us and as possible. But with that, it usually takes me about three to four streams to acclimate to it. I did this with Witcher. Witcher, while we did put in like, was it 200 hours? I think we put in like over 150 hours, but the first, I would say 20 hours were a little bit difficult. So you just gotta grin and bear it because I'm not gonna be good at everything. Like, and I still wasn't by the end of the game, but I did get a whole heck of a lot better. So this has been the first I've actually seen a Mass Effect. You should, you should, Matt, absolutely. I, I've i heard just from almost everybody that this is their absolute favorite. Um, your eyebrow slit that isn't an eyebrow slit so it's so prominent today you might as well shave it for real at this point <laughs> i have a uh, scar wax on it anna i just put scar wax on it but i was thinking maybe for mass effect we just <laughs> except i don't know i can't bring myself to do it i can't bring myself to dye my hair like crazy colors or do like cut my hair or anything there's not any wrong choices with the player start yes yeah it's really nice to know that you can kind of take whatever route you want to go delta and also it speaks to like if you guys are thinking about getting the game one i think the legendary edition is often on sale two the replayability of it just seems endless with all the different dialogue options so 
rap boy happy sunday thank you for the 100 bits and delta with the follow thank you and jess wait i've been blessed to have jess and anna in the same stream Jess, thank you so much for the reset for eight months in a row. I miss you already. I just need to fly out there and see you again. And Childish, D Mike, we are our class. I still can't remember this. Vanguard. We're Vanguard. Vanguard, Ruthless. And let's get going. And also remind me to save. That's the one thing. That is the one thing that you guys can remind me. But just real quick, as a reminder, guys, please no tips, tricks, or spoilers. My mods are not messing around. I've told them to be ruthless. If it looks like a spoil, if it smells like a spoil, if it talks like a spoil, it's out. It's out. Um, this is like the one, the one game that I'm trying to not have any spoilers of. And you guys are cheeky. Apparently, some of you guys had almost spoiled the fact that the the big spoil in survivor apparently some of you guys were trying to spoil that also why do i have a tiger thing all right let's go why do i have this here why <laughs> wondering why i have this nick thank you so much for the reset for eight months in a row and welcome back in as well all right it's time to talk to joker that's pretty much the only place we got and nihilus is dead and i thought he was going to be a much bigger part in the storyline but apparently not i would do a regular save every once in a while Yes, I regular saved at the end, but thank you. I would say at the top of the hour, can somebody remind me to like regularly save? Otherwise, we'll just auto save. But all right, Joker, what's up? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Just a random tire gauge. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think I had this in the side and I was removing it. I should probably put it in my car. The new car. Does Joker have endless dialogue? Yes, always be prepared with a tire gauge. <laughs> the music in Mass Effect is already phenomenal. Ethan, thanks for the follow. Look at the Welcome. Size in. Of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Oh, why so touchy, Joker? <laughs> I'm just saying you need firepower too. <laughs> Okay, Look yes, Joker monster. is it's absolutely my favorite already. The barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing is on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. I like the name of the ship too. Clearance, Music's instant nostalgia. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. AG, did Normandy you say you just finished paying it off? Please proceed to dock 422. Raisin, be careful. Just anything that can, and I know a lot of things won't seem like a spoiler, but just anything that implies a certain path that I should take or, or anything that just kind of feels like that, please avoid. This is an outrage. The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Ooh. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. This isn't even the hearing. This is just the initial conversation. Captain Anderson, mm. I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. They are. Look. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Oh, I guess we don't have any proof of it, do we? AG, congratulations. That's amazing. Yeah, I tried to. I don't have the red hair, but I, I tried to. It was kind of like when I did the the survivor one Marin's thing also guys thank you for the follows and welcome in and naughty peach with the gifted sub to raisin and there was also a resub but i missed the resub whoever that was major meerkat have a good one this is the legendary edition but i'm still amazed at how well the games have aged i was talking i was saying the same thing i mean i don't have the comparison to the original but the graphics seem really well done i get that they kind of zhuzhed it up but still 
He's dangerous. It's the truth. They're blind. I do already have this instant feeling that I dislike the council. I think that they're kind of, they have their agenda. They're going to push it and they aren't seen to reason. I don't think there's anybody, I don't know. I don't, would Saren, Saren? Sauron. Would Saren have somebody on the inside? I don't know the answer to that. But if he is at least their top performing agent, then they're not going to be easily convinced. And we don't have any hard proof, do we? It's the truth. He's dangerous. Saren's a threat to every Saren. human colony out Sauron. there. Sauron. He needs to be stopped. The council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. Damn. A mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. But also Saren not my fault. fault. Not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, mm. the council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the specters. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, huh. top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Ashley. And that's why I hate politicians. I've been kind of mean to Ashley so far, but uh -huh. Stanley, tire high and daily epicness. That's what it was. London, thank you so much. Daily, thank you for 38 months of continual support. I just I didn't say that at the intro to this, but I'm going to be a lot worse at kind of keeping up with the activity feed and probably reading as many messages as I normally am with this playthrough, just because I'm trying to give it the respect that it definitely deserves. Um, and I'm known to talk over games just a little bit so i'm gonna try my hardest not to with this one but thank you guys for absolutely everything and ashley sucks be mean i didn't like her right off of the bat but i do want to make a point and winnie hi um the thing that i don't understand with this is already he they're trying to hold the specter position over my head when I know that we had some conversations and I know that they wanted to put me up for the first human specter because obviously we found out that that's not a commonality. However, it's not like I was pining for it. I don't feel like it was this thing that I was like absolutely bloodthirsty to get. So I find it interesting that they're just I think it's the only thing they really can use against me, I suppose. So London is a good person. London is amazing. Absolutely. And Ernie, thank you again. Mai, thank you for the follow. And Maxi with the reset for six months in a row. Hello and welcome back in. Why is Ashley? Ashley in every single game typically is just a disliked character. Ashley haters are so aggressive. <laughs> is it as bad as Ashley and RE4 haters though? That's the question. Odin, hi. I do like Kaden. But yeah, check him out when he's uh when he's doing his cross arm thing. His forearm to bicep ratio sure just feels a little off. Let's exhaust all of their dialogues as well. Big place. Did I see a Zykin? Zykin, hi. Sure is peaceful here. Okay, actually that's so true. I like the way that they've structured this. So am I? I'm assuming that if it rains, we're screwed. It just uh, I guess it would just go. Maybe it doesn't rain here. I don't know. Vanguard's such a fun playstyle. I've been trying to make the jump through. I, I think you could do a whole separate playthrough just by trying out the different classes, right? Just alone. Her name is Ashley, not Karen. She's not so bad yet. She just was a little sassy to me. I have sound alerts turned off, and so that's really freaky. Shadow. Shadow. It's a sp <laughs> It's a space station. Why would it rain? I'd love to see some simulated rain. I think it would be fun. You know, I don't think we should always want this beautiful sunny day. I love a good rainy day. What about a snowy day? I'd love for it to rain. <laughs> don't look at me like that, y'all. Please. I just want diversity in our climate. I feel like it's kind of dreary to just always have a sunny good day sure is peaceful here we are not doing this you guys we're gonna pause every time you guys do this i have them i have them turned off for it i have to physically i'd have to physically go in and turn it off i have them turned off on obs you guys why you gotta do this? You should be able to do it. 
imagine you're responsible to configure the weather on the citadel everybody would hate you if you just brought out like some rain or what would people absolutely hate thunderstorms i feel like at nighttime they should simulate thunderstorms and make you sleep a lot better you guys it's not funny Okay, let me do this again. I like how they get prepared as soon as I do that too. Okay, let's put this back. I can't Some fog. From the animals. Ashley, really? Hmm. Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. If we think that Ashley's normal. They built themselves a beautiful lake. I wonder if anybody's drowned in it. And we, are you serious? Do <laughs> you? This place is a little too perfect. Like they're hiding something. She's quite the skeptic. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Yeah. <laughs> Med, what's up? Welcome in, by the way. All right, we do have a few things that we can interact with. Yeah, she has zero filter. Absolutely. Decrypting. Oh, I love these. Ah! <laughs> go, uh, let me go over here. Hold on. I see my in, I see my in. Go, go, go. <laughs> Alliance Patrol Report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row Cluster. She had particular concern about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for the sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Hmm. That was a very Casta-esque question, if I've ever heard one. It's a beautiful lake. I wonder if anybody's drowned in it. <laughs> She's one of those humans who hasn't left her small town that often. <laughs> it's a good point. I was laughing, if you if you guys weren't there for yesterday, I was laughing because when we were talking to the doctor, we're also going to get going. I know I'm taking my sweet time with this. When we were talking to the doctor, she brought up the really good point of what they get you with the military is you want to see the world. She was like, you want to see the galaxy? And then they didn't end up doing anything that different. I love the doors in this game. Exactly, Phoenix. A glass half empty. Oh, I love this. Also, DJ Chaos with the reset for two months in a row and Parachute with the reset for two months. Hello. Guys, thank you so much. Look at the way the doors are all just very intricate. They don't open in one singular way. Like they slide and glide and all sorts of. Oh! Avina? Oh, okay, let me look at the map real quick. That's how the Navy gets you. Do you want to see the world? Uh, are we doing Banjo Tui? So we're gonna be on Mass Effect for a while, but I've thought about doing extra streams here or there to finish Banjo Tui because I realized we started that, and I don't like starting a game now and not finishing it unless I dislike the game, and that was not the case with Banjo Tui. I loved Banjo Tui. I definitely want to hit these point of interest, so let's do that first. But let me look at our journal for our main mission right now. You have to prove the Citadel Council that Saren, one of their Spectre agents, has gone rogue. Easy. Easy. Cool space outfit. Ah, uh, yes, my brother DJ. <laughs> Let's see. To Citadel Tower, Avina. Yeah, the details are actually really well done. Welcome to the Presidium. Do I want 100% this game? I don't even know if that's possible. I reckon I would... Can you even 100% it on a first playthrough? To C-Sect Academy. The elevator to C-Sect is located down the ramp to your left. The Alliance docking bay can be found there. Hmm. Should do a stream for more Detroit outcomes. Oh, that was a lot to put together, even that one alternative ending, because I had to put myself in those positions. So I almost had to do like a whole second playthrough of it. Um, I'd have to do it where I'm watching somebody else play through it. It's really hard to get all the different outcomes on your own accord. And blue... Thank you so much for the reset for eight months in a row as well. Thank you, thank you. Naughty Peach, enjoy the lurk. Thanks for tuning in. It is possible to 100% the game on the first run. Diablo, Dab. Well, I always want to say Diablo, it's Dab. Dab, hi. All right, the Citadel Tower as well. <gasps> Spaceship. Rapid transit to travel quickly between major locations. <gasps> it kind of seems small. I would expect more people. <gasps> hi. The Presidium Financial District? Mm. You can 100% it in the sense that you'd have to go back and make the other choices. Right. Right, right, right. You'd have to go back and make the other choices, the ones that you make here. Domino, thank you for two months as well. Thank you, thank you. Feels like New Atlantis. On Legendary One? You could 100% the originals, but not 
legendary. And man, thanks for the follow. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Avina. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide Presidium. throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Are you real? Virtual guide? No thanks. Oh, do I just insult her? I feel like both of them are kind of insulting. Mm. Yes, and we are finally first time playing this. So are you a person or a program? I, I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. She's like Cortana. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals should you require assistance. It's curious. Interesting. Did you watch the post credit scene? Uh, no, I haven't, Magnesium. I have not, actually. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On Neo, the other yes. side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I don't think there is friendly fire, Damon. I'm pretty sure there's not friendly fire. My teammates are going to be in a world of pain if that's not. Okay. c -sect. I can't read this without hearing C-section. I don't know why I can't. It's like... It's just where my brain goes. Kevin, what's up? Welcome back in. I want to know more I know, about Citadel I know, security. I know, I don't. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but Turian. individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. I can't be the only person that thinks of that. You know, there is friendly fire. No name. If there was friendly fire, I think I would have already found out, truly. Um... Ian, thanks for the follow and Sir Rhino, thank you so much for 15 months of continual support as well. Nihilus got friendly fired, RIP. I still have hopes that he's still alive. Like, maybe he comes back. I don't know. You guys made him seem like too important of a character to die in the first five minutes of the game. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel right. space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. I do have a question. Can somebody answer how many different voices they used in this game? Like, how many different voice actors they had to have? Who died? <laughs> uh, wait, spoilers. Spoilers, McBuzzin. There's Friendly Fire, and then there's Maggie Fire. <sighs> Why were the Volus first? I do want to know more about the Volus. Wait, did I say that? Many, so many. No spoilers on the on behind-the-scenes information. Gas and Chris, guys, thanks for the follow Welcome as well. the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the We've most heard populous and widespread again. species in Citadel space. Asari. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Hmm. Okay, just an embassy? I do want to hear why humanity was opposed. Many, so, so many. Holy devastation, welcome in and thank you for the follow. Why Let's were people one. trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. A century? The council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Hmm. What do you think? <gasps> Asking the AI, like, what they think about it. This is giving me Detroit feelings. I love it. The end credits will say how many. And an actual number, I'm going to have to individually count. Also, Rob, what's up? Welcome back in. Yes, yeah, straight into another game. 
We have so many heavy hitter games that we have for the next like three, six years. <laughs> MV and also M, guys, thanks Do for the Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. There you go. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Hmm. Okay, let's investigate further. There is just one thing, and we kind of discussed this last time, but there's only one thing that I already just wish they had done, which was graying out the options that you had already asked about, because sometimes the way my brain works, and with how many different dialogues they have, it's easy to click on the same one accidentally, or, um, or like forget that you'd already listened to one. It's not like Oblivion or Skyrim where there's small handful doing the voiceovers for vast majorities of the NPCs. There's a lot of unique voices for this. That's what I was kind of getting the the feeling. There just seems like a lot of uniqueness in the voices. And like you said, it's not one person covering like six different NPCs. Uh, so we asked about CSEC. Spectres. I do want to find out more about the Spectres because right now, I mean, it's giving you, it's that secret kind of thing that we all, we all want to hear about, you know? Um, Aaliyah, hi, Vin, welcome back in. Yeah, I've seen a lot of welcome backs, guys. Thank you for being here and welcome back in. Yes, we're back and we're hitting it hard with Mass Effect. Tell me about the embassies. And new, thank you. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics yes, maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species. To we read this one. The most recently added yep. embassy. Yep. Goodbye. <laughs> so, oh no, I didn't Goodbye. mean to. Oh and no. Well, they built themselves. See, already I clicked on the one that I had already to talked to. On the far end of this level, okay, you can see the Citadel Tower, Spectres. where the Council meets regularly there you go. to discuss. I thought I asked about Spectre instead of clicked. I must the have clicked embassy. Is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. We know Each that. Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the council itself. That is so, what, uh, like, sketchy. You know, like them having their own group of top level, like, spec ops. Jalapeno and Cactus and Ben, guys, welcome in. Thank you for the follows. Avrishan, hi. And also Morphix, yeah. The background characters are swaying instead of staying still. Yeah, they're actively moving as... Yeah, you're right. I didn't even notice that. Goodbye. I want to explore Goodbye. the embassies. And I thank you for using Avina. Avina. I want to see all the different um, species and the ones that are actually located and have embassies here. Hmm... The hypnotic powers. Embassy receptionist. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. I guess I probably need to talk to them first. Commander? Interesting. Maybe we want to be a specter? Having no laws? Ain't no laws when you're drinking claws. <laughs> Bob, welcome in. Avery, thanks for the hydrate. You know who I am? Yeah, classy. It would have been nice to have yes, that. Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. I'm notable. Investigate. Personal question location. I'm Vanguard, Angelo. I'm a ruthless Vanguard. Where is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. We, I guess we would have talked to her first, but I just want to hear every single dialogue, whether I know the answer to it or not, you know? What's that? No, 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 no. Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. Brad, hey Brad, how's it going? Let's do this. What's your name? What do you do here? Look at her inquisitive eyebrows. I'm the administrative <laughs> assistant for the embassies. Busy? You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I like her voice. I want. I. I feel like I've heard her voice before, but I like how she's a little bit sassy too. Okay, I think that's everything we can investigate. So let's get out. out. Have a pleasant day. Yeah, I think looking back because it was my first playthrough, I almost wish I had gone with a standard soldier just because I wouldn't have had to deal with the complexity of. And I know it's not that complex, but because I went with Vanguard, we have what is it? Um, oh, what is it called? Just the the abilities. There were like a couple different abilities that I had. I think you guys said that was exclusive because I picked Vanguard. The biotics, yes. I wouldn't have had biotics had I not, I guess. Big place. 
Uh, we're just doing a normal playthrough for this. Berg, what's up? Welcome back in. Is the game living up to the hype? Mm, I... <laughs> it's a little bit too early for me to tell with that. I would say that I'm instantly blown away by everything that I'm initially seeing. The only thing that sometimes I, I guess I wasn't expecting it to be so vast, like having so many different dialogue options, a lot of different areas that you can explore. I wasn't expecting that despite knowing that it was a little bit more, I guess it's, does it classify as an open world? It's still fairly linear, but yeah, Protein, thanks for the follow, by the way. It's not really an open world, it's just a lot of exploration within it. Being rad, biotics are way too fun to skip. I'm nervous that I'm not gonna, like, use them as much as I should be using them. Am I getting past 10 minutes of gameplay before we break again? I will not be broken today. Not land. Again. At least again. Oh yeah, my playthrough will definitely be unique to me. But every single playthrough is unique to the person playing it, and it's... I think a lot of people don't put as maybe as much emphasis or focus on the realization that what's going on in your life and just your previous playthroughs of other games and experiences impact playing one game in the moment that you're in. Commander Shepard. It's not open world. I didn't world. expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Palin. Palin. Commander Shepard. I didn't expect to see you here. Okay. It's kind of creepy that everybody knows you, though. It almost makes me feel like they can scan you and see exactly your credentials. Brock, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Don't get no, 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 crate. Nope. Bioware didn't open world style games, and instead they did module based games, an area that could transition to other carriers to, or other areas, both for hub planets and dungeons. Okay, I see, I see. It still feels a little bit larger than what I'm used to when it comes to like a game. I feel like. I've started to like more open world and bigger games, but I do have a love for a, a solid linear game as well. I think I just had to prepare myself to know that there was a lot of conversation going to be happening. Does it matter? I go where I want. Nobody sends me anywhere. I just need some information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? I guess. Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? His voice doesn't have the same echo that Nihilus is that it did, despite being the same species. Your shepherd is a bit... <laughs> Mr. Enforcer. I'm just answering how I would answer, honestly. Yeah, Durnham. Also, I saw you at the very beginning. Yeah, Durnham, I'm planning to do one through three. I know I'm taking my sweet time. If you guys are new here, I'm just trying. I'm in the acclimation period, so I'm also trying not to rush through anything. Investigate further. Spectres. Attitude towards humans. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Mm. Not yet. It's okay, you we don't trust our own kind. Take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. The Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. But I don't have to like it. I like him. We're not favorites. I'm going to investigate that further. Oh, no. This game is going to give us dialogue options that you might... Uh, you don't necessarily want to exhaust dialogue. You just want to ask and answer all the questions that you want to. But you don't have to hit all of them. That's what makes it a little tricky. Yeah, no, no, no. I love his honesty. J-Mac, hi. Am I going to approach it as just following main? I, I'm assuming you mean main mission. What if I ever just followed the main mission? Please. Also, Battle Pass, I need you to come cook for all of us because your food looks amazing. So you consider yourself a renegade? <laughs> I feel like I'm like a false renegade. I'm like, I feel... <laughs> it's just like sometimes I feel a little bit sassy, but I'm really like the nicest person. <laughs> but sometimes you want to feel bad, but you're not actually bad. <laughs> Attitude towards human specters, C-section. All right, let's do C-section. Tell me about C-sec. CSEC it's provides a police and security <laughs> services throughout the Citadel. Yeah. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Hmm. I want to ask him how long it takes him to get ready in the morning, because I feel like the outfit's just... You're not going to be putting that on in five minutes. It's not like putting leggings on. It seems like it's a lot of work to get into all of the tubing and everything and, and do you sleep in it how do you use the bathroom what do you know about the specters they're the right hand of the council or so they like to be called more like the underhanded side of the council 
Oh. You don't like them. It's a ruthless renegade. Just a little rascal. Sometimes they just like to cause a little chaos. It's a lot of stuff and a lot of good missions. I'll definitely be doing as many side missions as possible, but like any playthrough that I do, I try to seek out as much of it as it like provides, but I will miss things like that's just natural and that's okay. Like you guys don't have to tell me like, hey, you missed a really good mission or something like that. I just want this to feel like a very organic playthrough. Maybe they slept in it. The thigh gap helps with the bathroom. <laughs> Insane. Insane. I'm like, I see a smile with pain hiding behind that statement. Uh, so how do you use the bathroom? <laughs> what do you have against the specters? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. I like that. Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. I think Palin has a lot of good points. That's a bit naive. Oh, 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 why do I want to ask these questions? 90% of the evil questions that I ask are just because I'm curious to see the response and the, the question behind it as well. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Wow. Some of them are going to be Wow. Corrupt. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do mm. our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. See, I just feel like that's not... There's no way that you're able to pick up on every single bad thing that each individual person's doing. It just doesn't seem... Spectres are important. There's a fan that I have mixed feelings about. In the game, that is. I've had uh, problems in the past clarifying. There's a fan that I have mixed feelings about, Yumeko. I'm not sure I understand. Bending is not breaking. Just a little bend here and there. Also, Sin, thank you so much for the reset for four months in a row. It is great to have you back. It's great to be back and just thank you. Savin, hi as well. But that's why he says they do their best. It's a good point, Webb. Also for him, I feel like he's up really high as well. So it's, I think in that situation, the more people that you have, it's just, you have to have a really good code of conduct and good trainers. I want to know their training program. Am I, why am I asking these questions? The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. I do Sarah agree that they shouldn't control. be above the law. We both know that. But because he's a specter, there you go. the council doesn't want to do anything about it. Yes, Palin. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? If he gets the job done. What if we just say goodbye? I said good day, sir. Giffy, hi. How many CSEC agents have downloaded cars? <laughs> have downloaded cars? <laughs> um, it reminds me of the first Renegade. Let's see. I'm going to go with no. But not all specters are like Saren. True, but the potential is always there. Also, I wonder how often you're running into a Spectre, because it seemed pretty clear to me that on the first ship that it's not every day that you have a Spectre aboard your ship, because they mostly are... I guess they would mostly be aboard ships if they're using it to... as like a means for transportation, but even that still, I don't... I feel like they mostly operate on their own, or they'd have their own little ships to get around. Looks like one of the Zetons. The dirty jobs. All right, I think that's done with uh, investigation. Tell me about your investigation into Sarah. Here we go. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Hmm. Okay, never mind then. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Every single time she talks, she does this like brow upward movement on the single brow as well. I want us to be tracking that. They're super rare. They haven't given us the number of specters that they have. I don't believe yet. So hopefully they do answer that soon. Oh, nice decryption. Have we beaten Mass Effect yet? Oh, of course. Kevin, hi. I know I've missed a lot of people as well, guys. Welcome back in. All right, let me find my in right here. Go, 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 go. Oh. I feel like I got got there at the end, but I'm gonna take it and not question it. The following message was transmitted from, I also love how we're just breaking into people's computers right now. Deem, thanks for the follow. Rumi with the reset for three months in a row as well. Thank you, thank you. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple receptionists across the extranet. Extranet? Extranet? Extranet. 
Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eda cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Oh, there's so many different players in this game, like actual like groups and organizations and uprisings and... Why wasn't the cat invited to the poker game? Because it was a cheetah. <laughs> I want to go over here. I'm actually shocked. I have not heard of that before. Okay, so I think we're done with Palin. Let's continue to explore a little bit. Wow, there's just so many characters and there's so many that we can interact with. And as a reminder, no tips, tricks or spoilers. Anything that possibly looks like it, you guys, please. Um, can you? Oh, oh, I can't talk to them. Uh, what species? I don't, I don't think we got to find out what species. I know we've, I gotta remember the, the names for all of them too. Let me go to the codex. I might say it in the codex. Council races. Mm, the there we go. Were the the sorry. species to discover the citadel. Yeah. When the Salarians arrived, That's it was the Asari who proposed the establishment of the Citadel Good Council inquisitive. to maintain peace throughout the galaxy. Yeah, jargon second day. Since then, the Asari have served as the mediators and centrists of the Council. An all They're an all-female race. race. The Asari reproduce through a form of parthenogenesis. Oh. They can attune their nervous system to that of another individual of any gender and of any species to reproduce. This capability has led to the unseemly and inaccurate rumors about Asari promiscuity. Promiscuity? Asari can live for over a thousand years, passing through three stages of life. In the maiden stage, they wander restlessly, seeking new knowledge and experience. The matron stage? When the matron stage begins, they meld with interesting partners to produce their offspring. This ends when they reach the matriarch stage, where they assume the roles of leaders and counselors. Right. Um, I'll be the, the first. Were the first <laughs> I'm like the, the first to ask the weirdest roughly... questions in games, but I feel like I never ask like, oh, how do, how do species reproduce? I just didn't think it was going to go there. The level of detail in this game. It took me a while to grasp the different. Yeah, the different race names. Yeah, I know. That's why I want to keep like going back until I get it right. So I can, you know, at least have that down early on. If Mass Effect was done today. Ah. Uh... Cassis and also Bit guys, thanks for the follows and welcome in. I seemed interested in the Asari. I just, I think it speaks to the level of detail that they went into all of these games, like into every single creation, like whether it was a different race, species, the Citadel itself, the planets. Yes. Okay, there's an Turians. Turians. No, we've seen the Turians. Tor Turians, Turians, Turians. I want to make sure I'm saying them right too. Asari and Turians are the ones that we've been introduced to to right now aliens not oh the yeah volus the volus are a species of the like a mole with their it's like a bowl embassy. but they are also massive a universe of the Turians. centuries ago they were voluntarily Allie, absorbed hi. into the hierarchy effectively trading their mercantile prowess for Turian military protection erun their home world lies far beyond the normal life zone of its star however the world has a high pressure greenhouse atmosphere oh cool that traps enough heat to support an ammonia-based biochemistry. As a result, the Volus the pressure, suits. pressure suits and breathers when dealing with other species, as conventional nitrogen-oxygen air mixtures are poisonous to them. And in the low-pressure atmospheres tolerable to most species, their flesh oh. will actually split open. Just crack open Volus like a culture melon. Is tribal, bartering lands and even people to gain status. This culture of exchange inclines them to economic pursuits. It was the Volus who authored the Unified Banking Act, and they continue to monitor and balance the Citadel economy. Okay, cool. So the Volus are in charge of the banking for the most part. Toby and Ulysses, guys, thanks for the follows. Uh, I've ever wondered why. Uh, unusual, they answered that. It's a exclusively female-based uh, race. Yeah. The prequel book for the game was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, so you guys were saying how many different books are there after this game came the out? I mean, they had enough to work on a book with all the information that they had already created, you know? 
Yeah, <laughs> I think it's funny because like, I don't think they're trying to be funny. It's just point blank, but it's in the delivery of the narrator that it just sounds funny where he's like, and then they split open. Alia, I'm enjoying it so far. It's a lot. It's just a big game. And so I'm trying not to judge it so far. And Song, welcome back in. Started following you when you played Remake. I'm glad that you're playing Mass Effect. You started three recently. Max, how many hours have you put into it? And also, thank you so much for taking the time to pop over from YouTube. Anybody that's popped over from YouTube. I see a lot of follows as well. Envoy, Arg, and Max, guys, thank you and welcome in. And we have a stretch from Gumby. Citadel and Galactic Citadel Government. I'm also going to be that annoying person that listens to all of these, <laughs> just for the record. Of representatives from the Asari Republics the Torian hierarchy oh and, the and then the Union. Solarian we no haven't met a Solarian yet technically over the independent governments of other species the council's decisions carry great weight throughout the galaxy no mm. single council race is strong enough to defy the other two and all have a vested interest in compromise and cooperation each of the council species has general characteristics associated with the various aspects of governing the galaxy you're right. The Asari are typically seen as diplomats and mediators. The Solarians gather intelligence and information. Okay. The Turians provide the bulk of the military and peacekeeping forces. Any species granted an embassy on the Citadel is considered an associate member, bound by the accords of the Citadel conventions. Associate members may bring issues to the attention of the Council, though they have no input on the decision. The Human mm. Systems Alliance became an associate member of the Citadel in 2165. Okay, so I like that they all have something different to bring to the table as well. Rudd, what's up? Welcome in and thank you. Yeah, I really like that. Max, thank you so much and have a good night. And sir, with the with the follow, so why is sir caked up? Abby, thank you so much for the three gifted subs to the channel and community as well. I don't have my alerts on, um, save for follow alerts, I think. But thank you, thank you. And anybody that's gotten a gifted sub, guys, welcome in. I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. And like I said, buckle up, because yeah, I, I shouldn't apologize for getting into the lore. I know. I just know that we're going to be on this game for a long time with how like in-depth I want to get with it, you know? Yeah, we were talking about Knights of the Old Republic uh, yesterday with it, Matrix. Yeah, we were talking about that. What year are we in right now with the game? <clears throat> I think it should say in one of my bars. I think it will stay somewhere. Abby, thank you so much. Uh, Crate with the hydrate as well. All right, so I just want to say this again in my head so I kind of have it. So Asari are typically our diplomats and mediators. Solarians are the intelligence and information. And then Turians are going to be that bulk of the military, which, yeah... I wonder if that, I guess if I had to guess, I would say the bulk of specters are probably Turians. Just if they also are specializing in military, they might have um, kind of like a stronger chemical makeup that makes them the optimal specter. Doom, the lore is one of the big reasons why people love this game. Yes, oh, and I have to do the secondary ones, right. Yes, Trillion, hi, I just started it. Yep, you caught up, day two. Yeah, I know I'm missing so many messages, guys. Tone and also Roan, thank you guys for the follows. And Brando with the reset for four months in a row. I know, after years and years and years of talking about Mass Effect, we are finally playing it. Guys, thank you for being here. And it's anybody I missed, welcome rumors. back in. Cons what do you want? Oh, Commander. What do you want? Is there oh, something I can Commander. Do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? I don't know what about that hair. About the Asari consort? They have the stronger I, uh, thigh gap. <laughs> well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with things. You never went to see her, did you, Fredericks? Damn. I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Half a year's credits? Asari's. Yeah, I know you're right. You're right. Play Dave the Diver? I just saw somebody playing Dave the Diver. I don't even know what that is, but I think I just saw somebody playing that. Averson, thank you for the 200 bits as well. Schraub and Schwoops, guys, thanks for the follows. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. You have to pay to go and see her? Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Okay, that's fine. We'll excuse it. Maybe I should be more mean kind of letting up on my renegade run okay ashley's right here i like how all of the npcs are just adjusting or they're not just staying still completely except for fredericks 
He knows he messed up. He's just standing there. Not quite at attention. Adrian, welcome in. Adrian. Dave the Diver is the next cozy game. Is it a new game that came out or something? Is that why? I feel like whenever you guys come in and say I should play a game, it's because it just came out. I know. Their thigh gaps are definitely superior. Look at that. Probably the flared pants, too. It's the new cozy game. <gasps> the bartender. Can we grab drinks at the bar? Shilster, hi. <laughs> also, Creed, thank you for the follow as well. It came out like last week. Ah, uh, okay, it's so good. Probably my new favorite game, 1A? How long is the game in total? Is it a contender for the 12 games of Christmas? Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Oh. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? Look, I'm just saying when I go to a bartender, I'm not looking for information. Fine, fill me in. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going Something on here. here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. Mm. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, <gasps> I'd try Flux or Korra's Den. Do they have a mini game? Are we going to Flux or Korra's Den? Entertainment. Tell me about Flux and Korra's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Korra's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. I've been looking for a new honeybee in. 1A, it took 25 hours. Okay, that's not that bad. That definitely won't be a 12 games of Christmas game, but that sounds actually really cool. And Envoy, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy the emotes as well. I know, I think you guys said a jetpack emote. I've got to get a few new emotes made here soon. We need to go down a level. Remind me what after she this. Is? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. Mm. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. You asked a bartender what's new in the city. I mean, they definitely would be, I think they'd have a lot of good information. I see the purpose in it. I just think he could have told me all of this while also giving me a drink, you know? Okay, let's Goodbye. get out of here. Goodbye. Gun, so long, thanks Commander. for the follow. Welcome have in and Pibetto, hi. Let's see. <gasps> okay. I don't know why this is just, okay. I don't have the ginger cam set up right now. I got to reset it up. I, I took it all. I love it. I don't know what it is, but I love it. <laughs> I just want to squish it. I'm getting like cute aggression with it. Can I not talk to it? This place is a little too. Is it like breaking into something? What's going on here? It looks like an alien. It's like, yeah, it's like the ginger alien emote. Exactly. Hey, Max, it has been a while. How's it going? <laughs> It was voiced by Cam Clark, who voiced Leonardo in the 80s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Maddie, I have not seen that. I want to know what that is. Wait until you find out what they are. Is this going to be like when I... What was the creature that I didn't think was going to be deadly and then killed me? Uh, NG, you made the hilarious clip of it. What was the title? What was the name of that creature? Okay, so we've been here. So let's go down a level. Let's try to go to entertainment. The Thornberry. The Tomberry. The Thornberry. The Tonberry, yes. I'm thinking of Nigel Thornberry right now. Smashing. Okay. I think we have to go. Uh, well, we're already up here. Hold on. Let me go over here first. Moons, not the no you posture check. It's a caretaker. They maintain the Citadel. Oh, they're little cleaners. The red barrel from yesterday. All right, look. I'm not the only person to die to a barrel like that. And Boobamon... Glad to have my favorite streamer back. Oh, your choice? My choice. Envoy, I'm so glad. Yeah, we'll be doing the trilogy completely. Uh, what are... My choice? What's very Mass Effect, Red? Green? I feel like blue. Okay, we'll do blue. I can get down with some blue. Very space-like. Thank you so much, Boobamon. And welcome back in. It's great to see you again. The Snarsberry. We leveled up. We leveled up, baby. Six points every time we level up? That's so broken. Oh, Pabetto, I'm still trying to understand the premise of the game, honestly. 
I understand what's happened so far. It's just kind of a lot. It already is a lot to reiterate. And Doom, thanks for the follow. Amex with the hydrate. You guys are on these redemptions today. Mm. Now I understand your obsession with Michael. Do tell. Do tell. All right, pistols, marksman, throw. Let's do the time warp again. Unlock barrier, increases warp duration. See, I've got to figure these out before I start getting all like willy nilly and using them. Because right now I feel like even if I upgraded it, I wouldn't be able to use it properly. I like having charm and intimidate up all the way because now we can definitely have more options in our dialogue. So I love that. The blue, if you know, you know. The blue. What? Blue is for Paragon. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but there's not an actual red. My fireplace won't turn red. It only turns orange. I didn't realize that there was like a color scheme to it. Joy and Dev, guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome. Increases biotic protection, increases pistol and shotgun damage. I would honestly say the next best thing would be to put into our, our class itself. I feel like that only stands to be beneficial. Adrenaline burst, resets cooldown. Tactical armor. Oh, I do kind of like that. And we'd unlock shotguns. So right now I can't even use a shotgun, which makes sense because my starting class didn't come with it, did it? Or no, your start your class just makes it more proficient. Hmm. I'm gonna do three into Vanguard, and then I would say we complete pistols and unlock shotguns. I'm actually not an assault rifle kind of gal. I love a good sniper and a good shotgun. You know, there's nothing like good shotgun. All right, here we go. You can just adjust them later. I didn't know I could respec. It's been such a long time since I played number one. I don't actually remember these parts at all. <laughs> um, it will be a first time for both of us all over again. I feel like this is a type of game that, not to say it's easily for oh, easily forgettable, but because there is so much to it, you could easily forget certain aspects. Oh, thank you. Safe. Elcor Diplomat? What? Hold on, Greg, hi. <laughs> if you're not sure what to do, then save some of your points for when you actually figure out. That's actually a really, that's a good, good tip and trick, actually. You Val, welcome in. Welcome, it is good to meet you. <laughs> it is very good to meet you. The Elcor Diplomat. Ah, you humans are a wonderful sight here on the Citadel. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Sniping in ME1 back in the day was a nightmare. So much weapon sway. I think I already started to... No, they fixed that. Firkin, did you say they fixed it when they remastered it? It is good to see you, human. I sincerely hope you enjoy your time here. Elcor species are low-key my favorite. They just remind me of, like, they have a cave troll. I think I exhausted the Elcor's dialogue. So let me just check out the map. Gosh, there's just so much to it. Should have had Arnie's voice. Oh, we need to draw a picture for Arnie. They fixed it in the Legendary Edition. Somewhat. I love how you say somewhat, Roan. Not completely, but somewhat. Um, so I think I explored everything on that upper echelon. Um, wait. They remind you of the neutral race. Let me... I just want to double check. I can sprint. Hold on. My sprint is not B. What is B? Ah... Uh, Okay, Floppy Pickle, can you change your key bindings? Never mind, I can. Wait, can I? I guess you can only do it on the, you couldn't do it on the controller. Can you? Mmm, hold on, where's the uh, sprint? Move left, move right, no. I'm really, I wish I could move it to B for sprinting, but I have to use A. Ugh. ISW. This is why. Although I feel like this game would be a mess for me to try to mouse and keyboard it. Whoa. Yeah, I think everything up here is done. Sprinting so broken. Shepard, look at the sway happening. That was unnecessary. Can I turn that off? I did turn off a uh, motion blur, but still it feels... Ugh. Use the pickle for the key bindings. Did you notch your brow to match your character? Devoted, authentic, free-spirited. <laughs> Flying Cosmo, welcome back in. Yes, I did. I'm starting to just dip my toes back into getting makeup looks ready for October. Wow. I'm going to be honest. 
I've seen better fountains. I feel like they could have gone with something a little bit more grand. That seems a little lackluster considering the size of the lake. Not <laughs> happy with the help, but okay. I think there's more over here. Oh, look, we can actually look at this. To C Sect Academy, this level leads down to C Sect. The fountain is very weak. <laughs> the camera's anchored to the hips. It's the hips way. What's special about October? October, every single stream, I do a like whole makeup look. Like you don't see my face looking like this for a whole month. It gets crazy. Oh, look at the posture. I feel like that's my posture. No, <laughs> that is totally. Oh no. Maggie weak fountain zero out of 10. <laughs> the lake in space with fountain spraying. Casta can't be pleased. Tell me it's not a little bit. It's just not as magnificent as I would expect. No, stop. That's not my posture. How many for October this year? I have 30 different looks pre-planned out, but some of them are for YouTube as well. But the ones for YouTube, I have to start doing in September. So I got to start doing makeup looks in September. So I have them ready for October. Oh, that's criticizing Mass Effect. <laughs> Comments on reasonable ranting. I just feel like that's a lot of our postures. It's probably not just me. Let's go to the financial district. Oh. Musalarian confirmed. I like the background music in this area. Oh, to Citadel Tower and Warts? I guess it doesn't matter where you go, right? You can, I mean, you can really go and explore wherever you want to. Let me just peep our main mission as of right now. Strange transmission. You discovered, oh, we have multiple assignments. While on the Citadel, you uncovered an Alliance patrol report. One of the patrols mentioned some strange activity in the Hydra system. Oh, these aren't going to be ones that I can access right now. I don't think so. Raven, what's up? Welcome in. <laughs> yeah, just for today. Didn't want the fountains. No, nope. The world is your oyster. On the whole, it seems harmless, but in something about the message seems disturbing. But the main mission. You have the, okay. It's so, oh, go to the tower. Go to the Citadel Tower. Okay, to have the audience with the council. Before we do that, I want to explore all of this. So let's actually head this way. I know that was kind of Scotty. I know I probably asked a, was probably a, uh, we already headed to the embassies. I feel like that was a little bit of a loaded question. I'm sorry. I set you guys up for failure right there. Hmm. It's early, but favorite species so far based on impressions. I don't even feel like I've gotten a good enough impression. I kind of liked the, whatever we just ran into. What was the one that was like the really cute one? I like the cleaners. <laughs> the cleaners are my favorite. Okay, we're back here, so let's head right down below here. You have the views in the Citadel. Who's out here cleaning all of this, though? I feel like it's got to get dirty pretty quick. What's happening here? How do I always end up somehow getting these kind of things happening? So fair, based on posture? <laughs> Dirt is not allowed. Boca, Pen, and RS, and Sash. Guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome back in. Also, Bob with the posture check. I gotta, like, kick this back. You must talk to the council to gain access to the wards. Fair enough. So maybe the world is not our oyster. Slow ride. Take it easy. Uh, we need to go all the way. Let me try taking the... I hate this way. I, guys, I might not be able to run. I know that's dramatic, but it just... It actually gives me motion sickness from sprinting. The space janitors. Render, thanks for the follow as well. Well, this will be really exciting because if we finish all the Mass Effects and then we also do get to play Knights of the Old Republic as well, I think that will be quite cool to get to compare the two as well. Because you said, wait, did you guys say that this was heavily influenced by Knights or Knight was heavily influenced by this? I'm going to find all the glitches. I like this purple. I'll head this way. <gasps> Repeat characters. You come back here often? You want to explore it all at once? No, I don't. I'm sure I'll get to explore more as we go along. But, oh, like, look at that. Hmm. Yeah, I need to... I need to get on board for what is the spoiler with this one and everything. Gotta have, like, a better idea of the parameters. I know we're kind of, like... My office rearranged five times now. Five times? For what? For what? For what? How should I know? It's 
Knights came first. Knights was 90s or early 2000s? What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces them. That's strange. Five times. Not to mention frustrating. I know that this is not a good comparison at all, but for some reason it reminds me of Coruscant. I just very clean and only like one aspect of it, but for some reason it's just giving me that feelings. They made this game after nights because they wanted a space RPG without being constrained to the existing. Yeah, and you guys said they lost the the Star Wars contract or whatever it was. The title or something, the rights to it. I was making the council wait and I'm here for it. <laughs> They're gonna be pissed. I think it is this way though. Rapid transfer. Oh, but I can head this way. We could just blast to it real quick. Let me just fully explore this before we quickly take this. Boisson, the Coruscant. It's the same dev and writer between nights and this. Huh. I wish you could interact with more people. Mushi, Pier, Clutch, Quantum, guys, thanks for the follows. Huh. It's like a shark. I don't know, if they hadn't lost the Star Wars contract, this would have never been made, probably, Welcome right? To Presidium Tourism Terminal. Oh, the we've already talked to her. Before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who Krogan. gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. Rekka? In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. Mm. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Oh, do tell. The Krogan rebellions? Tell me more about the Krogan rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds mm. inhabited by other council species. Oh, they outgrew the it. The Krogan rebellions had begun. For a full century, the council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. Hmm. Sounds like a vicious cycle. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni. Then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's going to stop the Turians? I am sorry, but that question is beyond <laughs> my programming parameters. I keep pushing the, the AI. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. It's very skewed. They didn't lose. They wanted a second a year, but Bioware couldn't do it in a year, so they passed on it. I mean, I think with good reason, right? Wait, there was there was a second Knights of the Republic, though. I thought there was a second one. Also, Anon, thank you so much for all the gifted subs as well. Damon, have a good night. Thank you for hanging around. The Rachni Wars. Mm, that's what I'm saying. If you're on the council, then you're basically lucked out. But if you're any of the other species, good luck. What were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2,200 years ago, Explorers seeking it was to rushed. expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race, the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy insect. that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. Hmm. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Damn. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? Yeah. I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my program. Every time I'm pushing her. Memorial. Two was great, just incomplete. I think right now it's this, uh, even if you rush a game and it's maybe not as great as it could be, there's not a whole lot of repercussions because I feel like people are still buying the game. So it doesn't matter. It's like people will still buy it whether it's rushed or whether it's not good because they want to get to experience it, which just, I feel like makes it continue. And I know we've talked about this plenty of times because I always am like what's the rush and then you guys always say it's like the shareholders that are rushing it neutral Nancy 
me with my answers and my questions? Why I feel like I've been one or the so other. To keep the statue. The Krogan were instrumental oh, the AI. in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. <laughs> the Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about mm. a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. Serves them right. Ooh. You're right. VI, not AI. Sounds like they got what they deserved. I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. Vina looks angry. Do you see Vina's eyes? Like, it just looks angry. All right, that should be everything. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avina. That's have cool that they day. they have. Oh, we got a codex and we got uh, XP from that. So they have them placed around so that if there's any statues or information. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Okay, wait. What is that? The shopkeeper? Do I have money? I think I do have some money. Here's a statue. We cool. <laughs> the question is beyond my program parameters. Shutting down. It looks like um a spammel. <gasps> it looks like a spammel. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. So long. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Delan? Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. So squishy. Yeah! Which franchise is better? Star Wars or Mass Effect? Oh, that is, I feel like that's like, you just like laid a grenade in chat and just watch it set off. Third person talker. I'd like to buy something. No, very prestigious. Who do you think you are? Your speech. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? It's many. For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the oh. first person with family or intimates. Hmm. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Wait, that's so cool. Um, you're right. Good question. Is this being said out loud or is this in my mind? I think it would be in my mind. And BW, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Anon with the gift of Foxy. Foxy, hi. History. Star Wars is more iconic. Mass Effect is more stable. I like that answer, actually. Austin, welcome in. Telepathy. It would be telepathy. Mmm. Let's see. Goods, your speech, personal question. Who are you? This one's. Huh. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. All I, of great worth. I forgot that I already asked it the personal question to start with. Okay, let's ask about the goods. What exactly do you sell? What are you selling? Only what are you the buying? finest and most luxurious items. What are you buying? This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire. That was almost perfect timing. For a price, naturally. Uh, let's see what you have I'd to like offer. I'd like to see these rare and wonderful items. I feel like my main character and I are the same with our oh, eye, like one, one eyebrow. Oh, this to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Do you non-human armors? But can I wear them? <gasps> Krogan Turian? <gasps> Wait. Oh my gosh. Look, the cost of it, though. The cost! Sci Fantasy is definitely better. Description of Star Wars, though. You know, we've heard of that. Yeah, we've actually, we've talked about that before. We were talking about that in the book club, actually. Austin, Lord Geist, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. Medium armor offers an increased level of protection, but also increases movement penalties affecting weapon accuracy. The uh, oh oh, I wish you could preview it. I you can compare it, but I don't think you can preview. But the comparison is really good because oh shoot, do I have to put stuff on my other characters? Got to sell your arm to get it. I got to sell my arm. Doc, what's up? Welcome back in. I feel like I spoiled myself. Uh. Runway, thanks for the hydrating name on with the gift to sub to Moose. Moose, I hope you enjoyed the sub in the emotes. Chally eye. Ah, uh, wait, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look at that Django. 
for spoilers. Oh, it's background spoilers. Yeah. I think that all of these are just kind of asking for too much money right now, and I feel like I should hold on. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Oh my gosh, Ashley behind us. Let me Commander. show me your items. Let me see the normal goods. View stand oh, view upgrades. Okay. Do so, human. It's like a you Walmart. Will not be disappointed. Armor upgrades. Yeah, my armor is not doing too hot. I, I almost feel like it's a waste to spend money right now because I'm still trying to get a handle on the game to begin with. So I think until I do that, I'm not going to be buying stuff from the shopkeeper. I also just don't have a lot to begin with, you know? Ashley keeps throwing out that comment <laughs> every single time. Uh, you could look it up online if you really cared what it looked like. Yeah, that's a good point. I think that it's more, it's, I think most of the outfits are going to look similar to what I'm wearing right now. It's just going to be a little bit different in the color scheme. So that's cool. Okay, so we have the shop down here. Let's check out anybody else. She does have xenophobia. Oh, what's the part of buying armor? If one does not have arms. We are Vanguard. Austin and welcome in. All right, nobody to talk to in here. Nothing to steal, nothing to find. Hmm. I said that out loud. Nothing to steal. Does Shepherds? Nope, Shepherds does not. Mass Effect UI simulator. Oh, let me make sure I'm reading these. Okay, so two wards, two Citadel Tower. I guess we might as well walk to the Citadel Tower. I know I could have taken, <gasps> there's Barla. Oh, cool. <gasps> I love the trees too. The trees are beautiful. Okay, we can use the transit to get around, but I think we should just walk there just to get a lay of the land. AV and Cyber, guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. <sighs> What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. Oh. You were at Torfin, correct? Everybody's heard of that. You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. Have we met? Are you spying on me? That is true. But all of them know me. It's so creepy. XBSI and Gangsta, thank you so much for 31 months of continual support. Yes, I'm going to save. Yeah, I like these guys a lot. Um, they reminds me of the Banjo-Kazooie, Vole, Mole, whatever. The Mole guy. Um, Gangsta, thank you so much. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. Okay, that's fair. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. My ruthlessness when is legendary. As important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. You said the door is open erratically? I love the way that the, all of the doors open very different. Um, like the ones that were on the Normandy versus here. I mean, obviously because they're different doors, but none of them open simplistic. Like it's very complicated. Well. It's multiple moving parts, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Torfin was a big, big deal. That's a good point. I, I think I'm underestimating just how big of an impact this situation was that is in our past. Itachi, hi. Goggle boy. What are you looking at, goggle boy? Personal Tell me questions. More about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws mm. and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these door. economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. <laughs> I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Interesting. And so he's selling his services. He's like a financial advisor or an investor on your behalf. The moly, the moly woolly. It's giving me bottles vibes. Everyone knows you how <laughs> dare you do something before the game started and we couldn't see it. I did one Sounds thing. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Oh. Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. Mm. I can keep his personal finances private. Foxy, the Fort Condor Queen. 
<laughs> uh, Shum, what's up? Welcome back in. So yeah, I went Ruthless. I did Ruthless, Vanguard, and I'm a, from the colony. And Ghostface and Peterson, guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. I don't buy it. I like this guy. I don't think it's quite as like sinister his breathing as Darth Vader's is. Something about it just adds this like creepy level. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope he will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Dang, he just wished. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, he makes a point, but still. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The sassy. The They're is so sassy. A doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel. Cobra, its I went true ruthless. It goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single yeah. strong community. I mean, I feel like that isn't that accurate. It feels like a little bit of a lard. Okay, first of all, he didn't just say we were broke. He wished us to continue to be broke. He wished like a life of me being broke. Rick, welcome in. And Lard, thank you so much for three months of continual support. I had a fabulous trip. Thank you. I, but I'm so glad to be back. I love my routine. I love, I just love streaming and creating content. And it feels weird when I haven't done it for like a week. It's like I need a, it's like when I have Gwent withdrawals, I get stream withdrawals. Bolus with the gas mask from Doctor Who. You know, I've never seen Doctor Who still to this day. One and two last month, currently on three right now. It's Darth Vader if Tom Cruise would have played him. <laughs> that's my number one reason why I don't think Tom Cruise did a good Reacher. But <laughs> that's savage. Also, who made sure that I saw that comment? Darpass, did you, <laughs> did you <laughs> highlight that? They remind me of Alien Foot Soldiers from Hitchhiker's Guide. Still haven't seen that either. It's wasted on me. All right, tell me about the wards. OA, turbulent, trill, big beef guys. Thanks for the follows. Welcome in. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. Darth DeVito. Pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. Gotta pay the trolls hole. You never know what you'll find out in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. Mm. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. 80%? Only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard, people like us. Oh, people like us. Japer, Japer, hi. Would have had a dark helmet more than Vader. <laughs> um, let's see. Berg, I can't wait to see it. And also, Gulk, thank you. Arcelio. Mmm, Holub with the reset for two months in a row as well. Now this game is worth playing. Wait, you have played? You're saying now this is a game worth playing? Holub, thank you so much for the reset for two months in a row. Well, that concludes our conversation with I the Vol. The Vol Mole. Goodbye, Mini Cooper, Commander. hi. 80% acknowledge their authority. 20% are more intelligent than that. And also 80%, they might acknowledge their authority, but does that mean they go along with it? I don't know. Hmm. 17 playthroughs, holy cow. I know you guys are going to be like, when will you do? I know what's going to happen is after I finish this one through three, y'all are going to be like, okay, so when are you doing a different playthrough of it? I know it. I know it. Never satiated. Okay. Let's walk to, oh, whoa, what's over there? <gasps> Wait, this is cool. Look at this cool bean sitting up, propped up against here. Oh, I can't do that. I can't fast run. So anyways, I just started financing. I just started blasting. <laughs> Caden's like, why are we running around sprinting? Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. I wonder if anyone's ever drowned in it. I love it so much. I wonder why there's not. Uh, do we not have a reading on what this is? <laughs> Isn't this just a small size version of the actual scale of it, right? That's what the station looks like, correct? Or its inner piece. Oh, who are you? Hmm. 
the mass relay. Look at that bug thing over there. <gasps> What's it doing? Finally, we get to meet the bug thing. Okay, before we do this, I do have to run to the bathroom. Hold on, give me one second, you guys. Uh, maybe need to mess with the settings to help reduce the motion sickness. So I turned off motion blur. I just don't, is there something else that's making it do? Mm, I thought I already turned it off. This is not the part that I need. So I turned off motion blur. I don't know what what would make a difference with that. Mm, I don't think you really could. Thank you. Yes. Is there a camera shaking? I don't think so. I also can do... No, I can't. Dang it. An alien with its feet. <laughs> yeah, under controls. Shooting configuration. Camera sensitivity? No. Mm. The steering. It's general grievous. Okay, let me do this. Is it steering off? That's what I was wondering. Let me save this first. Would it be? The sway, not the swoop. The camera sway can't be turned off, Andy. Oh. Yeah. What is this? Turn off to have the Mako steering controls. To re oh, yeah. It's for the Mako hole. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. Gotta grab a drink, too. Guys. What is wrong with y'all? Bear, you can't gift and nothing happened and think that I'm gonna believe that for a second. Great. Bear, gray wolf with the follow. Ugh, I got a timeout for this. Nazgul with the reset for two months in a row. Clout chaser, Benji, Crate, London. Erdy, Bear started this. Bear started this. Don't say Bear didn't do anything. Bear started it. Dude. That's also, Macadamia, <laughs> thank you for the follow as well. Time out, what I do? Bear, Ernie, Crate, Benji, Clout, London. Guys, thank you for all the gifted subs. And anybody that's gotten one today or ever, welcome in. I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. It's for one second, I think, I recorded. Oh, that's right. I forgot that we just took a picture. Yeah, I don't think it was a recording, was it? Anon also never forget Anon with the snipes left and right. It's for the chair. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Already with the gifted sub two. No, the game did free. The game did freeze. No. Okay. Don't don't do me like that. Oh. <laughs> Guys, thank you. Do you blame Bear for things even if he didn't do it? No! Bear did it! Bear was the first one to start that. What do you No, it's not like this. You just, You make it sound like I like trip over something in the street and I'm like, bear, what the hell? Okay, I want to talk to this keeper real quick. Guys, thank you so much. I have not fully played Horizon Zero. I need to. And Seamus, welcome back in. The chair doesn't stream often, but when it does. I try to get you guys ginger too. Okay, let's listen to this before. Listen to what you said before your trip. And giving The Witcher a try? <gasps> I'm so excited for you. I hope you enjoy it. Witcher is truly just a once in a lifetime playthrough. Through and through. Bear doesn't deserve this trip. Guys, thank you so much. Me Metro, welcome back in. What do you mean, don't disturb the keepers? What welcome do you- Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable oh. and important structures. Behind me is the spectacular relay monument. There we go. A I didn't know she was going to be talking about a Prothean mass relay. I just to thought she'd talk about the keepers. One of the keepers oh. the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel. As I was working on a control panel. You may see keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. What? <laughs> Incarcination and rehabilitation just for disturbing them? Okay, Berg, I saw it. I got I got you. The chair is with us. The chair protects us. Guys, thank you for the follows. I see Ken, Perez, and a few more before. And Bear with the gifted sub to chat is the best. 
part of the ship, part of the crew, I suppose. Smooth operator. Uh, what game have you played recently? Has your favorite? That is my favorite? What's the most recent game I've played that's my favorite? Oh, don't ask me this question. Ask neutral Nancy all the off-limit questions. The Keepers. I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel. Well, that's so true. they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Their little hands. The <laughs> Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. Darth Cast has entered the stream. <laughs> yes, Runway, I am enjoying it, but I feel like I've barely scratched the surface, and yet I feel like we've already put so much time into it. I'm trying to decide if it's like my <laughs> speed at which I'm progressing, or it's just there. I think it's a massive game, and I just need to like, I need to take my own advice and just sit back and relax and enjoy the show. Um, poetic and icy, guys. Thanks for the follows. Welcome in. Any particular reason there are so many keepers in this area? The keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, hmm. that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. Oh. Just passing through on their way to another destination? That's true their harsh penalties for interrupting the keepers i kind of want to do it just cause a little bit of chaos you know just uh word and no nor guys welcome welcome please do not disturb the keepers trying to throw a oh, do you think we can throw a grenade at the keeper oh you might be onto something only one death but it was a suicide mm. tell me more about the relay monument Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. Controversial what is the features? What behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity? A mm. Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel. No one can say for sure making the Relay Monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. It wasn't a suicide because I didn't know that it was going to explode. I didn't know. That's all for now. I didn't do it. Thank you for using Avena. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Jir. <laughs> Doesn't look like... That's true. Doesn't look like Jawas, therefore probably is safe from me. But... I love how they make you, you can't even actually target. Okay, fine, 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 fine. I'm not going to disturb the keepers. I'm going to wait before I watch the world burn. The bleeping? Didn't you hear the bleeping? Word, what's up? Welcome in. I'm telling you, this posture is just too realistic to me. To embassies and CSEC. Okay, at this point, guys, let's get a oh, keeper. Uh, yeah, let's skedaddle on over to the council. Continue the main story. I know you're right. <laughs> we really are only 20 minutes into the game because I'm taking my sweet time to take it all in. There is, there's just a lot of different, there's so, there's just a lot of different information that I've never, I've never heard of or known. Citadel Tower. Fast travel, here we go. Oh, the shadowing here. The dark side's strong with you. <laughs> woke up and chose violence that's what i say about you guys all the time you can't twist that around on me all right quick save i am the keeper's keeper okay the music got a little ominous here saren's hiding something give me more time stall them stall the council don't be ridiculous your investigation is over. Oh Karis. no, a Palin. We have to find out about Saren. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. All right, I was the Spazzy. officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. You don't like Saren? Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. 
I can't find any hard evidence. Mm. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Scott, I love your name. Man. That actually is a really good point. It would be hard to find information on him. Waiting. But if I get... See, this makes sense. These still a little lackluster, but this makes sense right here. In the big lake, those kind of jets, they, they just aren't practical. They're not as magnificent as they should be. Jack of Blades? Is that you? Jack. Jack. Jack is back. Oh, I want to play Fable. We still don't have like a solid Fable 1 through 3 playthrough done on YouTube or on stream. And I'm kind of kicking myself for that. How can I say it's my favorite game? <gasps> Keeper. Okay, okay, no. I gotta leave him alone. I gotta leave him alone. Door. T. Garrus takes her water jets very serious. <laughs> Strong push. Hmm. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound. I want to over. I gotta like listen to everything. No, the Hanna are likely to be next, then the Elcor. <gasps> Not the Elcor. You may be right. Though the Hanna need to lighten up a bit first. Yeah. <laughs> you just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. Ooh. Shots fired. There's a lot of tension, despite them saying that everybody gets along really well. I'm sensing. A what are you doing, Keeper? This keeper's not doing anything. He's just, oh, he's so cute. I think he reminds me of Scuttles. He's taking a nap. I was thinking, is he, is he, <laughs> he's just snoozing a little bit. Napping on the job. At least go nap in the bathroom. Like at least go find a broom closet or something. He's on his break. <laughs> he's works 24 seven. Give the keeper a break. All right, Rear Admiral. Speak with one of the council. Commander. 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 Honestly, why does he look like he's about to? Commander. <laughs> he looks like the guy from Polar Express. <laughs> the train conductor or whatever. I think that was Tom, uh, Tom Hanks. Okay, this keeper's doing his job. They can't all be napping. Hmm. Basketball. Near and also M, guys. Thanks for the follows. Welcome. I just want to ask a couple of questions. I don't think he asks any questions though. It's tea time. Wow, I like this though. This actually reminds me a little bit of uh, just the way that it's done. Reminds me of Destiny. I don't. I don't know. I think it's the platforms. I can see you doing a raid and having to go up these stairs for whatever reason. And Chum, started. Come on. Chum, thank you so much for four months and welcome back in. Thank you, thank you. For you to keep the keepers. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker yeah. is hardly compelling proof. I yeah. resent these accusations. Nihilus <gasps> was a fellow specter and a friend. You're a liar! Not just to catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. Huh. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. That was you, not me. How did you get involved? Oh, I feel like this actually makes a big difference what I say. I need to look at this. Aries, what's up? Welcome back in and Briggs. Thanks for the follow. Briggs. <laughs> no, I know I'm a human golden retriever and I accept it. That was you, not me. I'm not going to go straight into like throwing it back on him. I want to seem like calculated here, not just tossing it back. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. <gasps> oh, good With point. Gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Do you want to add a little bit more, just a little bit more sass into that? Could just like feel the spit in that. <laughs> Childish. Saro, uh, Lig, guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. See, he hates us. Insults, typical. You'll pay. Mm, I need to be, like, 
I need to not be petty here. I want to be sassy. I really want to be sassy, but I think we need to, as much as possible, remain cool, calm, and collected. Show that he's the villain. But I also just want to say that I'm going to hunt him down and kill him. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. Ooh. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Quit protecting him, I'll find proof. You arrogant bastard, I wanna say that so bad. Also, yes, Boogeyman it is. Um, oh, why do I wanna do that? Oh! Ah, this is like, this is me with games that are choice-based. I always want to pick the more like, mean comment. But I feel like it's not gonna end in the best results. So I like, the insides always say, you arrogant bastard, but then I say quit protecting him. <laughs> You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still you. one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. I'm so Are bummed we that we didn't actually say er now. How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? Hmm. You won't see the truth? No. What's the point? Ooh. Oh, let the hate flow through you. I, the only thing that sometimes bothers me in these games, I've talked about this with, um, uh, oh my goodness, uh, Telltales as well, is sometimes you want to say, like, I want it to exactly say, you arrogant bastard, but instead you say something else, and it's like, no, but that's not the delivery, that's not what I thought I was choosing. You know what I mean? I hate when they, like, flip it after. I, <laughs> the background is ruthless. I feel like I do need to lean into my background. You won't see the truth, no, what's the point? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Oh, we are going this after him. Is adjourned. I think that outcome happens no matter what we do. You can replay through with no filter mindset. Yeah, it would must be nice to have a no filter mindset. <laughs> Fuzzy Tony Bellum yawns. It welcome was in. It a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason: to exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Mm. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know Saren? Oh, gosh, I want to ask both of these questions. Perhaps we'll get the opportunity. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I work yeah, with you don't say exactly how the choices display. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. I like that. Rock, paper, scissors? Now what? The council won't help us. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. We're going rogue. As a specter, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. Mm -hmm. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I love how I always have an option for, like, I don't trust them. I'm a very distrusting person to begin with. No face, no case. I knew this when we were back on when it first happened. I told you guys, I was like, we have no evidence. And I do, yeah, they make a good point. They weren't going to believe like some traumatized dock loader is what they called him or something like that, I think. Mm-hmm. Either tell us about you and Saren or we start, <laughs> or you start eating the trash. I'll talk to him. He could be useful. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in yes. CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't oh. have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. The captain deserves better. Uh, I'm on it. I'll just say I'm on it for this one. Yeah, we're not messing around, but I've been very, I've been very honest about that at the beginning. Like, I don't want anything that can possibly influence my my playthrough I'll on take this. Care of it. 
I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. I like his clothes. Hawkins probably getting drunk at Cora's den. And a one, and a two. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the room. Yes! <sighs> Any other leads? You want me to go see him? Okay, I'm excited to go to Cora's den. I don't think there's a mini game, but I wish there were. All right. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. The voice acting. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and uh... sells secrets to the highest bidder. Which we kind of I've already. Heard Vaughn's one of the top representatives. Yeah. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. What about you and Saren? Hmm. We already talked to him, but that is true. He's gonna charge us an arm and a leg, and he already wished us a lifetime of being broke. So I feel like I don't want to give him anything. Gabby, what's up? Welcome back in, Kuma. And anybody I've missed? I know I missed a ton of people. I see Dist, Lath, and Trid. Guys, welcome in. Try. Hmm. Barya didn't seem shady or anything. Not at all. Nothing illegal about the activities happening there. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian He just Earth. said he wasn't going to talk about this in the open. I was open. working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, mm. no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. He's a monster. So would I. Oh, why do I want to say that? Should reinstall the legendary edition? You should, Raisin. You can always do like a super mean playthrough. It's kind of nice when you can go through knowing you're looking for like the most brutal response. Oh, we have a lot to investigate. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if <laughs> there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. I didn't do it. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Council, oh, we have a lot to talk about. The specters, let's ask him more about the specters. Don't look at me like that. I'm just saying what we're all thinking. Saren, aka Maggie the Jawa killer. Well, I didn't think she was gonna say a thousand people for a million. I didn't know that. Fen and Ton, liar, guys, welcome in. Anon, thank you for the gifted sub to Ven as well. Hmm. I can't help but thinking. I remember to say Navy, accelerate your life. I don't know the reference. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical. I did do it. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. Mm. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Oops, my finger slipped. <laughs> Dropped my bow. Um, I find it so interesting that they've, they, I just, it's really cool how they've come up with a bunch of different ways to describe the Spectres. Because think about all the different people we've asked about the Spectres and somehow they all talk about relatively the same thing, but offer something new in every single conversation as well. It's, it's just, I would say it's, um, I don't know, just a nod at how well they've thought out the plot and everything. They all kind of correlate, but without sounding exactly the same. Please, no tips, tricks, or spoilers, y'all, please. Forget saving a million caster would kill a thousand Jawas just for fun. All right, come on. It was three Jawas. I think I said it was two last time. Maybe it's three. He's a really famous actor in Hollywood. A ton of commercials for the Navy. Wait, he's done a ton of commercials for the Navy? Okay, I have not seen that. To be fair, whenever I see a commercial for the Navy, I just uh, let me turn that off. Is this illegal? Investigate. How are they organized? I can investigate further. Um, whoa. I want to know more. They're That's not your typical government. okay. It's hold not on. Easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. Here we go. This is the, the questions that we want to know, though. Diplomacy and negotiation. Yeah. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a specter? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Specters aren't made. They're born. They're born. The council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. 
Malice mm. was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. Just so convenient that the one person who could vouch for me ended up dead. Is this legal? I don't know if they really care if it is or not. Zillans, welcome in. And Beagle, thank you so much for the reset for three months in a row and welcome back in. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. There you go. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under 100. But the wow. Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. <laughs> so that makes sense, yeah. Makes sense why everybody else on the ship was like, something bad's gonna happen. Yeah, under 100, when you think about how many people are in, I almost wanted to say fleet, but yeah, like making up the whole organization, that's not a lot of people at all. Which makes it so weird while I, I get how Nihilus died and how he died so easily, but it just felt weird that he trusted Saren that quickly. I don't know. He turned his back on him, and I just find that strange because right at the beginning in their dialogue, it seemed like he didn't trust him to begin with. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law. That's what I'm saying, do Check. I don't think he is. Their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. I don't think he is dead. I'm still choosing to believe that he's alive. Until I go through this entire game and not see Nihilus again, I don't believe he's actually dead. Later, welcome in. And Anon, thank you for the gifted sub to Jordan. If one goes too far... What happens when a specter goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Saren didn't have a jetpack. Send jet another specter to bring the rogue agent down. It's like bounty hunting. Ares, they did mention that, but there just seemed to be tension before he even turned his back on him. I also, I don't know if I'd even trust my other specters to begin with, you know? Especially if you know that if you do something wrong, another specter is gonna come after you. Everything ruined, Klexo, what's up? Welcome back in as well. Jedi's with guns minus the religion. <laughs> All right, I think that this is good for now. Let's go back and investigate um, Shadow Broker. I do wanna find out more about that. Please, no tips, tricks, or spoilers. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. They have survived worse. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to any, huh. not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. They just answer to money. Just kind of checks and balances. 007 trusted 006. And look what happened there. <gasps> Spoilers. Chad exactly trust no one. What about you and Saren? We asked about that one already. We asked about Shadow. Let's ask about Barla. I do like Barla. Mm. This one's the legendary, so we're doing this on PC, sir. But I think, yeah, did it originally come out for PS2? Is that what it was? Yeah. Paragon, Renegade, or a mix? I don't know. I, I think also take into consideration that if you know nothing about the game, when you guys say Renegade, Paragon, Mixture, I'm just imagining good versus evil, and I can't answer that right now. I just can't tell you what I'm going to choose to go. I don't think I'm aligned with one side in particular. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of yeah. money without leaving Barla? a paper trail. Kind of funky. financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. That makes sense. He's got an impressive client. Bends it, but doesn't break it. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. It sounds like you're reacting on a case-to-case -case basis. Okay. Yes, because also... Guys, I've just been thrown into a whole new game with world, species, everything I don't know a single clue about. And so I don't really feel... Like, I can answer on behalf of any, like, I don't think I have a thought to anything right now. I think after maybe 20 hours in, I can finally start, like, creating my own, uh, belief system or, like, feeling like I can maybe 
align with one side more than the other, but right now I just am ingesting everything and it's overwhelming. <laughs> more codex reading, even reading them. I do need to read the secondary ones more, but even still, it's a massive world to be dropped into the middle of. And I feel like you are kind of like thrown into the middle of it, you know? I'm just reacting how I'm seeing it. Absolutely. I mean, it's a case by case basis for now, but it might change as we go along. But a lot of times too, I want to see all the different perspectives before I answer. I so rarely will answer something just on like principle alone or like based off of one side specifically. Sometimes I'm answering something evil because I just want to hear what it has to say. Why don't you do all the lore in two hours? All the lore? Erdy, what are you dropping? Are you dropping spoilers? <sighs> Drinking from a fire hose. Absolutely. It's a huge lore dump. I think the second and third one will probably be more enjoyable because I'll know a lot of the, the lore to begin with and I'll feel like I have acclimated at that point. It may or may not change you. I think that's what they were going for when they made it. Drop you into chaos and let you sort it out. Absolutely. Also, so what's up? Welcome back in. And I love that. I really do love that. I don't need to have all the answers um, like spoon fed to me. I kind of like having to like react on on my feet, but I also just don't understand. I wish I I knew. Yeah, I just it's interesting playing a character that you don't really know a lot about because it is supposed to just be, I guess, the most accurate portrayal of you. Like you have a backstory, but you get to determine your own values and you get to basically have those be your character. And I am so used to playing games where like like take Kratos, for example, or a lot of other characters. And that's not a good example, but you have an idea of their character, what they like, what they don't like, how they kind of react to things. My character is just whatever I make it. It's kind of different. It's just different. I'm not used to it being a direct reflection of myself. As a marathon, it comes at you all at once. Absolutely. Taz, welcome back in. The second is your favorite. For the first time, I enjoyed one, but two was way more fun once I figured things out. Yeah, it's kind of nice feeling like you understand what's going on. So I can see why a lot of people tend to like the second or third one a little bit better. Taz, thank you so much for the reset for nine months in a row. And Banana Cow for six months, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll fully into it. You'll probably be fully into your Shepherd character. Absolutely. I mean, we've really just been, I would say we've done 45 minutes of real honest gameplay. I think a lot of it's been me just... I'm like Bambi on ice right now. Okay, that's it. That's like the best way to put it. It's a foundation. Exactly. Great. Mr. O with the 100 bits. Why is there a scam dram? Guys. Thank you so much. That's what Western RPGs are, though. The character is you. I think the only one that I would have played would be Red Dead, but I don't feel like... I guess it was kind of a representation of how you pick it, but Arthur still had... I feel like Arthur was still there. Like, he still had, like, things that... It wasn't completely and utterly you. There was previous history that he had with characters. Stuff like that. Fair. Great. Guys. Yeah, AJ. Yeah, I'll open it up right before I travel again for more postcards. Crate and Bear with the gifted subs. Uh, uh, Gabby with the hydrate. You guys are too much. Fables and RPG. Right, which is good and evil. That one, oh, you're good. That's a good point. I get like, I, I think that there's, I think it's on like a level though. I think some RPGs are entirely your inputs, but then some of them still have a character model. Like there's still kind of parameters that you fall in between, you know? Aries, also how dare you not know Keith David. I'm not good with names, okay? I know that that doesn't seem real because I recognize a lot of y'all's names, but look at your names and then a normal like normal names i i'm not good with <laughs> scheme is much more than your opinion on this instead you are going through this as someone else type of scenarios exactly video game shay welcome back in thank you thank you thank you welcome back um yeah this is the first mass effect what is corbs corbs with the reset for 11 months in a row as well stepped on a b two days ago what <laughs> owie with the 100 bits guys the first one is short game compared to the other ones. Corbs. And it turned into a balloon animal. <laughs> what? I told you guys when I sat back and a bee stung or a wasp stung me in the back. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years Thank ago. Thank you so much, you guys. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up oh. suspects in custody, Here bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. 
but I guess enough was enough. It was absolutely amazing, Shay. It was truly amazing. Um, you mean you don't know John Smith from this? I'm really bad with names, and I'm going to be honest, it's taken me a long time to even notice like certain voice actors that are in games and things like that. I will say in the last year or two, I focused a lot more on the maybe behind the scenes of a game and less the story itself. That was kind of just how I saw games before. It was just like the surface level. And now I do like to look at it from being more well-rounded and seeing all the working parts that it takes to create something like this. But I was not always like that. And I'm still not great with names. Jess's stories. Yes. Oh my gosh. Jess and Anna were so great at posting stories. They were fantastic. And I think they made reels of it too. I still need to do mine. But it was amazing to meet them. Why protect him? They abandoned him. Guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. Oh, that makes sense. That does deals make sense. Were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes. Sometimes. It looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Hmm. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything, right? No, the council Our and ambassador. ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle <gasps> unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Why do we bother? We're too independent. Kind of want to ask that one. Nope, I'm not. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Performer. <laughs> Guys, thank you for the troll train. And Performer, hope you're doing awesome. Been avoiding your streams because of Jedi Survivor. I didn't want it ruined. No, absolutely. Holding up for all three Dark Souls trilogy for my first playthrough of all three Souls games. Wait, what? You're just doing your first three Souls games? And Performer, thank you for six months and a tier three as well. And welcome back in. Thank you so much. I think one of my favorite picks of you, Nana, was the one where it said race you and it brought back memories to it takes two. Race you. I don't know which specific picture that was. Maybe they'd let us join the council if we were not the keyboard. to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. I'm not worrying they about it. They don't want us dominating the council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. That's fair. I know I'm going to need a backup keyboard to my backup keyboard. <laughs> Mistral, thank you so much, by the way. The keyboard is alive. Who cares if get a seat on the council? What's the big deal? If the council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the council, we'll be able mm. to influence those rulings, protect our own interests, no more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his geth. You think Problem it would be solved. that easy? Not without the approval of the other council members though, right? Or at least the majority. Is it majority rules for them? How long does the postcards usually take to come? First time asking. Uh, I think this one, since it's going from across the sea, it might be a little bit, unless you are on that side. I don't know, I haven't sent a postcard international in a long time. I could not answer that. Jerry Tron, uh, welcome in, by the way. Did you have many glitches in Jedi Survivor? Uh, honestly, no, I, I would say go. overall. Good luck, I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Around the four hour mark, my computer would just start to kind of freak out a little bit. So I just give it a good reboot. But yeah, postcards will arrive before she plays pay Halo. <laughs> Um, I think I only ever had one really bad glitch or like problem. It wasn't even a glitch. It was like a, just a really bad lag. The keepers. All right, let me peep our codex because we got a bunch of new stuff. So we're going to sit back and listen to some more of this as well. Start its dominance. We're relatively newcomers. Yeah. It explains why there's only three. Nat, all I want to say is I just finished playing this on stream last night. I was overwhelmed at first to experience this game because there's such a huge community behind it. I honestly felt some pressure to play it right. But once I finished, I was so happy I played the game the way I felt like playing. You should start, you should play and learn your shepherd the way that you want. It really sets up for the next game. Absolutely. Yeah, no question about it. Like, um, 
there's there's this little thing called no matter what you do when you're playing games you will never not everybody will like what you're doing in every single game it's taken me a long time to realize that you're damned if you do and damned if you don't so just play it how you want to play it and what you're going to enjoy the most and it's the rest is up to everybody else to interpret but thank you i really appreciate that it is a really good piece of advice and it's something that i need a reminder for myself too absolutely absolutely okay let's do the no i'm not i'm gonna do the primaries first and then we're gonna go into the secondaries oh yes the man yep 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 thank you thank you i'm so glad you're are you going on to the second one i'd assume you're going to the second one time tiger welcome in yeah i'm assuming you're going straight to the second one got a trophy because we got stuck midair and floated for 60 seconds and you wait you got a trophy for floating for six <gasps> oh that must be something when you're flying on the creature you're oh purple flash thanks for the follow in southpaw with the hydrate thank you thank you yeah no nothing i do will there's gonna be somebody that disagrees with what i'm doing in the game so i'm just gonna try to play it exactly how i want to that is awesome you're doing the trilogy are you gonna do andromeda okay let's do yes the solarians the here we go oh the second species to join the citadel the so Solarians sorry was the first yeah amphibians with a hyperactive metabolism Solarians oh think fast talk fast i want to be a solarian fast to solarians other species seem sluggish and dull-witted oh. unfortunately their metabolic speed leaves them with a relatively short lifespan Gilletto, welcome Solarians back in. over the age of 40 are a rarity the oh. Solarians were responsible for advancing the development of the primitive Krogan species to use as soldiers during the Rachni Wars. They were also behind the creation of the Genophage bioweapon the Turians used to quell the Krogan rebellion several centuries later. Solarians are known for their observational capability and non-linear thinking. This manifests as an aptitude for research and espionage. Mm. They are constantly experimenting and inventing. And it is generally accepted that they always know more than they are letting on. Yeah, Aries. <laughs> I don't think Solarians overthink everything, Maggie. No, that's so true, Rain Man. That's absolutely true. And yeah, the more... Yeah. I mean, I just... I guess... Sorry. I guess it's easy to think that it's just a known fact that if you're watching somebody else's playthrough, it's not going to be exactly like yours. But I mean, I guess to each their own. No, they don't overthink absolutely everything. You love the lore. There is a massive amount of lore. I'm trying to think if there's probably... I don't know if there are more... I still would say that there's more to read in Witcher, but I haven't seen the total of Mass Effect yet either. The weirdest thing about Mass Effect in particular is that people want you to play it exactly how they play it, which is weird, because what's the point of watching a copy of your own experience? Exorious, yeah. This, this happens with a lot of games. It happens with a ton of games. I mean, because I've been doing this for so long... It's just, it's gotten to the point where it's so easy to want to like please or play the things that everybody else wants to do, but your enjoyment and like the quality of my content is so dependent on me enjoying it. And so I just am trying to like lead with that and then the rest will follow, if that makes sense. I've got some great news, only three months until October. I am so excited, Sid. I am so, so excited. Nonlinear thinking, ADHD. You guys always say this. You guys are always diagnosing me. <laughs> And thank you again for the hype train, you guys. And Blah as well with the follow. Thank you. Where is Arthur Morgan in this game? You guys already want me to go back to Red Dead? Extinct 50, races. Oh, just in general. All of these. Ago, the were the no, we, we did it. Here we go. The Rachni. 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 Over 2,000 years ago, explorers foolishly opened a mass relay to a previously unknown system and encountered something never seen before or since. It's like a lobster. A species of spacefaring insects guided by a hive mind intelligence. Unfortunately, the Rachni were not peaceful, and the galaxy was plunged into a series of conflicts known as the Rachni Wars. Attempts to negotiate were futile, as it was impossible to make contact with the hive queens Ooh. that guided the race from beneath the surface of their toxic home world. They had queens. The emergence of the, the queen bees ended the Rachni Wars. Bred to survive the harshest environments, the Krogan were able to strike at the queens in their lairs and reclaim conquered council worlds. But when Krogan fleets pressed them back to their home world, the Rachni refused to surrender, and the Krogan wow. eradicated them from the galaxy. 
The space lobsters are gone for good. You've done eight different playthroughs? Is that what you just said? I'm so ready for the Halloween looks myself, Sid. I am. Sam, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, it's nice to know you're an old school gamer. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean by that, an old school gamer? Hmm. It's intimidating, the stuff she does, like the lore dumps. I think for me, this is just like a, it's, it's taken a long time for me to get here too. It's really easy when you're streaming to feel like you need to always be doing um, a lot of like action sequences or fights or things like that. But I'm at the point where it's like, I love the lore. I love finding out. I want to throw myself into a game. Like, what's the point of playing a game to me if you're not going to try to experience everything it has to offer or at least give it a fair shot? And the best way to do that in a lot of games is lore. I learned that a lot in Witcher 3. I had so much fun like reading everything and trying to understand it more. I'm going to read it. I'm going to have to reread and reread again, but I will be damned if I come out of here not knowing a decent amount of the game. So, and I think a lot of you guys actually appreciate the side questing and everything as well. It's the, the slow Hanar burn, exactly. Oh, here's the Hanner. Excessive politeness. <laughs> take offense at improper language. Oh. Hanar that expect to deal with other species take special courses to help them unlearn their tendency to take offense at improper speech. <laughs> All Hanar have two names. It's like a sensitive jellyfish. No I love it. The soul name is kept for use among close friends and relations. Huh. Hanar never refer to themselves in the first person in conversation with someone they know on a face name basis. A face name basis. So is considered egotistical. So instead, they refer to themselves as this one or the impersonal it. Their homeworld, Kajay, has 90% ocean cover and huh. orbits an energetic white star. So they must be fine underwater? Blanket of cloud. Due to the presence of Prothean ruins on the world, many Hanar worship them, and Hanar myths often speak of an elder race that civilized them by teaching them language. Wait, these are so cool. So the Hanar. Sam. Yeah, you, you came in at the great, great time. It's day two. It's literally great day two. So it's nice when a streamer does. Yeah, I think that's kind of been my... I know it seems weird to like say it's like a niche, but I feel like... That's like a big part of my playthroughs now is just trying to go slow and ingest as much as possible. Andromeda was my first ME. I gave up after an hour. I feel like a lot of people would say that's not like the best introduction to it. Although I did have a feeling that maybe I should have started with Andromeda because then I wouldn't compare Andromeda to the previous three. But then I've heard that there's spoilers for the, for the previous three if you do Andromeda, if that makes sense. Because I think Bear, I think you said you did it like that. Five months into Christmas, three months until October. Don't get me excited, you guys. We have a lot more to go. Why are you guys trying to rush it? We got three months of this. Buckle up, Buttercup. <laughs> oh, you can, Coop. Actually, I just have a name reserved for family and close friends. I did not actually know that. And also X and DM, guys, thank you for the follows and welcome in. Afro Warrior, ME2 is a great starting point for the DLC that does the main choices for the first one. Wait, wait, with the DLC that does the main choices for the first one? Oh, so you're able to like go through, pick the main choices, but still would just start at two? When the Asari discovered the Citadel, the keepers. they also discovered the Keepers, a docile, multi-limbed insect race that seemingly exists only to maintain and repair the great Prothean station. Early attempts to communicate with or study the keepers were failures. <laughs> they just do their thing. To They're just with or vibing. Keeper activity. Because they are completely non-threatening, keepers have become virtually invisible to everyone else. Aww. Similarly, they seem indifferent to other species, except for their tendency to help new arrivals integrate themselves into the Citadel. No matter how many keepers die due to old age, violence, or accident, they maintain a constant number. No one has discovered the source of new keepers, but some hypothesize they are genetic constructs. Where did they come biological from? Biological androids created somewhere deep in the inaccessible core of the Citadel itself. So the core is just producing these keepers to just upkeep? Kind of, I wish my house just have like little bugs. Like maybe if all the spiders that were housed in my home right now were actually doing something the to keep it nice it. and clean, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind them. Technology. I'm missing another piece to it. Baker, welcome in. Yes, it is. The weather here has been in the high 90s. Is it, okay, is it human 90, humid 90s or is it like dry, just dry heat? I still enjoyed Andromeda, but the story and characters just don't compare. 
See, and I feel like we've just scratched the surface with the characters in this one as well. I know this playthrough is going to take until March at the pace that I'm going, but if that's as long as it takes, like if I have to stop after doing like two and we don't get to Knights of the Old Republic this year or something, I just want to do this game justice, like no matter how much time it takes. Biotics is I think we did Biotics. A virtual BI. intelligence there we go. is an advanced form of Spooters. user interface software. He's supposed to be scared BI of the spiders. A variety of methods to simulate natural conversation, including an audio interface and an avatar personality to interact with. Although a VI can provide a convincing emulation of sentience, they are not mm. self-aware, nor can they learn or take independent action. Despite us trying VIs to get them to. are too. used as operating systems on commercial and home computers. Minimal VI agents are also available. Agents are compact and specialized. Some serve as personal secretaries, filtering calls and scheduling meetings based on user-defined priorities. Others are advanced search engines, propagating themselves across the extranet to collate user-requested data. Commercial VIs in a variety of stock personalities are available at any software retailer. What? Boutique firms and hobbyists, hobbyists also build unique VIs to personal specification. Although software emulation of living personalities is illegal, reconstructions of famous historical figures are common. Really? Huh. I don't think we've run into a... I don't think we've run into a... A virtual intelligence is a famous historical mass figure. Relays are feats of Prothean engineering Thanks, Baker. far beyond the technology of any living species. They are enormous structures scattered throughout the stars and can create corridors of virtually mass free space, allowing instantaneous transit between locations separated by years or even centuries of travel using conventional FTL drives. Primary mass relays can propel ships thousands of light years, often from one spiral arm of the galaxy to another. However, they have fixed one to one connections. A primary relay connects to one other this primary is just a relay lot. and nowhere else. Secondary relays can only propel ships across a few hundred light years. However, they are few hundred light years. A secondary relay can send a ship to any other relay within its limited range. There are many dormant primary relays whose corresponding twins have not yet been located. These Wait. are left inactive until their partner is charted. As who, established who set up these? Unwilling to blindly open a passage that might connect them to a hostile species. The Promethean Engineering. So they, the Promethean Engineering created the mass relays and some of them are dormant. And the Promethean also created the beacon, right? And that's the whole reason why we wanted to get the beacon was because it's so important because it has a lot of techno, like technological advancement. The same stuff that we have now. Yeah, okay. All right, sometimes I just have to, I just have to restate it and remind myself it as well. Also, I think I saw a couple of people popped in. Welcome back in. Yeah, the Prometheans created the mass relays and the space station that we're on right now. Wrong franchise? <laughs> oh no. I think there is something, um, maybe I knew this going into it. There was something intimidating about starting this one, if that makes sense, because there was no prior knowledge. I mean, at least when I was going through Star Wars, I had very minimal, but at least some knowledge of the franchise, not knowing absolutely anything. Just, I have so many questions, but I wish they continued Andromeda. You 100%ed that. Prometheans, not Promethean. Wait, Prothe Prothean, Prothe Protheans. Why am I saying Prometheans? Protheans. There we go. RMG and Zorax, guys. Thanks for the follows. Anon with the gifted sub to Jang as well. Proteins and bacons. <laughs> Wait again. Zoro, welcome back in. All right, let me go to journal. So at this point, we do have secondary assignments, but I don't think I'm going to be able to access those right now. Uh, aren't the Prometheans in the Xenomorph fridge? <laughs> the Protheans. Is that how you would say it? Protheans? Mm-hmm. Let's quiz Maggie on what she's learned so far. <laughs> I actually wouldn't mind doing a quiz, except that I would feel like somebody would ask something that is a spoiler, but that would be a great way for me to learn it. I just have to give myself patience, um, as I did with Witcher 3. I'm not, I'm not gonna kick myself for not knowing everything. Proteins? Proteins? We're in the wrong Maggieverse? Oh my goodness. We have a couple different things. I would say we go talk to the Shadow Broker. <gasps> wait, no, I wanna go to, <gasps> wait. To the lower wards! Okay, we gotta go. Bring it here. 
just keep reading the codex and you'll figure out the lore over time. Yeah, I gotta remember it's gonna be like a, oh, it's gonna be a muscle memory. I just gotta keep looking at it. What are you doing to that keeper? <gasps> He's illegal, illegal activities, illegal activities. Yeah. Do red barrels explode? Hmm. I know, yet. Doom Breed. I'm so hard on myself if I don't get it right away. Ranger, welcome back in. Hey, Norm with the Gifted of Zoro. Straight what? to jail. Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Chorbin? Um, yes, is there something you want? <laughs> I actually really, I love <laughs> following the Keepers. I love them so much. Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know oh, what I saw. Ashley. Oh, yeah. I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Uh, I find it interesting that they even came up with, like, each of the species kind of has um, their strength, but they've also listed out, like, the, the weakness as well. Like, so for a lot of them, they don't live past 40 because of their metabolism. Citadel navigation still confuses me to this day. I know, I gotta be kinder on myself when it comes to, like, getting the handle of a game, you know? Bring, taking it all in. It doesn't matter. It's a lot of words to take on at once. It doesn't matter how good you are at learning. I'm also a visual learner, so despite seeing the words, a lot of times, it just I have to see it multiple times to actually be able to remember it. Why not? Relax. Relax. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. <gasps> so far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Except when they're sleeping? I see. I want to take... Uh, which one's going to give me more information? 191 hours in Mass Effect 1? Oh no, guys. We're going to be here for ages. 191? That'd be the Salarians. Not many reach 40 plus. Yeah. The Salarians. It's a little overwhelming. Even when I replayed the trilogy, it's normal. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes just experience it all can help you remember as well. Yeah. And this is probably one of those games that I'm going to do multiple playthroughs of. Probably not on stream, but I can see myself doing like a secondary playthrough on my own. Um, Krug and also all over skills. Guys, welcome in. Yeah, I'm going to plan to do the side quest if I can help it. I Why see. Why are you being so secretive about it, though? Well... Technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I would I'd say like so. To do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. They've played it a hundred times over just to figure it out. Bill, what's up? Welcome in. And Lokoid, yes, slightly a tried. Let me help. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. Forget this. I'm Commander I'm gonna help Shepard him. with the Alliance military. Mm. I'm just gonna meddle in everything well, I, I that I can. I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Oh, cool! After my first side quest. You see a people, <gasps> all collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. And now we got money too. Snarek, welcome back in. Ronnie, hey, how's it going? Just like Ronnie said, be my little baby. Why are you doing this, though? Before I agree to this, you're right. Why are we doing this? What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. No, Shay, I don't think it does have Gwen. And the fact that there's no mini games in Mass Effect, I think it's enough to... No, I, I'm still going to love it, I'm sure. Just... It's not going to be an 11 out of 10 for me. It'll probably be a 10 out of 10, but not an 11 out of 10. 316 hours in Legendary. 600 overall from the original three. Holy cow. Another card game. Did you... Uh, there was a card game in a... It wasn't a card game, but there was a mini game in Final Fantasy VII, the remake. Oh, and you bet your bottom dollar. I was all over it. It was the only thing I've done for the last two videos. Alina, what's up? Welcome in. It's your favorite game series ever. Everybody is saying this. It's actually built up quite, um, it's a high bar that it's got to hit. I wonder if it's going to usurp Witcher for me, because Witcher 3 just took over Fable as my all-time favorite, so it'll be weird to see if this one is better than Witcher to me. I think it comes down to styles as well, because I love, like, the Witcher aesthetic versus face a little bit, too. 
And the nostalgia, you played this when you were younger. Nostalgia is the strongest thing out there, truly. And Jerrytron, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. Thank you so much. It's also your favorite. <laughs> you guys are hyping it up so much, but that's okay. Like I, I always like, I love seeing what you guys love um, and your thoughts and feelings on games, but I don't let it, I try not to let it impact my, I guess my overall feelings of it or just my expectations too, too much. Is it going to usurp Gwen? No shot. No shot. Played the OG so much because I creep. Wait, on a crappy laptop that I couldn't run anything newer. So I grinded. Wait, wait. So I grinded me. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Mass Effect. I. It's weird when I see Mass Effect just Emmy, but lowercase, you know? I just like aliens, Oe. I'm so excited for the new Fable. Look, I, I might not have been a big fan of the trailer, but I'm super excited for it. Okay, guys, this is why this game's going to take forever, because I'm like, ah, uh, I just go on a tangent in between every single dialogue. I'm a scientist, and I want to know what makes them tick. Got it. That's good enough for now. me. Let's go. Yes, I have much work myself. Witcher so versus long. Mass Effect. That's a I'm hard decision. With the scanning. It's a hard choice. Renamed Keepers to Peepers. The Jeepers Creepers. Also picture and flam, guys. Thanks for the follows. Anon Dexterous is here. Dexterous, welcome back in. Clems, anybody that's gotten a gifted sub, guys, welcome in. I know it's hard to ignore chat. Well, because you guys know, like, I, I am, like, a very chat-centric streamer, and so it feels weird not to, to be like that. But I, I kind of have to during this game. Otherwise, it will take us absolutely forever. The scanner sucks. The keep... Okay. We scanned him. You sure have to climb a lot of stairs to reach the council. Oh. Supposed to be symbolic of their importance. Caden with the analysis. Kind of like it. I like that fountain. Very soothing. <laughs> Half turn and walk sure away. To climb a lot of stairs to reach the council. All right, Ashley. What do you have to say? Ashley, stop running away from me. I bet all these staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. She's always thinking about dead bodies getting attacked. Like, what is going on? Is one of the best parts. The controversies between the species. Yeah. What are those cherry trees? That's a good point. I do wish you could scan the, yeah, like the environment. I, I think that Survivor kind of spoiled me that we were able to interact with so many of the plants and the wildlife. I loved that aspect of it. But I wouldn't believe everything you hear. That's just it. I'm hearing it everywhere. Did we it's already hear this one? Isolated rumors. Do you really think Saren could be involved in something like that without the council knowing? There is a mini game in Knights, isn't there? Co Everyone already assumes he's just doing their dirty. Oh no, we did hear this. That's yeah. Dangerous talk. I'd be careful. Who oh, who's this cool bean? Kicked up. Oh, we need to look for more keepers as well. So let me go to the journal real quick. Looks like Destiny Ray when you first saw it, Foxy. Yes, it did. The stairs for attack. That's true. Okay. Uh, so how many do we need to scan? One out of 20? <gasps> Plot thickens. Side quest. Um, I think there's other... Wasn't there another keeper up here? No, that was the council. Mm. We need to find all the keepers. One keeper to rule them all. Dark Emeralds Bridge. Cheerios Jin. Guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. Like this one-off fountains they're not doing it for me she's a jarhead <laughs> it's interesting that i already got the feel that i wasn't crazy about ashley but then that also seems to be the consensus on a decent amount of people like how they feel with her and steric thank you so much for the reset for six months in a row hi welcome back in keepers finders <laughs> the hunt for the keepers is on there are 20 hiding around here and we will find them all I will find you. And in the dark. Mm, Ashley is... <laughs> it just makes me think of... I don't know why. I think that Ashley from RE4 just unfortunately did every single Ashley dirty in any game. Any game. I will... I can't believe the Elevator music? What? Okay, Ashley, what are you saying right now? That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. 
we know you hate politics. We know, what is the flashy behind? Look at Kaden. Kaden's like, if I have to do one more job with Ashley, I'm just gonna kill her myself. I'm gonna drown her in the lake. They'll end up being one body in the lake by the end of this game. I'll tell you that. Ronnie, <laughs> Ronnie, thank you so much for three months and welcome back in. I think I honestly, I cut off a mid sentence. I forget what I was talking about before, but scan. Oh, look, we get 30 coins every single time. Please do not disturb the keepers. I'm not disturbing them. I didn't touch it. I'm not touching it. You're starting Mass Effect. Does it grow on you? Did you say does Mass Effect grow on you like the game itself? Caden's dole has helped me. Cal, really? Wait, also hi. Uh. <sighs> Anyone else hear that low hum? Sounds like it's coming from that statue. It makes my teeth tingle. I didn't realize that you should be talking to them whenever you move locations. For some reason, I thought they had the same dialogue in every single area. Sure is peaceful here. She's going to talk about the bodies again. So, art doesn't normally do much oh. for me, but that relay statue, I like. Why? You, you can't just say that you like it and not explain that. Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. And there she goes again. There she goes. The cat Valentine here. All right. Let's see. Ronnie, again, thank you so much. Ashley. Help, Leon. Help. All right. Let's head to the ward, y'all. Ashley over Caden every time. This isn't the ward. But we're already here, so I feel like we should talk about the shadows. Take me to the shadow. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? I like Barlow's voice. As Dolan Ashley is a humanist asshole. Damn, not Lon. I need more of their conversation. Yeah, most of the conversations matter what happens on the ship. I need your help. I was told to talk to you. I need information. I need your help. Mm, I need information. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Yeah, you check the squad mates. About Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker, and I do know something about Sarah. How much is it going to cost us? What's the cost? Can we make a deal? Start talking? Oh, do I just go aggressive? Uh, S7, Mord, and Sentry, guys, welcome in. And BR, thank you so much for 10 months, and welcome back in. Yeah, the I know. It keeps them occupied while they're talking, Tab. Yeah. Yeah, BR, thank you so, so much. Can we make a deal? Your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small Look at his little fingies. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. What? Nothing What's is for free, yeah. There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot okay. of business until Saren turned on him. He's not the only one. Serves him right. What a shock. Mm. What a shock. Yeah. Yeah. Just like run. We're how much time is in my OG ME1. I want to hear like how much time a lot of you guys have spent. We're probably I'm estimating over 100 hours for ours. Ronnie, absolutely. It was so cool. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. Mm. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Krogan mercenary. Hatless, do I want anything from Taco Bell? <laughs> I would die for a tacos, a Doritos Locos Tacos right now. I also think my Taco Bell doesn't have the volcano menu. Just real quick, just letting you guys know. Um, I know he would make the perfect plushy toy, Bruce. He really would. Sexy cab. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. I'm not that bold. No, I don't think they have the volcano menu because you guys keep asking about that. And I went, I didn't officially ask them, but I don't think they have it. And Exo Heart, thanks for the hydrate. All right. Where is he? The Krogan mercenary. The girl behind me is patient. Are you talking about Ashley? Trashley? How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the C-Sec Academy. Okay. 
That that means we're gonna have to move fast though. I don't even think I saw where the academy was. Ghost face, hi. <laughs> Whaler, you're a bad influence, Maggie. Before you streams, I hadn't eaten Taco Bell in years. After you, twice a week on average. No, no. And I'm always talking about health, despite I feel like always eating Taco Bell, but it's balance. It's all about balance, twice a week. What do you get when you go? My town doesn't even have a Taco Bell. It's such a shame. We honestly should have gotten, we should have prioritized that when we were, I didn't, did you guys say Paris didn't have a Taco Bell? I think you said Paris didn't have one, they had something else. Why is he there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with C-Sec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Yeah, Buck. Investigate further. Personal questions. Uh, we have asked personal questions. I think this is giving us another time or another chance to talk to him. Buck, welcome back in. What do you mean, ew? That's her original hair color, I think. And Lode, thank you for the 300 bits as well. Do I have a YouTube video to show you? Zook, what is it? Oh no, is it is it gonna make me not want to eat Taco Bell anymore? Please don't tell me that. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. I'm sure it has! But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. He, uh, the Shadow Broker reminds me a lot of one of the moths in, uh, uh, is it, what's the moth that starts with T? Targon? Moth Targon? Turgon? I don't think, it just reminds, Tarkin, yes, Moth Tarkin. Yeah, I don't know why he's giving me that feeling. No, I was going to bed three hours ago, but oh well, squeezes, what do you do? Get to bed. The opposite of the title is I ate nothing but Taco Bell for 30 days for my health. Is this like the super size me? In the book Thrawn, but it was Moth Turgle, Moth Turgle. <laughs> it's Moth uh, Tarkin, I think, in Thrawn. There were two, I remember there were two primary moths, but I'm thinking of the uh, Tarkin one. <laughs> He's a bit shadowier, if you'll excuse the pun. <laughs> then Tarkin, though, you think so? Well, I have a feeling that we might... Do you think we'll ever... Don't answer this, but I wonder if we'll even come, like, face to face with the shadow... The shadow broker. Who is he? Any guess what his identity might be? Oh, he probably doesn't even know. know. Yeah. Nobody does. The shadow oh. broker could be any race, any gender. I Mope have a kid. theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Mm. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. He's just the puppet master. No, I know they're two separate, but I'm saying... So, Moff Tarkin, I'm assuming, is in multiple things. I'm just saying my exposure to him in the first Thrawn book is why I was bringing that up, is how he behaves in the first Thrawn book. Is it a, he's a possum? He's a, he's a possum? But you're his agent. How do you deal with somebody but never run into them? By just couriers? It would have to be couriers or... Yeah, I guess. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. But how do you get in contact? I like it that way. The more you know, oh. the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Oh, he's so like, I just something about his voice. I love it. He's so like shady, and I'm kind of into <laughs> some of the shadiness. What's it like living here on the Citadel. Okay, we've already asked the him about this. Without, from the Presidium yeah. to the wards. Okay, so I think we need to go. We need to go check Goodbye, and talk to the guy. Commander. Oh, we have something new in the journal. The more you know. Missions. Uh, expose Saren. You have to prove this. Uh, but where is the... Mm. 
No, Sonan was not replaced. Okay, this is like a no. I just I like his character in this. I a lot of times I like like shady characters because they usually have a well. I wouldn't say he's shady yet. He just plays an interesting part that is yet to be told. Uh, missions right now is Rex, Krogan, Bounty Hunter. So we did learn about that one. We have to go do that one. I need to save. Here we go. Okay, so we need to go to the CSEC. We need to go to the Academy. You think dead drops? Mmm. Something tells me there's a lot of bodies that have drowned in the water. All right, to the Academy. But where is the Academy? Yes, Scar. I posted my schedule in the Discord. But yeah, we're back to normal. So I will be on tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern and thursday as well i have a feeling with how long that i'm kind of i'm just kind of going ahead and assuming that it's going to take a little bit longer to complete mass effect so don't be surprised if we do not in the next two weeks but it's very possible we'll do a couple extra streams or longer streams here and there as well i'm going to romance a space mole man <laughs> no oh scan him wait we know where the other one is too oh yeah yeah he's shady we're gonna romance the space mole man. <laughs> no. It's actually smart, not gonna lie. There's more secrets you sell. And the kingdom will never have an advantage over another one. Well, he I think what makes him so interesting is he he feels like uh like Littlefinger or uh Is it Viserys? Why can I not think of it? I'm so bad with names in, in games and who who are you? <gasps> Was that Oh I don't think I had access to Varys, thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Would see Tranquil Meadow and say, I wonder how many people died from an allergic reaction to the pollen. I'm I, Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. TRD, hi. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? I need an appointment. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must I love her facial expression. The consort services. <laughs> but if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Mm. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. Do we... do we ask? Do we... do I ask? <laughs> Smokey Joe, thank you for the hundred bits. And also, Ark, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. My neck has been killing me, to be I'd fair. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in what? Mm, three or four months. I'm sorry, your touch can't be that good. Three or four months? You've got to be kidding me. I, I need to go get a hand massage. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Three to four months? Investigate? Forget it. Are you serious? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's not for me to judge. Damn. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? So in Mass Effect 3, I'm looking forward to getting an email from this lady saying we're ready for you. <laughs> the magic blue touch. <laughs> okay. Consort? What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most Runway, of the time, have a good our one. Thanks for hanging around. realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. So it's like Target, where you don't you don't tell Target what you need, but it tells you what you need, and then you walk out with like twenty things. She's like the female Target. I can get down with this. Is she mystical? You make her sound like As some this... kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. What, in two years when I'm dead? Gosh, I'm I out. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, no? I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. <gasps> yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with oh. her. Oh! 
I'm not waiting any months. Yes, of course, mistress. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> it's the walk. Huh. We it hate to see her go, but we love you. to watch her leave. She'd like to meet with you now. I feel very much like it's Honey Bee Inn where I'm trying to get Andrea's, uh, Andrea's approval. Mm. Mm. The consort isn't known for her hands, I don't think. I think that's specifically this girl's specialty. Egg, thanks for the follow, welcome in. Mm. Maybe later. Do I turn her down? <gasps> okay, I kind of want to play hard to get. I feel like it's too easy if I... <sighs> hmm. 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 <laughs> See, she could make me wait for months if I don't take this. Maybe I should take this opportunity. But I feel like she has all the power right now. I need to get some of it back. If I have time, I'll speak with her. Well, don't wait too long. I wouldn't want you to miss this opportunity. She'll be waiting upstairs if you choose to go. I will come back when I'm good and ready. I gotta put on my best dress. I gotta get a new outfit. I've gotta, I've gotta prepare myself. I think I just, we're gonna come back to this later. It's a power move. I couldn't let her win. Oh, nice. Oh no, we already saw this one. Okay, we're looking for, oh, no, we've already scanned him. Mm, I've gotta freshen up, ditch Ashley. <laughs> I've got a date with a very, yes. I've got tea. I think there might be a keeper down here. Oh, nice. I don't, I actually don't think I ran into this keeper originally, but that happened to work really well. Whaleway, <laughs> thanks for the follow, welcome in. Mm, I just gotta keep it fresh, you know? She's so, like, imagine the ego that she has. If everybody is waiting months and months to see her, I gotta just, like, even if I'm lucky to even get in with zero appointment, I still need to make her wait. She needs to feel lucky. Okay, I don't want to be the one to feel lucky. She should feel lucky. Okay, I think we're done with keepers. All right, this way. We just need to head upstairs. Oh, wait, can I head upstairs through this way? Oh, I'm so confused with all of the different sections. My time is also important, ma'am. I'm a commander, for goodness sakes. Idiotic, thanks for the follow, welcome in. I did, Frogman. Yeah, she stayed with Anna and I. Yeah, I didn't just hang out with her. We got to stay. We watched As Above, So Below. We explored Paris on Sunday. It was just such a blast. Dating advice for Maggie. Know your own value, okay? Don't just... You know what? Please, sir. Can I have some more? No. She's lucky. And I'll be sure that she feels it. I'm sorry. I don't have time for the sexy blue mystic alien. <laughs> I just needed to knock her ego down a few. I have not saved recently. Uh, I haven't done a hard save, but I'll do another quick save. Uh, I'm right now. I'm also just trying to look for all of our keepers too. I don't know how to tell you this concert, but <gasps> I'm kind of a big deal. What's over here? Uh, Ashita, welcome back in. Yes, yes, I was. It was like 10 days, but it, it flew by. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move Wait, free. oh yeah, this guy. Oh. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against <gasps> Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the Enkindlers to be spread. I just love their little legs. Their little skinny legs. They look like Spamels. Or I guess Spamels kind of look like them. Minus the, the neck part. Mm, it's a two-way street, exactly. I guess I should talk to them, but before... Oh, Keeper. I know. I have a date with the Keepers. She's just the consort for one night. Set the mood. Ask me later, I'm busy right now. <laughs> Amana! <laughs> Amana, what mood would you like to set it to? <laughs> Wait a minute, am I walking into her lair? Hmm. Almost as thin as Maggie's arms, I swear. I think that I'm headed into her lair. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, I'll do it for the elevator music. Investors are pulling their support for future projects. 
Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, they don't view time the way we do. Sharply. Many colonial proposals are on it's making me feel better pick up. Have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. My character kind of looks like my Fallout 4 character a little bit. Wait a minute. <gasps> this is all new. Where am I? Where are you? <laughs> and I'm so so uh flux and word access. What's down this way? The Flux nightclub? <gasps> We're walking into the nightclub? This is different. Yes, this is different. Hmm. I love the doors so much. Oh. What's going on with her head? Why is it like shaking so much? Excuse me? Oh gosh, now I'm stuck. Oh no. Okay. Dag and Gara is not here anymore. Do you really think we'll find him down here? Who? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. What is Quasar? Quest is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. What is Quasar? Is there That's a mini the game point. in this? Have you, you guys been holding out on me? Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous. Fallout 76, not four. Sorry. Eyes peeled for our mark. My bad. My bad. My bad. On the elevators, they moved way slower in the original one. Did they have elevator music in the original one as well? And Spencer for and last melon, the last melon. <laughs> Guys, welcome in. Thank you for your follows. Thank you for the follows. Uh, who's your favorite character so far? Oh, why you guys always ask me the favorites? Mm. Now keep your eyebrows peeled. Be careful, my eyebrow might peel off. Mm. My favorite character so far? Not Ashley, not, <laughs> not Slytherin, not Slytherin. Uh, I actually really like the, I like Anderson a lot, actually. He seems very level-headed. Oh, nice. The Space Mole Man. Oh, true. Space Mole Man as well. Yeah. Our disguise lo loading screens. They took forever. I could see that, but there was no music. Yeah. They took longer as well. Ronnie, thanks for the hydrate. And Greasy, thanks for the follow. What's my favorite? Oh, what's my favorite dead character? Leave Ashley alone. It's better than boring Caden. I actually like look at the forearms, the bicep. It's just something looks weird. I actually happen to really like Caden. So uh, you can take that back. Am I heading to the wards or are we heading? Let me go to the map. No, I want to head into the nightclub. But I guess I can't. Okay. Well, never mind. A Solarian What's your favorite cat? Has run into an Ginger. Problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar Live protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that oh, you do have the, the option to skip them. As the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. But I like that he's telling some information during to it too. Representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. It's actually really hard to tell that that would have been a loading screen. I mean, it makes sense. It just... <gasps> okay, I think we're headed to the nightclub. Favorite Pop-Tart flavor. Do not do this to me. You know I'm going to lose people if I say this. Aries, thank you for the 100 bits. By the way, the Keeper! Not S'mores. Not Slytherin. Cheeseburger! Hi! Oh... I don't want to answer it. Wow, alleyway, upper markets, med clinic. Unfrosted blueberry pop tart. <clears throat> Got canceled for liking strawberry frosting. No, <laughs> it's much worse. It's no frosting. It's much, much worse. The doors are so cool. There it is. Bear with the gifted sub to unfrosted blueberry pop tart. I can go rapid transfer. Ooh! Right. Whoa! Assassin! Hold up! What is. Down. Sir, what? <laughs> Saren just is hiring a. Oh Wait, I think somebody's invisible. What? 
Unfrosted, yes, unfrosted blueberry pop tarts are my favorite. They're really good. They're actually underrated. I feel like they're seriously underrated. I don't think they have, do they have raspberry pop tarts? Hmm. I guess it's a murder themed club. Green and also Chris, guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. Nah, I'm just kidding. Come on. I just love a good club. <laughs> yeah, love it. Bartender. Pour me, pour me another round. Ah, uh, Harkin. Wait, Harkin's in here. Where's Harkin? Where is it? That's true, Rain Man. I don't think I've ever seen an unfrosted Pop Tart. They exist. There's a lot of them. Actually, I think there's only two unfrosted. There's Harkin. Gosh, just. Oh, look at the patron. <laughs> oh, would you look at the time? Wow. I'm getting up close and personal. Do you have you beef with me? Military, huh? Yeah. Not now. Mm. I know all the trips. The <laughs> Why don't I go watch the dancers? Oh. Honestly, I did save the game. Oh, I haven't done a hard save. You right, you right. We'll do another one. Mega Man, what's up? Welcome back in. Thank you so much for 14 months as well. My monthly reminder to ask if I can leave yet. No shot. I don't think you have found the exit yet, have you? Uh, no. No, can I? Oh, can you? There's... Mm. Do I have to pay? Is it, I, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay. Mm, let's just talk to her again. Uh, okay. I better not have to pay. That's all I'm gonna say. No kidding. Sit forward. <laughs> it's the posture while watching this. What is this? I don't know. This just feels like really awkward. <laughs> the posture check. Come on. I like the relax versus face forward. All right, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. It's freaking me out. Yeah, I walk away and they're like, that'll be a thousand dollars. London. For nothing in particular. <laughs> London, did you just... This is when chat starts buying me lap dances. Oh my gosh. The Asari lap dances. Your mates were watching. Wait, Ashley, that's a good point. Ashley and Caden are just sitting here watching me watch them. London. <laughs> Biotics, thank you for the 38 months of continual support and Slim with the two gifted subs to the channel community. I swear you guys know which games are gonna make me blush. Okay, we've got, okay. We've got humans too. What's this pink drink? It's like somebody's drinking lava lamps out here. Blue eye, blue eye, how's it going? Jenna, I wanna to talk to Jenna. Who's I Jenna? See why this place is so popular. It's got quite the, uh, yeah. Yeah, Kaden? Lieutenant, put your tongue back in your mouth before you trip on it. Oh, do Ashley and, and Kaden have the banter? Never been a real fan of crowds. <laughs> He's like, I prefer it in private. Too many lights, too much noise. Aw, Caden's actually wholesome. I was blushing hard in this thing. <laughs> not really my kind of place, but there sure are some spectacular views here. Oh yeah, Caden, not your type of place, but great views. Fantastic. The sunsets, gorgeous. Never been a real fan Full moons of everywhere. 
<laughs> a million light years from where humanity began, and we walk into a bar filled with men drooling over half naked women shaking their asses on a stage. I can't decide if that's funny or sad. That's what? progress. You know, here because of the food? I don't think this place serves good wings, okay? I don't think wings are their specialty. You think it's expensive to live here? You can keep the Presidium. This is where the action is. Presidium sounds like um like a collectible in some kind of other space game. It doesn't sound like a place. I feel like it sounds like a resource. Like in, I don't know, Star Trek Catan or something. General Septimus is here? Patron? Not now. I'm watching the show. Is this a show? Ashley's got the tattletale. Hey, you're gonna be dancing later. Excuse me? She's got the nicest smile. She's not even looking at you. <laughs> what smile? I'm gonna take him out. Give me one reason why. Don't knock the buffet. Ew! <laughs> the just, the club buffet, like Golden Corral and a club mashed together. Oh my! <laughs> she left me, just like that. Oh man, did your wife leave you? Who needs her anyway? Come and get some thigh cap. The smile is what we're looking for. Damn, a sorry in their secrets and lies. Hmm. Go away. I'm not interested in talking. Are those like the shots? I guess those are like the shot versions of the drink or something. Am I judging the food before trying it? Oh, absolutely. Okay, how do I talk to her? Mystic Chocobo, what's up? Welcome back in. <laughs> there is another person that we can talk to though. Oh, Harkin. But isn't there somebody up there? Honestly thought I'd love to party at the space club. This is it. Yeah. Oh, Jenna. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. Wow. Hi, be with you in a minute. Okay, now? Enjoy the entertainment. I'll get to you soon. It's not like the place is brimming with customers. I feel like both of the bartenders are standing still. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. Whatever, I didn't want your drink anyway. I'm gonna talk to not you. Where's my guy that I, that you? All right, we need to talk to him. Arnie, thank you so much for the gifted sub to the channel and community. You can talk to whoever you want for the right price. Hey there, You're done, chat. You're, You're done. Fun? I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. See where this goes. I feel like you shouldn't put the word old Harkin in front of it. You're disgusting. Disgusting. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, princess. <laughs> Call me princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus going... is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? <laughs> you must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. Harkin Diesel. I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Mmm, don't waste my time. What secret? What secret? The captain? Hurt face, not feelings. <laughs> not my concern. Don't waste my time. Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? What? Hush, hush. The first human ever given Wait, that honor. Captain, Captain Anderson? Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. That's why he knows Saren. Blame Saren. Says the Turian set him up. You're lying. How do you know this? What went wrong? He said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. So there has been a human. are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. <laughs> I 
You're a pig. I don't know what you're saying about <laughs> Okay. I feel better after saying that. Public service announcement, courtesy of Bethesda. Arrow Mittens, guys, thanks for the follows, friends, as well. What went wrong? Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The hero's fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> it's a wholesome, family-friendly game. You're lying. Why should I believe a drunk like you? Also Fine. true. Ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. That's actually true. I think if we asked him, he would tell us, like, point blank. Yeah. Just tell me where Garris went. Garris was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. Why is there a med clinic so close to where this club is? Something about that. And then his comment, it's just all piecing together. Okay, I think we asked everything about Captain Anderson, Garris, I think we talked about. What do you know about Garris? Damn hothead is what he is. I'm Vanguard, Inspector. Save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. Now the I understand your name. Holy field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. Ah, yes. Take my NyQuil. Cold, flu, and herpes. <laughs> Quit blaming others. You need to look in a mirror. That's true. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. I think they said he's on his way Save out, though, sermons. right? Like this they're. Ain't no church. Damn. Yeah, I think they said that he's on his way out. Like they're done with his crap. Matt, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. What's it like working for CSEC? You they have enough humans in CSEC now, like. so they don't need to keep them around. Executor suspended me without pay. Yep. Recurring violations. Yeah. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. What were you thinking? Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. Darkening world, yes, exactly. <laughs> Serves you right. You get off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for C-Sec isn't like being a Marine. People mm. get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's oh. how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it. I like the lighting in the shot alone. The cool versus like the red tone. Quit blaming others. All right, we kind of already had that conversation. I think I'm I act. Here. I think I literally had the same. Yeah, time. good. Go. Let me drink in peace. <laughs> wow. Krogan the bouncer. Krogan bouncer. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, note in file. Is that the is that the message from? Oh, he has points too. That's the message from today's stream. What he said. Please don't let that be the only thing that <laughs> comes out of this stream. You mean an employee file is designed to contain facts about the employee? What? I think because he was so new to it, I'm assuming he thought he was flying under the radar or something. He was above the law. He's got barrier open now. Uh, decryption, that's right. I want to build him up into be my electronics and decryption guy. What if he just dies on me though? No. Advanced sabotage? Can use uh, decryption skill on average objects. Does 100 damage in an eight mile radius. Overheats enemy weapons, burns them for three seconds. I gotta start using my side characters more. You know, like actually using them as they're intended. Electronics overload. Hmm. Oh, I guess I could give him first aid, right? I wonder if he automatically uses that. Oh, did I say eight miles? Eight meters. <laughs> eight mile radius. Uh, Punchy Goblin, what's up? Welcome back in. I think I know what the YouTube video of the stream will be. Absolutely not. I already, I can already see Vert smiling. Absolutely. David, Tricia, Dell, guys, thanks for the followers. And Rian, thanks for the hydrate. I was so bad at healing my allies. I just put everything in there. Yeah. I do forget to do that. It's a. Okay, wait. Advanced, though? But I think I'm making. Let me go to my other character. 
No, that's right. She didn't have it. Okay, so he's the only one that could heal. She has... No, this is me. Sorry. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah. Ashley. I could make Ashley my healer. Smile. Caden could clear the damn game himself with an eight mile radius. <laughs> All right. Look here. My brain is not working whenever I'm streaming. Let's just get that across. Uh, I actually would have to get this first to be able to unlock first aid, which I think I was doing that on her anyway. So I'm going to make her my healer because honestly, she's not my favorite to be with. Wait, it's locked out? Hmm. Maybe you need two points to get it? I've never seen it do that. Equip <gasps> Whoa, equip heavy armor on her as well. Tricia, yes, I, everybody keeps saying that, so I hope I end up loving it. I do like it so much. I like it already, but I still feel very overwhelmed, like the kind of getting hit with a fire hose right now. But I think give it a few more streams and I'll, I don't know, just enjoy it a little bit more. I'm still enjoying it. It's just I know that it can increase as time goes on. Okay. I'm happy with that, I think. Hmm. Was I able to save Jenkins? Can you even save him to begin with? That's got to be scripted. It's got to be scripted. I do need to heal up him. I like him being my electronics guy. I'm going to put it to that. Overload. And then these three. I think I have to unlock it as they level up. I think Ashley is level... No, she should be level three as well. Now I'm going to put him into Sentinel. And then for myself, I'm good to go. No, you can't save him anyway. Don't tell me that. He was going to die anyway. No, Jenkins always dies. There's, I... The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Fist and his friends? Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the <laughs> customers have to stay out front. Okay, I'm out. So we're gonna have to... Enjoy the club. Get fist favor as well. You're telling me. And he shouldn't have full sent it? Nope. I am telling you that. This is fist's office, so we need to go out to the lower and then, okay, let me head out of here. <gasps> I wish we could play some holo tactics. Oh, I would crush some holo tactics right now. Mountain lover, what's up? Welcome back in. What? Maybe it's not true. Parkin's an ass. Or maybe if you you're probably right still i'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this i have a feeling that if you're a specter you're probably not really supposed to tell a lot of people that you're a specter and especially if under weird circumstances you're the first human specter and then somehow it gets taken from you i don't think that's exactly information that you're just going to be throwing out there for the general public Mm-hmm. all right map okay let's get out of here first all right, Lufa, please. This might be the med. I know we're going to the med bay. Anon, thank you so much for the gift. It's up to Mountain. Time to hit the road. Thanks for the stream. Of course, Rob, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Wait, did I scan this keeper? We did scan this keeper. Yeah, exactly, Bruce. I don't think anybody's out here really talking about it. Lev, welcome back in. How are you liking the game from your brief run through? I am loving it. I'm just overwhelmed. I'm just going to be honest. I feel overwhelmed, but I'm loving it. I am. Mm. But this happens to me with every single game. <laughs> it's, uh, it can be a lot to discover a new game and new franchise while you're streaming. It's a little bit easier when I'm recording something about it. Emily Wong. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Yes, ma'am. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here Ooh, on the Ooh, a journalist? Can I have a moment of your time? <sighs> do, do we like journalists in this? I don't know. I feel like we wouldn't. Rip Jenkins. Look, we couldn't have saved him. Raj with the gifted sub to Jenkins. Did you say mission safety? <laughs> Did you say um, Maintaining the mission secrecy or telling your best friends? Gotta say. Ronnie, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. And again, it was such a pleasure. Uh, because I'm in love with Alvina. The VI? Reminds me of Cordana. Mac, 
The opening of Mass Effect is one of the biggest lore dumps in history of gaming. Don't feel bad if it's a bit overwhelming. I actually really appreciate that. That is a, the best way to say it. It's it's a lore dump for sure. Freaky and also Termination, guys. Thanks for the follows. Yeah, this dress seems to be pretty standard galactic style from what I can tell. I really want to tell her no. But I feel like I'm going to be a pushover. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places sure, I can't go. Kai. I was hoping you might share anything oh, side you find quest. during yes. your investigation. Uh, I can make yes. it with your time. But let me investigate. I want to hear her reasonings first. Because I also probably shouldn't take every single side quest out there. Because some of them probably aren't good. She's fake news. Hmm. Source of it. Why me? Good, good, good. You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I read about the Siege of Torfin, sending your men to their deaths, shooting slavers as they tried to surrender. I need someone who isn't afraid to get their hands dirty. Someone who'll do what needs to be done. <gasps> That's you. Wait, do you? Well, no, her dialogue would just change. I wonder if some of your side quests are different depending on what you choose. Huh. Yeah, candidate. <laughs> Don't actually answer that. Mm. FF7 and Mass Effect have an insane amount of lore. The fact that you're not over, or the fact that you are overwhelmed is not. No, I, I don't think I've ever really quit from being overwhelmed with it. I will quit a game if I feel underwhelmed. How do you Source know I'm one. investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Clearly. Nobody can keep a secret here. Ah. Uh, what year? Do we start? Wait, what? I missed that. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, I thought it was going to... Wait, let me save real quick. Oh, I can't save mid-conversation. That's right. That's right. Ah. What, what year IRL did we start dressing in the cool sci-fi outfits? I think people are already starting... Like, I think that there's actual companies that are starting to try to do that. There's even, like, you can pay people to change your clothes on a picture, if that makes sense. Like... It's like AI clothes, or not, I don't know how to describe it. It's like futuristic clothes. It's, it's so weird. I was watching a video on it. It's truly the darkest timeline. Not a chance. All right, let me investigate further and ask about the investigations being linked as well. How do you know that well. my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? She doesn't. You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Those are just such interesting slits. Like, where the cutouts are. I just want to know. <laughs> this is... What was the thought process behind this? I feel like her stomach would be cold. I just feel bad for her tummy. Consider it done. Mm. I'm gonna do it. Like a good I'm gonna cause. do it. I want to do a side quest. Information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. <gasps> Wait, maybe it, it. the information from earlier was in relation to this. Let's see. Journal. Strange transmissions. Unusual readings. No, the first two are those. Uh, here we go. Reporter's request. But what am I exactly looking for? Be on the lookout for information that may, might be helpful to her. Mm. You're on a climate-controlled space station. <laughs> she isn't getting... Con okay. I'm just saying that everybody likes different temperatures, even if it is controlled. Everybody has their own level. Look, she looks cold. She looks cold or she's uncomfortable, and that's why her hands are, like, crisscrossed like that. Mm-hmm. The scenic view. Whoa. I can't wait to get to the third one as well. I bet it's even better. Just graphically. Okay, so we need to look for information. I bet there's information back in the club, you know? Fashion trumps comfort in the future? Yeah, probably. Nope. Unless there's... Unless there's cowgirl boots in the future, I'm out. Did I tell you guys how the what... <laughs> The one thing I bought, I went to Paris, and the one thing I bought was cowgirl boots in Paris. <laughs> that is what I decided to get myself when I was in Paris, was cowgirl boots. What is Cass's optimal temperature? It's... <laughs> they're, in my defense, they're really nice. They were really pretty. It was a good price, yeah. It was uh, comparable to, like, Boot Barn, and it was good leather. Yeah, it was great made boots. What are you gonna, you know? What are you gonna do? 
for ye and bob guys thanks for the follows welcome in and also texas tramp welcome back what was your favorite part of the trip oh seeing friends seeing friends was definitely the best just meeting people shrimp thank you so much for 29 months and at tier three as well just thank you a million and pop welcome in thank you for the follow as well they were fashionable i feel like they were and i feel like yeah twitchcom was a plot fashion shopping in paris twitchcom was the plot simfi what's up welcome in as well it's thank you so much for taking the time to pop over from youtube as well you came through from final fantasy 7 uh there's been so many incredible people that have found the this channel as well through that playthrough so i hope you enjoyed this side of things as well we're just starting mass effect um so we're doing lots of lots of exciting games right now on the channel on both channels but the stuff for youtube is exclusively separate from this mm, i'm trying to see if there's anybody else we can talk to Conrad. There's a Conrad. Ah, Arlen, what's up? Welcome back in. Two is the huge jump in graphics compared to early 360. Yeah. I need to actually ask my siblings if they have played this because I, I said they hadn't, but maybe they... Hmm. I see a keeper. Ruzel, I... Yes. Can't help you. No receipt, no money back. I'm playing some Final Fantasy 13. And it looks almost, wait, wait, it looks almost like a 2023 game visually? Seriously? I can't talk to the, any of them yet. It looks like it's locked out for me. Hmm. All right, let's head over here. Benji, what's up? Welcome back in. All right, how many scans do we have for that? Squaw? We have nine scans already, you guys. We're almost halfway there. And then I guess we go back and maybe they give us a lot of money for it, too. French Frog, thank you so much for 16 months of continual support. It's really been such a pleasure having you be here. It's you. He's a fan. He knows me. She is very well known, I will say. I do wish I think I'll probably look at some videos of the interactions with the male Shepherd. Is that your Commander Shepherd? The, the hero. hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. That just occurred. How do people already know about it? I guess news travels extremely fast. You know? Ice, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I don't like love, but she's looking for keepers now. <laughs> it's the only ones that we'll find. Pleasure's all mine. Who are you? Ah, oh, do I fake it? Who are you? <laughs> I kind of want to be mean. Why do I always lean towards that option? Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I'm sorry, what? Leave me alone. <laughs> oh my gosh. The mean options are really mean, but they're so much fun. Charles, hi. 10, 12, and 13 all held up well. 15 felt dated somehow, by contrast. I'm finding it interesting, the feedback on 16. It's like people either love it or they hate it. It's very mixed reviews, more than I was expecting. 13 was your first. I always talk about how like whatever your first introduction to a franchise or series is can often be your favorite just because you remember it. Um, I think it's easier to remember it more. It hits different. I don't have time for this, Conrad. I'm not here to be a role model. Oh, I see how it is. Oh. Commander <laughs> Shepard doesn't have time for the little people. Far be it for me to get in your way. You go be a hero. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. Just kidding. Come back. Was that a... Did I just miss out on a side quest? Oh no, where'd he go? He completely dipped out entirely. Oh no. Oh no, there was a quest there, wasn't there? Oh no. Can I get it back? I guess I could go back to my previous save. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Which one was it? Was it this? No. <gasps> Citadel up rewards, right? This is the last one. Wait, why is it showing lower words was saved before? It's got to be this one. Stay committed. Well, I knew I was losing out on it, but I wanted to hear what it. Okay, fine. Hello, Whatever. Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. I don't think I had saved close Will enough. You be needing supplies. Side quests only from being nice. That feels lame. I feel like you should get side quests for being evil too. Uh, colonies? What colonies are you talking about? 
Oh, my mistake. Bertrand. Different mole guy. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. Of course. Um, investigate further. I want to know what these are. Yeah, I'm going to try to stick with what I, yeah. It was nearly 30 minutes. I'm sticking with my decisions. I did what I did. If I'm being mean and it costs me a mission, it is what it is, okay? Also, Sen, thanks for the following. Tristan, also Math with Hydrate. Tristan, thank you so much for eight months and welcome back in. Oh. I said bitch. I know, my choices matter. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. Ooh, cool. I don't get too many clients from there. The Attican Traverse? They all have their own private right. suppliers. Oh. I'm so... I did, um... I think it's the first time I've done a chest day in forever. <laughs> and I'm so sore. <laughs> Uh, investigate further, do Pharos. Like to know yeah. more about Pharos. Rass and Ed, guys, thanks it's for the call as well. It's an world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Oh, okay. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. I just reminded him to? Ah, uh, well, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. I see. I still don't feel like I have enough money to... Whoa. Assassin 6. Human armor. Assassin armor? That looks pretty cool. I just think that I should hold out a little bit longer. <gasps> How does he eat? Good point. I'm surprised I didn't ask that. All right, look. I know. I need to start hitting arm day every... I'm going to buy some... I'm going to buy just like some... Ten... I'm going to buy some dumbbells and just... <laughs> In between recordings and whenever I take a bathroom break, I'll just do like a couple bumps. All right, I'm not gonna buy anything yet, but Welcome hold on. Back, Earth Clan. Oi. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the call? I think I'll be going. Uh, As no. Say, Earth Talk Clan. to. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. <laughs> I love them. Prices are pretty good here. Have you been to the Emporium up on the Presidium? Yeah, we did. That was our first one, right? Giffy, have a good night. Thanks for hanging around. Look, I know. I gotta do... I know. I haven't worked Thumb Day into my regimen yet. Mm-hmm. Borderline. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Try the markets downstairs if you can't find what you're looking for. There's more markets downstairs? Best place on this board okay. to buy upgrades. His dialogue is done. I... Oh, we can't talk to these two. Maybe he'll be back, you know? Like, maybe the guy... Maybe I didn't fully lose the mission. Maybe I didn't completely piss him off. Just, we'll let him take a breather and come back and maybe we can win him over again. Hmm. Okay. I got more shops down here. Yeah, good point, thank you. Quick save. Nobody? I feel like I can't do a whole lot. I also know I'm kind of all over the place. All the arm workouts for nothing. Anna crushed me. I know. There were no arm... No workouts that prepared me for that arm wrestle. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Yes. I want death steaks. Please no tips tricks, you have. guys. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Non-human armors. I think I'm going to have to have better stats before I can have these as well. This is going to be something that I'm going to master. I'm going to try to, like, get a handle on the store maybe in the next couple episodes. But right now I'm just getting baseline, kind of laying the groundwork. Understanding of the system, the story a little bit. And then we'll come back. I mean, I can buy some of this stuff, but I still don't feel comfortable spending all my money on one item before I get a better understanding on it, you know? The Viking. I know, even if it's a really small thing, I just am, I'm asking everybody to refrain from any kind of information that could just change my playthrough or, oh, you know, I didn't even notice that. That makes so much sense now. Oh, and then that, okay, that makes sense as well. Okay, cool. Okay, 
I, I did beat Jess, but to be fair, maybe I wouldn't have if, and Shaggy, welcome back in, if she hadn't just done an arm wrestle against Anna and then followed up with doing an arm wrestle against me. Because it was neck and neck. So I think if she was rested, I wouldn't have won it. I really don't. Dab, have a good night. Thanks for hanging around. Is gonna be found entirely innocent at this rate of investigation. All right, let's get out of here. I'm out. Come on, guys. Y'all. Y'all. Um. Binary Helix has settled <laughs> there we go. out of court with a Krogan group okay. that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan Our... group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. Mm -hmm. The group later sued oh. for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Oh, shoot, really? They sued for it? I guess they're still suing in this. Mm. No, there's no shot. I think you would have had that one, Jess. I appreciate it, but Lansley, welcome back in. I don't remember arm wrestling in Mass Effect, which is why I won't lose this game. Exactly. Uh, refrain from any info that will pay off for future content. <laughs> that, yeah, because we're going to do a second playthrough of this anytime soon. Oh my gosh. You we're going to be on this for months. Pride. We still we have Mass Effect. We've got Metal Gear. With serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Batia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education oh. Plan. After finishing her service, Batia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her Aww. life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the Extranet. Keyword, Extranet? Courage. Keyword, Courage. Extranet. So we just pop into... Yeah, that makes sense. Pop into an elevator, get an ad to join the military. But here, April. Also, Ryan, Ryan, welcome back in. April, thank you so much for the five gifted subs to the channel and community. Cheese, Credo, Adri, Hungry. I don't know how there was anybody left, but guys, I hope y'all enjoy the sub and the emotes. Thank you so much. Yeah, the elevators are loading time, yeah. But I love how they give you good information too. You're That's exactly how. I... It's against Citadel okay, let me talk to these two people. That let me just talk. Let me just talk to, to them. To reason. Why yeah, can't it that's exactly how I joined myself. Manner. Be more open-minded. What's the problem? It's not smart enough. No, I love the Hanar. Be more open-minded. You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not Dollar unreasonable. Bananas. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. An evangelical permit? Oh. <laughs> Let me talk to it. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Y'all, I just love the Hanar so much. I think they might be my favorite. Just because of, like, I love their little legs. Their little legs. I just want, like, a little plushie. Oh, I know what it reminds me of. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? The stubborn jelly. Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? This isn't the way. You're breaking the law. What's the problem? What's going on here? Let's be kind of neutral at the first and then decide. The requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Enkindlers? I'd like to help. Let me see what I can do. Get out of here. You're breaking that. Let me investigate. And Kindlers. And Kindlers. Your people know them as the Protheans. Yeah, the effect they on are them. The true creators of this one's people. Sounds very the inside raise my the head. Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Huh. So they okay, they enlighten them. Purchase a permit? If that's all the CSEC officer wants. Why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. If that's all the CSEC Oh, wait, no, I already asked that one. See, see how it moved around? Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth Legality. is an abrogation of you this one's You weren't a fan of them, Doghead? 
So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now. This is really the most important thing the in the CSEC space world right now. states that preaching in this place is forbidden and preaching anywhere on the citadel requires a permit. The hangar plushies are out of this stock. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the enkindlers and thus no permit should be necessary. Hmm. I'd like to help. I guess, oh, this is probably a side quest. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. Oh, well, we just said that we were gonna... This one would be most grateful for the assistance. <gasps> Please let this one know if success is achieved. Oh, I just, the whole notion of it back and forth, like going, it's just kind of a cute little Any mission. Any progress with that Hanar? I'll keep trying. No, not yet. Oh, do I need to talk to him more before I can give him that? Wasabi, thanks for the follow and Tokichi with the hydrate. Hmm. Let the Hanar talk. I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands <gasps> and obeys the laws. Wait, what? Why can I not? I have max everything. Why am I not able to answer these? I thought that was the whole point of me maxing my stuff. Was so I would be able to say exactly what? Etsy has a pattern. Crochet. They have a jelly plush. <laughs> they actually have one. Yeah, that's really weird. I, I thought just having the most of it. Yeah. Mm, if I I'm buying one. Evangelical permit myself, Flighty man, thank you things? so much. As long as it stays in approved and areas once it in. has the permit, yes, that would solve the issue for me. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're buying. I'll be back. How do I buy a I don't permit? Care what you have to do, just get rid of that hand art. So where does one acquire a space permit? This seems like a secondary mission that I'll have to do. He's like a cop. Oh, do you see what I see? Um, I actually think I've been here before, though. I think this keeper has already been scanned. Is this why Anna likes Please jellies? Oh, sorry. Okay. Just kidding. Yeah, I'm, I thought you'd have enough to get those extra options as well. I'm maxed. I mean, I have three, three for three right now, but maybe, maybe I can get more later. Maybe I didn't talk to the jelly enough. You don't have enough points in charm or intimidating. No. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of like a spoil, yeah. Mm. Okay. I think at this point... Please stop touching the keepers. They are working diligently. Okay, we talked to him. We need to go to the Space Academy. There is so much to do. So much to see. Oh, I can't. I can't run fast. That sucks. That just kills my head. So let's get up on the secondary level and imagine a little crochet Hanar just draped on top of Michael Myers back there. Oh man, it'd be so cute. I think that I should, fa oh, wait. I think, I've oh, you know, we've made her wait long enough. You know what? Let's go back. All right. What do you think? Should we do it? Do we do it? Let me talk to everybody first. Client. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Oh. An hour here is better than a year on leave. Really? A year on leave? One hour is equivalent to a year on leave? If only I could afford to come more often. No questions now. I'm trying to relax. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Okay. Repeat dialogue. Okay. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Oh, what is happening? I don't like it. I'd spend all day here if I could. Oh, <laughs> so Isn't this place terrific? Caden just back there. <laughs> this is the most relaxed I've been in days. It's like the emphasis in the way that he's talking. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Can only remove the screen shaking with mods. Yeah, I think so. All right. 
it's time to see the consort. But before I do that, I just got to run to the bathroom real quick. Hold up. <laughs> I'm stalling. I'm stalling. I don't know what we're going to encounter. And I'm just, I got to mentally prepare myself, you guys. Okay, I got to mentally prepare. Hold on. Oh, why do I feel like this is going to be some weird, messed up thing? Bear and Crate, you guys. Y'all have to stop. The evil twin is coming. Maggie Googles and then the twin shows up. Bear, Crate, also Pigs and Just Apex, guys. Thank you for the follows. And welcome in. What are you doing? What? I know, something messed up's going to happen. Okay. What am I not seeing? What? Why are you guys doing that? Okay. Itchy, that's so specific. Um, real quick, also guys, if you got a gifted sub, please give the person a big thank you. It looks like a Roomba. Oh, I don't think I talked to these two. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. The consort is a wonderful person. She has quite a gift. Do you think they have to wait months if they work there? Do they have to also wait for it? You're with the Alliance. Am I ready I to get consorted? Back on Earth. I just don't know. Like you guys know what? This is like when y'all made me. Remember when you made me? <laughs> I was gonna say. Never mind. I'm glad I didn't finish that thought. Remember when you guys had me do that scene in in God of War? And I don't think I've ever turned that shade in my life. Oh, okay. What is the egg for? What is the egg for? <laughs> okay. That is close enough, Commander. Oh. I've heard a great many things about Never you mind. since your arrival here in our citadel. I don't know what the eggs were. <laughs> don't know. Don't know. Zach, what's up? Welcoming Colby and Bob, guys. Thanks for the follows. You checking on me? What do you want? Who are you? Also, I'm surprised she wasn't like, hey, your goons need to stay back. Inception. <laughs> you checking on me? What do you want? Who are you? You wanted to speak with me? Where I are you? problem that could use your expertise. Okay. Tell me about it. Hurry up. Do I continue this like rude spree with her and I'm just like mean? The blue cast of Galactic Dreams. What's up? Welcome in. It's it's actually really exciting to be finally playing this. Yeah. No, this is absolutely vanilla and no spoilers, tips or tricks. Yeah. Hurry up. What is it? Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired. Oh yeah, <gasps> that was her. Details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. Oh, he was talking we about had a falling her. Out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. Mm. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. She touched my face. Uh, what went wrong? What happened between you? I respect his privacy She's doing the too eyebrow. much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. No, I'm just kidding. What exactly Fine. do you want me to tell him? I'm gonna meddle in their Appeal drama. Appeal a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. What is happening right now? <laughs> is that like rubbing cheeks? Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. No, not not a serious not a serious eyebrows. My my main character does the one eyebrow action. Yeah. No, she does the one eyebrow action. I want to know what this is about. Hmm. Please, Commander. I ask that you return to me only after you have spoken with Septimus. Okay, fine. I can do that. I think there's a spot like straight down from us, right? Hmm. I find that interesting because is it just because he's spreading rumors about her or are they a thing because he made it seem like they were a thing she emits pheromones or something i can't remember i just feel better when i'm near her 
I was scared of nothing. I don't know why I thought something was going to happen between us. The consorts were just setting it up to sound like that. Oh, man. Okay, I think the best way to get around is to do the, the fast travel, right? Mm, maybe the eyebrow raise is even higher depending on your charm. Oh, the egg was a tanning bed. <laughs> just, it's a blue bed. Cringeborn, thanks for the follow. Zach as well, Wesk, and Rusty with the reset for eight months in a row. Rusty, thank you so much. Um, Actually, I don't know if we can head straight there. But I also feel like if I take the fast paths or locations, uh, we need to look for more of the the keepers as well. I'd love to be able to finish one side mission today. The Gentleman's Club in the Wards. Get your mind out of the gutter. It was not in the gutter. You guys made it weird, not me. Gunshot, rear, and also Blish or Nobi. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. My companions following me everywhere. Is probably oh Not I should have traffic here. I should have asked should them when we were with her. Maybe Jenna wants to serve me now. Probably not. All right, where is he? Where are you? Our VR. Thank you. Has it been twenty months? Bish this is the first one. I keep saying Bish. No B. <laughs> this is the very first one. It's my first playthrough. RB, thank you so much for the continuous support and a tier three as well. And welcome back in. It's always our fault. You guys know this, but now though. Commander, what do you want? Problems? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only uh -huh. one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Oh, Caden's getting involved me. in this one. Me, Septimus Araka, general of the Turian fleet. Uh, a little inflated ego, if you ask me. What is happening behind us in our ear? Do you guys hear that? Mm-hmm. Drinking and napping in the bathroom on the jaw. <laughs> uh, you're pathetic. I feel like. Take him to the cleaners. What is happening in our ears right now? Andrea, what's up? Welcome back in. Is it worth it? Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her and her alone. It's because she turned him down. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. <gasps> I just don't, I don't understand. How come I cannot, am I doing missions that I shouldn't be doing right now? Don't actually answer this. Don't actually answer this. But I have three and three. I maxed on my stats. I, maybe I just started doing these too soon. I guess I should probably go main mission. This might tell me that I should main mission first. Oh, he's a lot. Is it worth it? Let me work on it. <laughs> Bailey, what's up? Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I'm not leaving. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No, those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Oh, don't give up. Uh, I don't know if... I, I feel like negative reinforcement, positive reinforcement. Do you really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. But I see your point. Nice. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Oh, nice. It actually worked. Amber, welcome in. Glad to hear it. Finally, good. Glad to hear it. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right, I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower. <laughs> he has to rinse to... off. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? He has a side mission too? You don't need to charm him if you can just kill him. Easy peasy. Rain Man, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. Yeah, no, uh, I'll be back tomorrow, so hopefully we see you tomorrow. Somebody's screaming in our ear. Two cold showers. Depends. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat That's out true, there Roomba. who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. 
And why does he think that? Because I told him. Mm. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. <laughs> why me? Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... I like it. I was disparaging his ancestors and shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. <laughs> data pad. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Where to? Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining yeah, about Shaira. I don't think we've run into him yet. Well, Shakira's the in this game. Acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. <laughs> I'm going for Hard Spectre. A general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand. Oh! I think there's a lot of tension between Ashley and Caden. I'll be disappointed if something doesn't go well, you know? Little. I feel like they're just getting really comfortable near. E oh, I think I'm shaking the camera. I think they're just getting really comfortable being near each other. Wait. They're staying in the club? Oh no. Wait, Ashley hasn't spawned. Yes, we've isolated Caden. Too many Now's lights, my time. Too much noise. Now's my time. Not really my kind of place, but but sure spectacular, spectacular views. Sky, Sky, what's up? Welcome back in. Oh no, damn it, she spawned in front of us. You've gotta be kidding me. It's a vacation from Ashley. Ashley just became one of the dancers, to be fair, probably pays better. All right, door control. Uh, I think the fastest way, mm, they said he was in the, we gotta go to the embassy first. Oh, but if I go this way, then, was there a fast pass? Maybe not. I go this way. Maybe there's a, oh, I gotta figure out. Oh, sorry. You know when you go for your map and you accidentally just pull out your weapon? Whew. Make that mistake. Um, Moreland store. There's not a fast path out here? And I can't exactly sprint without getting sick. No. Hates romance but tries to woo a cardboard box. <laughs> what? I mean, if uh, Captain Crunch is on the front of it, absolutely. There is, yep, then there is, in fact, I scanned him, right? Yeah, I scanned this beetle. Uh, yes, I did. Oh, here's our transit. And yes, we'll save after the transit. Yeah, I think that issue was from something else. Oh, here we go. Um, embassies, yeah, I wanna solve these. Oh, the embassies have to have some of the keepers. That's where I wasn't, yeah, I didn't go to the embassies before. I see a multi-pass. Dorky, thanks for the follow, welcome in. Is that a Charmander? I like the way that they have them propped up on various places and locations. Oh, he was meeting her. Oh. Now oh, they're having a good conversation. Looks juicy. Space HR would like a word with you. <laughs> I would be fired so fast. Oh no, I can't keep my thoughts to myself. Ashley would, oh yeah. Ashley would win, oh. Oh, oh, do you guys want to talk to him about being a specter? I do. What's happening in here? Oh, nice. But these allegations are very serious. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your oh. ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. <laughs> Don't be so rude, Dan. <laughs> Valcor the best. yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Oh, I think there was something specific we were supposed to ask them. Volus, why so cranky? Why so serious? I did intrude on a secret, yeah, meeting. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. We haven't had to work for it. Chastising rebuke, Din. <laughs> Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. 
detail. <laughs> we still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Mm, that's fair. I can see where they're coming from, but I think, is that in the nature of the, is it the Orlac? Is that what they're called? Is it in the nature of them to just kind of be more like a middle like a mediator a little bit? The Elcor, sorry. Where did I get, did I say Snorlax? Elcor? The, yes, the Elcor. Kraslik, what's up? Welcome in. You can see, yeah. Thank you, Zen, for popping that in. Did I say Volus? I don't even know what I said. Jack and Dorky. I said hi to Dorky, but Jack, welcome in. Well, I do want to ask everything I can. Did I say the Snorlax? There's no way I said the Snorlax. <laughs> ask about the ambassador. I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering the how Snorlax? often we are overlooked by the council. Chastising rebuke, Dan. He's very the chastising. Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the council long before our species will. Hmm. Are there always only... I need to remember if there's only three spots. I mean, we only saw three different species being represented on the council. So I think that was, in fact, just the council as the three founders, the three first species. What is this place? Embassy. You are in the embassy for the oh. Volus and the Elcor. Your this guy was your roommate? <laughs> next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Wow, well then maybe I just need to go. The no neck? Elkor can't change tone, so they communicate through scents, but other races can't smell those scents, so they have to tell people their emotions and context. Ah, I just love the... I like how they just have one tone, though. I actually think that adds to my enjoyment of hearing them talk. The sassy little vacuum man. <laughs> we need to upgrade him to the Dyson. Importy, thank you for the follow, and also Rapture. Thank you so much. It is so good to be back. And just thank you for the bits as well. It's good to be back, but it's also good to be starting such a legendary series. All right, there's one more thing. We need to ask about Volus first. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Why you gotta assume? Let's do history. I love history. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel Stop getting top bunk. shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, Despite our long association was with the a pause. Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, you see, man? we still do not hold a seat on the council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Mm. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society Absolutely is morphic. very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. All right. I think that's actually pretty much everything. So uh, I just want to ask that question, but I don't want to... Uh... Okay. Nope. That's that's not like a one-worded. I feel like I can only floppy pickle something that it would be like a one-worded answer, and it's not like what I'm trying yes, to. Yes. Yes. Good day, Earth, Earth clad. clad. Good day. Maybe I can break into something in their office. I relate to the Elcor so much. <laughs> Mike and Edric and M40 already said hi to, but guys, welcome in. Let's talk to Kale. Kale. Greeting. Human, it is always yes. good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you? I this am day? Ambassador Kaylin. Your speech. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through oh. words and more through scent and slight movements. Slight Plainly, movements. We discovered Flute. our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Huh. Why do you bother, Kaylin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. Oh. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. 
I love their responses too, though. Blue, thank you so much. How was your few days in London, Paris? It was absolutely amazing. And I just enjoyed the whole trip. I mean, from start to finish, it was fantastic. Didn't make the stream yesterday, but I am in, but I'm in, but now, but now I'm in. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I definitely recapped at the beginning of yesterday how incredible it was, but it was just so cool to get to meet a lot of you guys. And then also some of the other streamers and Anna, it was fantastic. Help him investigate. Oh, you already know I'm actually good. Yeah. Do you even have to ask that? I do want to ask more about the Elcor. Who is it? A good question. Neb. Neb, welcome in. Thank you for the follow as well. They don't care about our ways. Mm, this is the way vibes, even if it's the wrong universe. I think that I feel like that's rich coming from him because I don't know if does he even understand the Elcor the the mole doesn't lock lurk say doesn't exactly strike me as somebody who's asking the Elcor about their Tell me history more about your species genuine enthusiasm I delight in telling the history of my people genuine enthusiasm to share our culture with others y'all no, I haven't yet, Gar. I have not yet. I think in the video that went up yesterday, I talked about it, but I would like to post like a picture or two. Um, let's go history Tell first me again. About the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Probably. Mm. Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Do they move very quick? Did they already say they don't really move that quick? Exactly, Ricky. They're so... it's... He's not even meaning to be funny, but he's just coming across that way. And he also... Maybe it's not as hurtful to be roasted in, like, a monotone like that. I don't know. When the Elcor talk like that, does it, it doesn't... I don't know, it doesn't feel like an insult as much as just humorous. Yeah, Ren, it's... They've really created something special I'd here. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Oh. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Bedtime stories. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. <laughs> oh, me and you both. Oh, performer, thank you so much. He moves very quick with his comebacks. He is very quick-witted. Yeah, I'd say maybe, maybe physically not moving quick, but very quick-witted. Goodbye, ambassador. Sincere I like that. Farewell. Sincere. To you, human. I want to hear your time on the citadel. I want to hear him be like, angry response. I don't like you. I'm sorry, Dave. I cannot do that. I still marvel at the amount of lore and Yes, I was going to say that. <laughs> I feel like, and hear me out. You guys have probably already experienced this, but I feel like this game has possibly, potentially, not ruined, but just set a really high bar for future space games. And it actually, I was just thinking about Outer Worlds. Remember how I didn't like Outer Worlds because I felt like it was very empty and it wasn't very diverse between the different planets and areas that you were going to? I feel like this game is going to absolutely set such a high bar. Looking at you, Starfield. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, it just, I feel like they just really did create something really unique here. Hello there, human. Zelton. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You're so cute. Uncontrollable rage. I will rip your soul out through your nostrils. Prepare to die. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship? Oh, this me? was Zelton. Okay, we did go to the right spot. Yes, it's one of the best universes ever made. It's been almost a year since you quit Outer Worlds, that game I stopped lurking on. <laughs> did you love that game? Was that what that was? Was that the one that you really liked and I just stopped it? Like, I stopped after like four or five streams. I think it was four streams. GLaDOS? Don't talk about the WB40. Mass Effect Andromeda wasn't as popular. Yeah, I mean, this one probably 
I can now see why a lot of people would hold it up to that. I'm interested to find out for myself though as well, but I don't know if you guys would even want to see Andromeda, you know? Starfield won't have, I don't think Starfield, like Starfield won't be like this. It's more Skyrim or Fallout. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Andromeda was trash. <laughs> see, I just, I'm the type of person that like, I have to find that out for myself. Like it's not enough to just have people tell me that it's bad. I've got to like, no, I don't know. I've got to figure it out on my own. Yeah, I'd love to see Andromeda. It's so overhated. That's what I'm kind of worried about. What if I'm one of those? I'm probably in the small percentage that's going to love it, you know? I also think that there's there's something to be said for the fact that if everybody's telling me not to like it, I feel like anything is better than what you guys have already planted in my head. Like, whatever is kind of slightly formed. Whereas on this one, you guys are like, it is the best game ever. And it actually is living up to that. But at least Andromeda won't have a high standard set for it in my brain let's get through the first one first foxy i like the way you think <laughs> i'd probably give it a 9.5 out of 10 you know i give everything you think a 9.5 that's even 0.5 more than i normally do okay okay focusing up focusing up all right the style of voice acting made me not look forward to it in starfield i didn't even see what it looked like i can help you it's not to blame i can help you I know who revealed your secret it was a Turian named Septimus. Oh no, we're gonna start I'm problems. Leaving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. Cat saves the Halloween. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. Oh. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. You'll be fine. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. Aww. He will be most displeased with my actions. Marples does not have a 10 out of 10. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm trying to imagine what it would smell like. Like, how would I smell an anxious request? You know, like if they sp if they mainly communicate through the sense of smell. What is the smell of anxious? What is the what is anxious smell like? Sour? <laughs> I'm like sweaty. <laughs> ah, the water really looks like water. Casticlism, nine point five out of ten. <laughs> like a comic con butterscotch. Picturing like an olive. Don't worry. Goodbye. Whatever. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I wow. Only hope so. Pickle juice. You know we tried Thankful. to get picklebacks. Anna and I tried that to get a pickleback. They didn't have did, pickle juice. Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. Sour, sweaty, and pickly. I'm sure Ooh. the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Oh, come on, Din. I'm gonna win you over. Apologetic. Do not listen to my Volus compatriot. Tell it was a no. good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Aw. It's okay, Maggie thinks that. It's officially a holiday for Mass Effect series. November 7th. Yes, I have heard of this, Jedi. I feel like this is the first November that I actually can celebrate it with you guys because I always hear about it from y'all, but I never can kind of join in on it. Uh, Shao, Retro, Grizzles, and uh, Chobo. Guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. Tal, you're not wrong. It's just the image of it. It's the image. All right, I think we're done with these two. Oh, that felt really good, actually. Oh, look at the plants. Look at the... The shrubbery. What is that thing? Boogity boogity, welcome back in. I I feel like they created just such a lovable, like lovable characters. Oh, we have so many things in our journal. Oh my god. Oh, so, oh wait, that's my secondary quest. Wait, wait, wait. Do we go back to her now? Okay, I think we should go back to her. Yes. Okay, let's go back. Oops. I should be able to fast travel, but there might be some more places that oh. Mm, thank you. Yes. Quick save, quick save. I must be missing like a major part 
Because we haven't found any other of the the keepers. Save early, save often. Exactly. Okay, let's go back to the consort, see what we got. DJ, welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Markets, med clinic. Um, wait a minute. Is it actually in this location? Consort chambers. I've heard that our pickles are sweet pickles, unlike the regular ones. I love all pickles. I didn't used to, but I feel like now I really like like the, is it the gurgan? Gurgan pickles? I've already scanned this keeper. Keeper? I hardly know. <laughs> the Citadel, welcome to the Citadel Cribs. <laughs> welcome back. Oh, let me try talking to, so I didn't talk to Ashley and and Kaden when we were in here. So I want to talk to them. This place is a little too perfect. Oh, hiding something. She is very skeptical. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Oh, okay, now she's back to that. Sure is peaceful here. Oh man. Big place. <laughs> he says the same thing. It was a long time ago though. I barely remember it. Oh wait. The the people change. Wait, that's so cool. They do change around. Yeah, cuz the the other guy was there. Welcome. You're with the alliance. My brother's a private back on Wait, no, that's the girl from over there. So it's the same person, but they just rotate. I'm actually really impressed by that. I was not expecting that. Spike. Spike, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs to the channel and community. There's no chicken leg showing. Thank you so much. And just welcome back in. On the latest episode of Citadel Cribs. <laughs> Maggie blows herself up, okay. Let me tell you, it was one little bomb. There were two bombs. It was two bombs. Spike, thank you. And oh, wait, One Winged got one. Is One Winged here? Anybody that got one, I hope you give a big thanks to the person. And just, I hope you enjoyed this up in the emotes. Mmm. Uh, I see little Sen and Dark Ghost guys. Thanks for the follows and welcome in. All right, let's head out the door. All right, time to find out what the eggs meant for. Commander, Thank you, Spike. It's so good to be back. Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Elcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Glad to help. Let's talk payment. <gasps> Do you think she's going to pay me to begin with? Maybe she'll give me her services for free. It was my honor to aid you. The You're hand kind, massage. Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What is it? What is it? Fintech, what's up? Welcome back in. Thank you guys. It's so good to be back. Uh, my head's in the gutter. <laughs> uh, oh, would you look at the time, guys? It's almost five hours. I got a skedaddle. I'll get y'all later. <laughs> we'll deal with the space cheeks next time. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Thanks for the follow as well. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, oh. an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep, pain and loss, but it drives you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. I don't like how certain she's- This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. So she's a, um, like a space gypsy, mind reader, very astute. Thank you. That's it. Um, thanks. I guess. <laughs> thanks. Close your eyes and relax, oh. Commander. She's like a fortune teller, space fortune teller. What did she give me? What did I feel? Wait, what's happening? Oh! Oh, that's happening! That's what the X for? Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, 
I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small <laughs> mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, right. but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. That was... Remember my words, Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> they will that... give you strength. You remember your words? The words are not what I'm thinking. That's not what's stuck in my brain anymore. Manic revolver back, guys. Thanks for the follows. Pass it on. <laughs> Take one down. Pass it on. Uh, I'm I'm a little frazzled. Yeah, I'm a little frazzled. I didn't pull a gun on her. Spike, Spike, with another five gifted subs to the channel and community. So far, my experience on Mass Effect is <laughs> Spike. Thank you so much. I went to a gentleman's club to which I was told to spread herpes around. And on top of that, I just had space sex. But I, I am pretty much stalling as much as where, how, hmm. How has my investigation led to this moment in my life? So long, Commander. I can offer you nothing more at this time. Were they the watching the whole time? The lake. Oh, there's a if anyone ever drowned in it. There's a whole couch. It's not even the the blank chair. There's a whole couch. It's it's a blank couch. It's <laughs> It's not even just a chair. Sure is peaceful here. All right, I'm out. We just finished telling the general to go back to her, to have faith in her to to fight for her, into which I then sleep with her? Are we sure we slept together? Are you guys sure? I don't know. I don't know. We might need a counter of another kind right underneath the death counter. I feel like I have gravely mistaken my intentions in this world. There's no sleeping involved. I just feel like the egg's also very impractical. It just seems unsanitary. It's just... Uh... It's about as explicit as it gets in a T-rated game. Have I scanned? All right, let's go back to scanning and looking for keepers. I'm glad I made her wait for it, though. It made me feel a little bit better. You're both just making happy little painting trees. <laughs> Shepard has some pep in her stuff. <laughs> I just really, I guess I wasn't expecting that to actually happen because as soon as she started touching our cheek, I just thought about the last time she touched her cheek. Nothing came of it last time. Let's start. I just, okay. What are we doing right now? Strange transmission? Is that what I just got? What is, <laughs> is there, a, is there a reading on this? These are on assignments. Exposed Saren, these are our main missions. Hold on, let me go to Codex. Something definitely. Y'all are done. Don't make it weird chat. Eric, what's up? Welcome back in Citadel. These are all of the main missions. I feel so in general. Uh, I wish we could see. I don't think we are able to see the- Oh, hold on. There's another plot. Hold on. The plot thickens over here. Oh, these are our two, right? Yeah, we need to finish this. I need to buy a permit somewhere. I just don't know exactly where. Don't look at me like that. VDT, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. <sighs> All right. Let's go talk to him first. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Mm. I'll keep working on it. I just need to buy this a permit. This will continue to spread its message. I just have to find where we buy a permit. Maybe it says it in the journal? Codex? Ah, hold on. Is there nothing in the codex on, uh... Personal relationships? Personal history summary? Have I had an update on my personal history? <laughs> the Michael Riz. Planets and okay, wait, wait, aliens. The oh, nice, the Krogan. We got updated the Krogan on the Krogan. Evolved in a hostile and vicious Quickly. Environment. 
Until the invention of gunpowder weapons, eaten by predators was still the number one cause of Krogan fatalities. What? Afterwards, it was death by gunshot. When the Salarians discovered them, the Krogan were a brutal, primitive species, struggling to survive a self-inflicted nuclear winter. The Salarians self-inflicted nuclear uplifted, winter, teaching them to use and build modern technology so they could serve as soldiers in the Rachni War. That's Never right, that's right. Harsh and they took them, they completely wiped them out, right? Reading Krogan experienced an unprecedented population explosion. They began to colonize nearby worlds. Mm -hmm. Even though these worlds were already inhabited, the Krogan rebellions lasted a century? nearly a century, only ending when the Turians unleashed the Genophage, a Salarian-developed bioweapon that crushed all Krogan resistance. The Damn. Genophage makes only one in a thousand pregnancies viable. And today, the Krogan are a slowly dying breed. Understandably, wow. the Krogan harbor a grudge against all other species, especially the Turians. Yeah, I can understand why. They're slowly going extinct from that. One in a thousand? They colonize nearby worlds? That poor Krogan, the first time he goes, he's that one. <laughs> no. All right, I need to find more keepers. We need to do that still. Krogans are your favorite. Yeah, I have to learn more about all of them. It is so interesting learning about their dynamics and um, the Salarians have a part to play in a lot of finding all of the other species as well. Playing the series makes me so giddy. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. I, I'm hoping that, I'm hoping I can cover everything, yeah. Hmm. All right, those two. Let's see. This guy looks like they're up to no good. Just sitting there waiting for somebody. The Salarians are all nerds. I actually really like the Salarians. Zizo, yeah, yeah. It's just to match my character. Uh, we do have one more. We have the oh. Novaria is a cool oh, rocky got, world okay. with most of its hydrosphere locked up in massive glaciers. I think they are one of the smarter ones. They're the Intel world. ones. The planet is owned by the Novaria Development Corporation Holding Company. Yes, the Andrew. The NDC is funded by investment capital from two dozen high technology development firms and administrated by an executive board representing their interests. The investors built remote hot labs in isolated locations across Novaria's surface. These facilities are used for research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere, mm. as Novaria is technically not part of Citadel space and therefore exempt from council law. By special arrangement, Citadel special tactics and reconnaissance agents have been granted extraterritorial privileges, but it remains to be seen how committed the executive board is to that principle. Given its unique situation, it is understandable that Novaria is often implicated in all manner of wild conspiracy theories. Oh, I'm sure. If nobody really knows. Mmm, like the specter. What people shouldn't be talking about, everybody's talking about. Thanks, Moon. This pinky, wait, wait, everything is pinky and happy between species, unlike some other universes. Yes, where there's no mention between. Yeah, yeah. No, you can definitely. I, I think that's actually a really good point. It's easy to play games where it feels like everybody's getting along. And this feels much more realistic in that regard. That's I the learning about them was probably one of my favorite races to learn about, too. They have an interesting story. I think there there's also shows just how Wait, I gotta go back to that. I wanna actually go back to that codex. Which one was it? Fifth. Uh, the non-council races. When the Krogan. The Krogan evolved in a hostile and vicious Yeah, and then wait, wait. Until the invention of- Yeah, so the Salarians kind of created the council. And I feel like with that, it's like, as long as a, a race serves their purpose, you can see that they use them for that specific need and then they kind of discarded them and that were, oh, new keeper. Hmm, I can't do the running. It kills my head like seeing that yeah having a constant yes Darth Bane I'm trying to find like the good times to like slow down and, and listen to the codex and we still have the secondary ones that I haven't been doing either super secret peanut butter that actually helps you lose weight can you imagine human delighted welcome it is good to meet you yeah Thegbear welcome in by the way 
I'm welcoming it with open arms, but I also am very overwhelmed by it. So let's go over to our journal real quick. So we've got Rex. Nope, sorry, assignments. Here we go, oh, I have so many assignments, but we finished two and we did finish one today. So I'm super happy about that. Independence Day. <laughs> uh, there will be no peace. Uh, wall instead of scan the keepers. 11 out of 20, so we're getting closer on that, but I'm not gonna force that one. No, there's not, Ruzel. I think somebody said that you have to add mods to be able to do that. Set it on the fan. You've been approached by Conrad Werner. He seems like a harmless fan. You know, what's interesting is I got that, but maybe I need to go back to him. Because I got that, but I can't do anything with it. Hmm. I supposed to buy a permit. Well, you've spoken to both of them, but you still need to either get rid of them or convince the CSEC officer to back off. So maybe you can't buy it. I, th I guess that's not a solution, right? Is you can't actually buy a permit. Because I thought we tried to. The reporter's request we haven't found anything additional for. And then our main mission quest, I'm pretty sure we have to, hold on, let me see. The game is massive, I think, despite not being an open world. It's just a massive game with a lot of dialogue. Alien and Purge, guys, thanks for the follow. Sea Fox as well. I'm glad to see y'all are enjoying the channel and community. Mm. Squad. I have one new skill point. No, Ashley does. Oh, that's right. I was saving one of Ashley's points, wasn't I? Yeah. Squad, journal. So let me go to main missions. Right, Krogan's bounty hunter named Rex might be able to help you against Saren. Where is he? I, the C-Sect Academy. Um, okay, let's try to fast travel there because I, I don't think I'm remembering where to go. Oh, wait, let's actually interact with, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let's go interact with uh, Anderson. I want to go talk to him real quick. To say race you to Caden and Ashley in the field. <laughs> Absolutely, Scoop. Race you. Okay, I normally like, but I just want to say thanks for the cool stream. Also, chat, you're beautiful. Have a good night. Dog, thank you so much for hanging around, and I hope you have a great start to your week. Absolutely. Love a good lurky turkey. Thank you. This must be the academy. Is this the academy? Hmm? Nasana? I have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. But there might be a keeper somewhere. Oh, there was a keeper back here. Yes. Yes. I know, I'm always going to call it the C-section now. That's the only way I can see it. <laughs> the massive effect. That's 12. Oh, the diplomat. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. You have to be tough with these aliens. They won't respect you otherwise. Right. I'm going to walk away. Yeah, Keith. But wait, 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 wait. I think it's down here. Wait, oh no, I'm getting all confused. Oh. My first time playing this game and being so lost. I can, uh, it's kind of one of those things where I can visualize where I'm trying to go, but I could not map it out. And whoa, why'd she freak out and run away from me? And while we do have a map, for some reason the map doesn't necessarily aid me as much as I feel like a map should, but I think I'm the problem. I don't think it's the map, I think I'm the problem. Turning on? Don't forget turning on. Here we go. Uh, the keepers are going to be one of the hardest parts, but there's only eight left. <gasps> Maybe there's one in his office. We do need to leave no stern, no stern, no stone unturned. Hmm. All right. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Yes. Time to ask him what we've been waiting for. Marion, Panda, and also Jahani. Thanks for the follows, guys. Welcome in. Spectres. Well, we've already asked him about all of these. You Here and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known No, terrorist. we knew this. Saren, uh, but I saw how he operates. No. No, no hesitation. None of this is new information. He innocent civilians to end a war without a second Citadel thought. Story. I love that so much. Sleepy Kiwi Cat. <laughs> Number one rule about gaming. It's never your fault. It's always the games. I should go. Um, I'll be here if you need anything. <laughs> it's absolutely true. That's... Really interesting. I thought it would have updated our ability to talk to him and ask him about being a specter. Huh. Yeah. It's broadcasting yesterday's news. Exactly. 
Oh my gosh, what are the stream tags? Or what have you done? Please do tell the stream tags. Let's hear it. And then the other part of me doesn't want to fast travel because then I think I'm going to miss some of the keepers. Solarian? Oh, really? Whoa. Notori, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Consort Chambers. Maybe I haven't found it yet. Because it wouldn't be down below. No cheek will go untouched. Chat. No. Oh my gosh. Falky, really? You got to bring this up. Crazy cast. Welcome back in. It was fantastic. <laughs> it was amazing. Let me go to my map. Emporium, concert, bank. Citadel Tower. Embassy Lounge. Olus and Elcor's office. C Sect HQ. I think I'm trying to find the Academy though, right? It said it was outside of the Academy. What was the tag? Wait, what was the tag? Don't scold. <laughs> trying to touch all the cheeks. <laughs> was that it? Wes, Wes, thank you so much for the reset for five months in a row and welcome back in. Thank you. Oh, it's so great. It's fantastic. Drop me pies here, Kappa. I'm losing control of my chat again. That implies that I ever had control to begin with, though. I am out of breath already. Okay, let's try to solve this issue between these two. <laughs> Maggie, five hours on the Citadel at once. That might be a new record. Should I be further in the game at this point? Maybe I shouldn't be side questing. Oh no. I'm just taking it all in, okay? Financial districts. Maybe it's further this way. No, I know where I am. Me sprinting IRL. I think it's this way. C sick. Okay, we can talk. We can, uh, mm. I gotta solve that, but I just wanted to be able to buy. The natural world is the greatest source of excitement. The second being Maggie. In her natural habit of paying particular attention to the side costs of this adventure. You know, the sad part is I'm not even trying to take that much time. I just forgot what the main mission was. Duflo. Cheeks take precedence. Please tell me that is not my tag. Please tell me my tag does not say cheeks take precedence. I just wanting me, Bob. Okay. Mmm. Nope. They did kind of make a main quest into side quests here. Thank you. Exactly. Oh, bank. No, every single time the bank. And he didn't tell so to, ah, is this the academy? This feels like the academy. Maybe not, but somehow feels like an academy. But we've been here and this is our squiggly guy. And then back here is, yeah, back here is the keeper and then just some storage and, ah, look, thanks for the follow Leon as well. Purple Egg Adventures. No! <laughs> That's a tag! <laughs> Alright, we've scanned this little... This little guy. Where did I come from? Where did I go? Go to med clinic. Okay, let's go to med clinic. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not lost. I'm just confused. We're going this way. Oh, a luck. Wait, wait, you found me through to the moon? Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed that playthrough. I love to the moon. Are you trying to tell me that it's been five hours and I should stop playing? Thank you guys, already reminded me it's been five hours, so I actually gotta get out of here. I gotta, I gotta jet. Erdy, thank you so much for reminding me. Yeah, we'll get right before the med bay and then we'll just postpone till tomorrow. We can finish it tomorrow. Yeah, to the moon is Monday. I wanna do the other ones. I really wanna do the other ones. 
Uh, look, I'm so glad you found the channel and just the community, and I hope you continue to enjoy your time here and there. Anything that's on my Let's Play channel is exclusive to that channel, and then I play separate things here as well. No, no, I'm just kidding. We're gonna go to Med Bay. I'm just kidding. I just want to see you guys turn on Erdy. <sighs> but you guys didn't, so. Wait a minute. Erdy is blah. Nice. <laughs> Young Daddy and Heculera. Guys, thanks for the follows. Bear. No. To the med bay. To the med bay! <laughs> oh, Merlin, you found from Final Fantasy. There's been so many people that have um, come to the stream side of things from YouTube. It's been amazing. Because I know that this, I know this side of things is very different than how the playthroughs are on, on YouTube. It's just not very focused over here. But I love it. Use a nebula. Oh, nice. We collected it. Okay. <gasps> and a keeper? Be still my beating heart? Crispy chicken wrap? Oh gosh, I really want some wings right now. Wings would slap. Cameron's here. I didn't here. tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Doug. Let go. Hostage. Ah. Oh. Dang. <laughs> what is that? Heads up. All right, thugs, thugs, thugs. Whoa, what's going... Okay. I didn't mean to bring out the sniper. Pop your head up. Mm -hmm. Wings would be amazing. Look at Med Bay. Wow, Med Bay's so pretty. It works. The sniper close range, you know? You might not love it, but it works. I'm gonna single-handedly take out every single one of those that I find. It's gonna be a revenge mission. I can promise you that. Come and die. Why? Why? Also, Dyla and Mem, guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. And Erdy with the five gifted subs to the channel and community. As at least I backed away this time. I safely backed away. Guys, if you've gotten a gifted sub today, I hope you enjoy it and already get out of here. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Braddy. Braddy. Braddy is with another five gifted subs. There's genuinely nobody left after yesterday. There cannot be anybody left. Nice shot. It was a big risk. Nice shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get Thank lucky. you. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, Doctor. I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Shadow, thank you for the 500 bits. Who can protect you? Who were those men? Tell me what happened. Why were they threatening you? I gotta finish this conversation for? and then I'm out of here before they my chat takes feast. over. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What about Saren? Does this have Sim? anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Conversation speed run. Sim, thank you so much. Kool-Aid, Pops, thanks for the follow. It is not too late. I can solve this. Kool-Aid, thank you so much for the Risa for seven months in a row. And Leo with the follow. Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid with five more gifted subs and 40 with five more gifted subs, you guys. Okay, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Where is she now? I put Wait, her in contact great. with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's Where's stupid even for him. Tim? Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Yeah. Okay, I'm following along with the conversation. I know it seems like I'm not, but I, I am. Great. 
Thank you so much for the donation as well. What did it say? I didn't even hear it. <laughs> Anything else? Evidence? What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not Guys. sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Geth. Wait a minute. Voodoo. Geth. Her information <gasps> had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. Yeah. There's no way the council can ignore this. There's no alerts going on. Performer, Blue, guys, thank you for the five gifted subs. <laughs> Grindhouse Blues with the follow. <laughs> Y'all. Semantic. Cooper with the resub for 13 months in a row. Godless with the resub at tier two for 13 months as well. <laughs> what is Wukai, thank you for the follow. We need to find her, but Fist has her. We don't have anything yet. We need to find Time her. I paid Fist a visit. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Show, Shepherd, I know I where to go next. Down as much as you do. Dang. I'm coming with you. Cooper, guys, thank you. Okay. Why do you hate Saren? Ah, I want to rush this conversation so this stops. But I don't want to rush it. I know. Level 10 hype train means two more hours of gameplay. <laughs> Absolutely You're not. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the council and a disgrace to my people. Okay. Welcome aboard, Garrus. I trust it. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired Rex. A I do need to go find Rex. Rex. Take him out. Chat yeah, to side stream time. <laughs> we could use him. A Krogan might come in handy. Yeah. Last I heard, he was at the C sec. I think I remember him. What's he doing I there? do. Flannel. Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. I still gotta figure out where this academy is. Wait, current squad. I can only have three. I have to get rid of some. Flannel, thank you so much for the reset for ten months in a row and welcome back in. Y'all are truly bananas. Carlos, thank you for the follow. Do I have other plans besides this? I just try, I try not to push myself too, too much and do like super, super long streams. Um, Cause sometimes it can, can crush the next day. I don't mind doing long streams when I usually have a day off the next day, but um, I guess I need to add. Okay. Oh, I can just take everybody. No, I can only take two. No, nope. there we go. That's the squad right there. Okay. All right, save and get out of here. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Chad is not taking over. Guys, I think I think anyway, this is a good stopping point anyway. We got to go to the med bay. What? Thank you so much for the gifted sub to the channel and community as well. No, this is this is a good. I like Garrus. I, I'm actually looking forward to finding out more about him. No, this is a good this is a good stopping point. And before chat gets any crazier, you guys are insane. Lucas. Lucas with five more gifted subs to the channel and community. Guys, let's go raid somebody. Uh, <laughs> I've got to skedaddle before this madness takes over. London with the thousand bits. Oh, let's go raid Luality. She's also doing Mass Effect, but I am going to have to raid and dash because I think she is further. She's definitely further than us, but let's go raid her, y'all. Um, Or no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, is she live right now? Oh, ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I want to take you guys to another Mass Effect stream. She's on Mass Effect number... which one? Mass Effect number three? She's on the third one? Okay, this is perfect because I got a raid and dash anyway. So this is good. This is good. Master Da Vinci, thank you so much for five more gifted subs. And just all of you guys and anybody who gifted a sub today, thank you so, so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow. If you guys are not in the Discord, that's where I post my schedule. But I'll be back on playing this game tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern. And we'll be doing it Thursday as well. And if you guys, like, just, just thank you guys. Thank you first and foremost for your time and just just being here. Like it means the absolute most to me. Angel, and there's so many new faces and follows, guys. Thank you. And I hope you guys continue to enjoy the channel and community. I gotta go. I'm out. <laughs> guys, I love y'all so much. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Witcher, Protein, Shadow. Yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, we do a whole variety of games. I also have a Let's Play channel um, that I have other gameplay 
and playthroughs going out on but you guys have just been absolutely insane so thank you from the bottom of my heart i gotta skedaddle i need to eat something i need to fix my eyebrow and get it back <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow we will be back tomorrow um yeah we're rating we're rating luality yeah guys please go show her some cast of love i will see you guys and just thank you for everything all right bye